Yo! What's good, everybody? Hope everyone's doing all right today, enjoying their Thursday so far. It is noon in Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm ready for an awesome stream, man. Hope you guys are ready, too. So, just picking up where we left off yesterday. Here we go. There's the Larry Bird right there. As you can see right here, we're pretty much like almost halfway done with this Larry Bird, so today we're going to work on getting this Dennis Johnson, Mark Gasol, tomorrow we're going to get Kevin McHale, and then today we're also going to get, uh, excuse me, we're also going to get two more of these pink diamonds right here. So yeah, today we're getting two more opals, two more pink diamonds, it's going to be awesome, so I really hope you guys are ready for an awesome stream. We are going to go ahead and jump straight into things, man. I don't want to delay. I don't want to put off this for too long. We're just gonna go. Ah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Excuse me. About to say, haven't done much talking today, so I apologize for being bad at talking to start up the stream. But not for real. Hello, Hope everyone's Sean doing all right. We got Sean in here. Moon, Moon, Fall Six, like CBT, like Dev Brazy, Live Stack. Hope everyone's doing all right today, man. Hope all you guys are enjoying your Thursday so far. Hope all you guys are ready for an awesome stream. We're gonna go ahead and get things started today, man. We have 22 people in here already, but only 9 likes on the stream. You guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. And yeah, without any further ado, we are gonna get things started, man. We're gonna get things started. Let's get it, man! What's up, Giorgio? Stormy? Nico and Anthony Morgan. What's good, y'all? Let me switch the inputs on my monitor, and then we're gonna get started. We got 20 people in here already. I know you guys are ready for an awesome stream, man. We're gonna make some really good progress today. This stream is probably gonna be just as long as last night's stream, so let's go ahead and get it going. Let's go ahead and get it going. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. I had a really good breakfast today I got some really good sleep last night I got a good run in took a shower I'm feeling good I'm in much better shape than I was yesterday and I still made it almost 10 hours yesterday so I'm feeling good I gotta be real with y'all I'm feeling really really good so let's go ahead and get things going as usual y'all let me know if you can hear me just fine let me know if you can hear the game audio too I want the quality to be nice and clear and I want you guys to be able to hear me too. So yeah, we're starting things off with the 2010 Los Angeles Lakers. They got Luke Walton out here with D. Fish, Pau Gasol, all the boys, all the boys out here for the Lakers. Also, this is a huge mismatch right here. If I wanted to, I could just post up Luke Walton every time. Y'all know I love to shoot threes, but if I really wanted to, if you just put a big man at the power forward position, you can post up Luke Walden every single time. Anthony Morgan, I'm glad the quality's good. I appreciate you letting me know. Great defense, man. Look at this defense in the paint. They're making some tough shots, though. We've been playing decent defense, but Derek Fisher hit a super contested three, and right there, Pau Gasol was able to get his own board. And they're really leaving arenas open? If I can get going with arenas, if I can get the releases going, we're going to be good. We are going to be good. We're off to a bad start on defense, but y'all know we're going to be good. What's up, Darius? Welcome to the stream. I didn't see you in here yesterday, but I'm glad you're in here today. Welcome, my brother. Oh, man. Look at this double team, man. They're leaving somebody open every time. Now we got a mismatch with Hakeem and Kobe. Or I could just give it to Embiid because we have this mismatch every time down the court. He missed the layup though, but I'm cool taking that every single time. This game shouldn't be so close early, but y'all know we're going to pull away. This is our very first game of the stream. My very first game of the day. I haven't really played since last night since I know you guys want to, you know, I don't want to like skip over games kind of, you know what I mean? I want you guys to witness every game. I want you guys to witness every moment, so that's what we're doing today. About to say, we're picking up right where we left off yesterday. We're going to get in 20 more games, and we're going to get 20 more wins because we're not taking any else. I know we're off to a bad start in this game, but I guarantee you guys, we're not taking any else today. 
Now, since this stream is just starting, I want to take a quick moment to thank you guys for an amazing stream yesterday. 2,800 views, the most views on a stream in channel history, and almost 200 likes. I think it was 198 total, so the most likes on a stream ever, man. I really appreciate y'all for making yesterday's stream an awesome one, for real. One of the best streams ever. Not to mention, we had 313 hours of watch time. That's crazy. Over 300 hours of watch time is crazy. About to say, that's a really long time. We averaged well over 30 viewers, so it was an awesome stream. Especially since I was so tired during the stream, too. I'm glad that you guys were staying active in the chat. I'm glad you guys were having so much fun. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it, man. I'm glad y'all had a good time. Glad y'all enjoyed the live stream. And today's is going to be just as good, I think. I think today's stream is going to be just as good. If not better. If not better. So thank you guys for an awesome stream last night. But hey, that stream's behind us, man. That stream is in the rear view mirror. We're going to see if today's stream is going to be even better. We're going to see if today's stream can be even better. We're going to get closer and closer to getting that Larry Bird and... Yeah, it's going to be great. It is going to be just great. Daniel, I'm glad you think I'm underrated, but my goal as a streamer is to not be underrated anymore. One day, I want to have the amount of subscribers I deserve to have. I'm off to a very bad start, like releasing my shots, but we're going to get it going eventually. We're going to get it going eventually. And Darkness wins? I think it's the second worst 2K game ever. Because 2K18 was pretty bad. 2K18 was pretty poopy, I'm not going to lie. Man, I'm making some real BS right here. I think I've only greened one shot, so I'm not going to lie to y'all. My offense has been really bad to start the game, but as the game goes on, we're going to get a little bit better. What's up, Garen Jones? Welcome to the stream, man. But yeah, we haven't played very good defense, and our offense hasn't been all that great. we got to start greening our shots, man. We're attacking mismatches pretty well. We're getting open looks. We just got to make them, man. We just got to make them. Not a great start to the game, but y'all know we're going to pull away. Like, we've, we're playing such bad defense in this first quarter, but this is like a warm-up game, man. This is my very first game of the day, so we're going to get better as we go on. I guarantee you guys. What's up, Joseph Ramsey? Welcome to the stream. Chris? I mean, I don't know. I feel like this game is a lot better than 2K18. 2K18, I stopped playing like halfway through the year. And Fortnite came out, so I think everyone started playing Fortnite. Maybe that's why I think that this game is so much better, because I've actually like stuck with this game year-round. Like, I've actually played this game a lot of the year. I did take a two-month break, but other than that, like, I've actually been invested in this game a lot more than I was 2K18. 2K18, I also feel like the defense was way worse, and I can't deal with not being able to play defense. I really can't. I can't deal with no defense, so this year, I mean, the defense still isn't great, but you're actually able to control your guys better. Of course, it's a lot tougher to play defense in the paint. The hook shots are really cheesy, and the offense, I feel like, is, I don't know, man. 2K19 was way better than this, and especially compared to 2K19, this is a huge disappointment, but... At the end of the day, I mean, I've gained a lot of subs from playing this game. A lot of you guys have enjoyed watching me play in this game. And I really appreciate it. I really do. So, wow, Lamar Odom snatch block. As I was saying, though, it hasn't been a great year for 2K, but I'm about to say, I've had fun playing the game. I've had fun, had fun, excuse me, grinding the offline stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're doing again today. We're going to keep on grinding the offline stuff. And we're going to get this Larry Bird. Either today or tomorrow. About to say, getting this Larry Bird in two days, that wouldn't be too bad. We've been grinding hard, and we're going to keep it up today. We're going to keep it up today, so you guys hang around for the whole stream. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed, man. We hit 2.5 thousand yesterday, so that's a really big milestone. I really appreciate you guys for showing love and subscribing to the channel. Yesterday we had a lot of new subs. Some of them are in here right now, man. So, yeah, if you guys enjoy the content, feel free to sub. Opal Odom or Michael Porter Jr.? Now, here's what I don't understand, uh, K-K-N-M. 
A lot of people say, like, I know a lot of people who complain about Lamar Odom, yet his price is so high in the auction house. Like, I've heard Michael Porter Jr. is a very underrated player, but Lamarcus, I mean, not Lamarcus, Lamar Odom is so much more expensive, so I don't understand why Lamar Odom is so expensive when I know a lot of players who just don't like him. I seriously don't know why, so, yeah. If I had to... If I had to pick one, I would definitely go with um, uh, Michael Porter Jr., especially because he's cheaper. I seriously don't know why Lamar Odom is so expensive, because I know a lot of people who don't like his jump shot. Surprisingly, when he came out, he couldn't play the point guard position. I seriously don't know why he's going for so much on the auction house, but that doesn't matter. If I were you, MPJ. Nico, I'm glad you enjoy watching the stream, and Darkness wins. I do have Kobe. I do have Kobe. Yesterday in one game, I think it was versus the Rockets, the 94 Rockets, I scored 70 with Kobe, and the, and the Rockets scored like 30. It was pretty bad for the Rockets, but it was pretty cool for the people watching, man. Kobe absolutely went off yesterday. Easily one of my favorite cards to use. And yeah, he's gonna go off again today. I gotta get my releases right, though. I gotta get in the rhythm, and yeah. We're going to win a lot of games today. We're going to get closer to Larry Bird, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, so you guys hang around. You guys sit back, get some food, enjoy the stream, all that stuff. KNM, I appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. And yeah, feel free to hang around and see if you enjoy the content. Sporty, these challenges do not expire today. Two Brothers Gaming posted a tweet about it. These challenges do not expire. They're going to be here for the rest of the year. So, yeah, don't worry about the challenges expiring. They're going to be here the rest of the year. Don't worry one bit about them. Tevin, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. But, yeah, I really do appreciate all the new subs we have in here from yesterday because yesterday we had a huge day, man. We gained, like, 90 subs yesterday. We gained 90 subs yesterday. We had 198 likes on the stream. Like, you guys seriously killed it yesterday. You guys seriously were loving the content. And that makes me really happy, man, because I was grinding hard. I worked really hard at this YouTube thing. It's not my top priority, but, no, I really love talking to you guys and playing the game. I enjoy playing the game. And I'm glad that you guys enjoy watching. So we're not off to the best start in this game, but I'll take it, you know. We're up 13, and all we have to do is win by what? One point? So, I'm not getting my, re good, I'm not getting my releases very well, but the releases are going to get better as the stream goes on. I gotta get back in my rhythm. Yesterday, we were in an amazing rhythm. I don't want to toot my own horn, but yesterday we won every single game by at least 40. I about to say, we won a couple games by like 60 or 80. So if I can just get our releases right, we're going to pull away and we're going to win every single game easily today. For a lot of people grinding out these challenges, I don't think winning the games is the challenge. The real challenge is like sitting here and playing through every single game over and over. Especially if you have a better team, especially if the teams aren't hard to beat. Let's say you go up by 20 or 25 at halftime. It's so tough to play through the rest of the game without getting bored, man. Like in this game, we're up by 18. Like I wish there was a way you can go up by like 30 or 40 and simulate for real. Um, I use Streamlabs solo, Braden, to answer your question. I have my Xbox plugged up to my PC. Mock builds. It would really be cool if you hung around the whole stream. It was really nice that you were in here for a lot yesterday. I really hope you've been staying safe because, about to say, you've told me about all the stuff going on in your neighborhood, in your area. Like, I hope you're healthy and everything. Hope you're doing alright, man. It would be awesome if you hung around the whole stream. Wild Beast, I agree. Galaxy Opal Gilbert is very good. I completely agree with you on that statement, man. His jump shot is super quick. You gotta time it right, especially if you don't have the meter on like I do. But like I told you guys, I'm really getting used to shooting without the meter. I'm really getting used to it. I'm telling you, man. There are some players who I've mastered their release. A lot of the players, I've mastered their releases. But, yeah, some of them like, let's say Tim Duncan, for example. And Paul Pierce, for example. 
Like, the releases, I still gotta get used to them. I still have to learn those releases a little bit, man. So I'm working on it. I'm working on learning my players' releases. And we're gonna see if we can continue pulling away in this game because we're up by 21. And Lonzo's open in the corner. That's an easy green. He also has a very nice release. Anthony, yesterday's stream was ridiculous, man. Everybody in the stream right now, let's see if we can do even better than we did yesterday because yesterday, like I said earlier, I know I probably sound like a broken record reciting the stats. We got like 200 likes, almost 3,000 views. The stats from yesterday's stream were amazing, and we gained almost 100 new subscribers, and we already have 30 in here right now, so, hey man, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe, join Doc Nation. We're gonna be grinding this Larry Bird for a long time today, man. For a long time today, we're gonna be going for this Larry Bird. This is going to be a long stream unless there are technical difficulties or anything like that. I'm planning on this being a very long stream. And yeah, hope you guys hang around and enjoy it. Whether you're watching my gameplay or playing 2K yourself and listening to me in the background, feel free to enjoy the stream. Feel free to talk to me in the chat about basketball, about 2K, about video games, any of that crap, man. I try to read as many chats as I can, especially when I'm grinding like this. I mean, I'm up by, what, 24 points, so... I'm really not worried about winning the game. I'm more worried about keeping you guys engaged. What's up, T-Mac? Welcome to the stream. What's up, It's Snipers? Christopher Thompson. Congratulations on getting Opal Rodman. And Vince, welcome back. The Siri voice for men. That would be pretty dope. That would be pretty dope. A lot of people tell me I have a nice, soothing voice. I don't know if I agree, but I try not to raise my voice too much. Unless I get super hyped about something, because, yeah, I have a little bit of a history of going like, ooh, you know what I mean. I didn't want to be too loud right there, but I think you guys, you guys have seen my videos before, man. You guys have seen me get hyped before. You guys get the picture. It's a pretty fun time. It's a pretty fun time. Mock builds, I've lost games online, but with that being said, I do have a very good record this year because, yeah, earlier in the year when I got Dr. J, I was going 12-0 every single month, man. But then I stopped playing. The game got kind of boring, but then they started adding a lot of new content, and that new content's the reason I'm here today. They started adding Spotlight Sims and stuff. They started giving us a lot of new content, so I started streaming the game again. I started playing my team again started collecting tokens, and next thing you know, yeah, my team got it good again, I started playing online again, all that good stuff. What's up, JD? Welcome to the stream. Oh, man, so we got off to a really bad start in this game, but ever since, we've done a decent job pulling away. I'm not planning on losing a single game today. Yesterday, we won every single game in an actual blowout, so... If we lose a game today, I would be very disappointed, even though we are going to be playing a lot of good teams. JD, the grind has been good, though. I've enjoyed it. I have Paul Pierce and Rodman in my lineup, so we're looking pretty good. Hey, Cream Chargers, I don't even have the Nets playbook, man. I don't have the Nets playbook. I just enjoy playing defense and getting open shots. I'd call myself a basketball purist, but... Some of you guys might not agree, but yeah. Nah, spamming one play that gets you an open shot every time. Not very fun to watch. Not very fun to watch. I'm not going to act like I'm a perfect 2K player because every now and then I'll, I'll like get the release wrong in an open shot. I'll mess up on defense. I'll give up a wide open layup or some crap like that. I'm not perfect, but I just enjoy playing the game because I'm a big basketball fan. I'm pretty sure all you guys know that. I'm just a really big basketball fan. Like, honestly, that's the only reason why I'm still on 2K, because I enjoy playing basketball in real life. I'm so excited the NBA is coming back, man. I can't wait for it to come back, and I'm pretty sure you guys are all the same. What's up, DB Music? Welcome to the stream. And Mr. Beast, I heard about the Opalary. I heard about the Opalary. I was watching HTB's stream this morning, and DBG also got Opalary, so... We're going to try to get this Larry ASAP. It's going to be a good grind, man. It's going to be a good grind. What's up, Delays? Welcome to the stream. Um, which team do I support? Uh, you guys are going to laugh at me about this, but my favorite two NBA teams are the Knicks and the Atlanta Hawks. So, two of the worst teams in the league, but 
Hey man, I'm I'm a I'm a devout fan. About to say I'm not gonna give up on a team just because they're bad. Oh come on, man. But yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna give up on a team just because they kind of suck. I've been a Knicks fan since 2012, a Hawks fan since like 2013. Now, as a Hawks fan, that 60 win season was very surprising. I did not see it coming, but ever since, first round exit, first round exit, first round exit, it's been tough. It's been very tough. What's up, Trayon Zans? Welcome to the stream. And what's up, Brody? Pretty sure you're new to the stream as well. But yeah, so my two favorite teams are pretty bad. Don't laugh at me. Even though I wouldn't blame you if you did. DB Music has been a Nets fan since 2008. Being a Nets fan before last year was probably really tough, man. It was probably really tough. Now, I know the Nets made the playoffs in 2014 with Paul Pierce and KG. The next year, they made the playoffs as the 8th seed. And they actually pushed the 60-win Hawks to, what, 6 games? Yeah, then they were terrible for 3 years. But then, they got D'Angelo Russell, and D'Angelo Russell was playing like a beast. He's one of my favorite players in the league. I've been a fan of him ever since him and Ben Simmons were on the same team, man. About to say. Ever since he was at Ohio State, good times, man. He was good on the Lakers. I feel like he was honestly a better fit on the Lakers than Lonzo, even though I do really like Lonzo. Um, the Vince, the Hawks are the team that, like, they're closest to where I live. So I've been to a bunch of Hawks games. I've been to more Hawks games than any other team. And the Knicks, they're the first team I ever watched on TV. And Melo's my favorite player, too, because of that. Then he played really well in the Summer Olympics. And of course, I'm a USA fan. I'm not going to be a bandwagon Spain fan or anything, but not for real. So I've always liked Melo, and that's why I always like the Knicks. And in Alabama, we don't have basketball or anything like that. In Alabama, we do have some minor league baseball teams, but other than that, nah. There's college football, and I'm not as big into college football as other people. Like, I'm not a diehard Bama fan, and there are so many of those in Alabama. Those are the same people that date their cousins, though, and I don't date my cousin. Those are the same people who go on cousin dates and that shit. Oh, man. So we've made this game look pretty easy. Not a blowout win, but, like, we've still shot pretty well. The defense hasn't been terrible. And a lot of people have been telling me that they've actually been having a lot of trouble with these Lakers, man. And I can see why, because that Lamar Odom has a quick trigger. This Kobe's really good. And they actually play some pretty decent defense. Not decent enough, though. DB Music says Connecticut has a WNBA team. If Alabama got a WNBA team, I hate to say it, man. I don't even know if I'd have a reaction. What's up, Aunt Margaret? Larry Bird's always my favorite. I like Larry Bird, too. Never got to see him play, though. A little bit too young for that. What's up, Trey on Zans? Why are you so sad, man? Why are you crying? Just wondering. I want to shoot that, but... Eh, we'll drive and kick instead. Oh, man. Look at this spacing. Look at this amazing spacing. At least we're moving the ball, but wow. That spacing on the right side of the court was just great. I cannot green any shots to save my life, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I cannot green a shot to save my life. We've been hitting all these shots, but I can't get any greens, man. I can't get any greens for some reason. We're going to start releasing our shots better as the stream goes on, but for some reason, I'm not getting any perfect releases, and it kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. It kind of sucks. <sighs> like, at least we're getting open looks. At least we're creating offense. Like, at least we're scoring a lot of points, and at least we're playing good defense. But, now we got to be a little bit better. There we go, Paul. Paul Pierce isn't so bad either. Paul Pierce isn't so bad either. What's up, Martin? About to say, I know you're enjoying the early day streams, because for you, it's night over there in Estonia, so... These early streams, I know you're enjoying them. Uh, Joseph Ramsey, if there are no technical difficulties, I'm expecting this to be a nine-hour stream. 
if there are no technical difficulties. The stream should go on for nine hours. If I'm feeling good, maybe 12. We'll see. Haven't thought that far ahead. I haven't thought that far ahead, but I'm planning on this being a very long stream. We're going to get 20 teams done today, at least. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. What's up, Daniel? Hope you're doing alright, man. Welcome to the stream. So, our first game's looking pretty good. We're up by 36 right now, and this is going to be a win. What's up, Vasil? Welcome back. So yeah, good win for the boys. We didn't shoot very well, but we did play some pretty good defense. I mean, they only scored two points per minute, if you want to do it by the math. I'm not really all about that, but we did play pretty well. The biggest thing we gotta continue doing is just hitting our open shots, man. If we just continue hitting our open shots, we're gonna be okay. Uh, delays, I do think the games for Paul Pierce are very easy. Just my opinion. I gotta work on his jump shot, though. His release is a lot quicker than I expected. Martin, hey, we still have a lot of likes on the stream. So don't complain about the likes. 32, and it's only been 27 minutes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Joe Spicy, I think Paul Pierce is pretty good, too. I just have to learn his jump shot. I just have to learn his jump shot, so you know what? We'll try to get some shots off with him right now. He's being guarded by a player that doesn't even exist. The jump shot, I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. I haven't mastered it yet, but like I said, it's a work in progress. Now, Dennis Robbins' jump shot, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love Dennis Robbins' jump shot. So, that one I've mastered, but Paul Pierce's, not just yet. Not just yet. Vasil, absolutely no restrictions. No restrictions at all. Zero. Nada. Zip. No restrictions. You can put together your best team and take the court and hopefully get the win. Hopefully get the win. So 42 point win in game number one of the stream. So now that is 21 games down, less than 30 to go. 29 wins to go. Good win for the boys. Good win for the home team. But let's get it, man. It doesn't get much better than that. Easy win versus the Lakers with Kobe, Lamar Odom, Pau Gasol and the boys. Not too bad. Not too shabby. We are now 29 we are now 29 games away. 29 games away. DB Music, I like Dick Barnett, but he's not on a unlimited contract. Like all the players I have on this team are pretty much all on max contracts except for Paul Pierce and Rodman. So, about to say, I don't want to waste too much MT on guys who don't have the max contracts or unlimited contracts. I don't know why I'm calling them maxes, but I think you guys know what I mean. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, man. So one game down, nine games to go for... Mark Gasol. Mark Gasol. Sometimes I'll forget what I'm going for. I'll know what I'm doing, but I'll forget who I'm going for. Like yesterday, I know I was tired... So I kept on forgetting who I was going for. I was like, game number six for Paul Pierce. That's right. Thank you, Mock Builds. I would forget who I'm playing for, but today I'm going to try not to forget as much as I can. What's up, Jaden? Welcome back. Here we go. We're playing versus the Mavericks, or as me and my younger brother say sometime, the Maverick Dicks. We're playing in Dallas versus Dirk, Jason Kidd, and the boys. And we're going to get this win. This team's starting lineup looks pretty good, but y'all know I'm not really worried about it. I doubt any of you guys are worried about it. We're going to go ahead and get things going right here, right now. Let's get this W. Let's get this W. About to say, I'm not worried about Jason Kidd. I'm not worried about Peja. I'm definitely not worried about Sean Marion. Maybe a little bit worried about Dirk. And Tyson Chandler, also going to be no problem. Let's lock in on defense. Let's play a little bit better this game. And we're going to get the win. We're going to get the win. How many more challenges do you have to do to get Larry Bird? I only have to do 29 more challenges. There we go. Finally, a green with Gilbert Arenas, man. I got to get my shots going because last game, he won by 42 just because I played good defense. I got to start greening those threes again, man. I got to get more greens because... We've been getting a lot of open shots. We've been driving in. 
kicking out to open shooters, all that good stuff. But we just haven't been greening the shots. And if you don't get greens, what are you doing? I know I don't have the meter on, but I'm trying to learn to shoot a lot better without the meter, so we're going to see if we can play a little bit better this game, even though we did win by 42, which wasn't that bad. We're going to see if we can step things up a little bit. We're going to see if we can ramp it up, play a little bit better, and if we win this game, we are now only 28 games away from Larry Bird and 8 games away from Marc Gasol, so here we go. We're off to a good start shooting the ball, already two greens. So CBT's about to get Kevin McHale. I was thinking we're going to save Kevin McHale for last because Kevin McHale has a big role in this channel's history. My Kevin McHale video last year was probably my first big video ever as a YouTuber, so we're going to save the icon himself for last. He deserves it. Devince, I was actually thinking about that. I was definitely thinking about that. Because a lot of these games, we're winning them pretty easily, so maybe using a pretty bad team like that would make it challenging. I might do that for tomorrow because I don't want to spend all the time like making the lineups. Also, how did Jason Kidd just lock up Embiid like that? They're getting a lot of open looks in transition. I'm not really worried about it because in their half-court offense, they're not really getting any open looks. In the half-court offense, at least, so... Yeah, if we can just keep on getting open looks like this with Embiid, let's go! We're shooting so much better this game, man. Our shots have been falling this game from three. I'm getting good releases, we're getting open shots as usual. And y'all know Paige is not keeping up with Kobe, man. Good start to this game. If I can just get those releases right, we're going to win every game easily. Like, it's not even going to be a contest, man. It's not even going to be a question. But last game, I wasn't getting the right releases, man. I wasn't getting the right releases, so I'm trying to do better this game. I'm trying to do better this game for sure. Another open look. Those are going to fall because Kobe's a great shooter, but I got to green them. Uh, Martin, I do have a lot of food put aside. I have a lot of drinks put aside. I have three cups of water lined up on my left, so it's going to be good. Thirst should not be a problem. Hunger should not be a problem. I have all my food and drinks ready for today's stream, so yeah, if this is a super long stream, I'm going to have refreshments. I'm not worried about it. What's up, Jim? Welcome to the stream. We're off to a much better start in this game. We're playing a lot better defense. All of their points have been in transition, so... If we can be a little bit better in the half-court offense and score a little bit more efficiently, we're going to be okay. But who cares about efficiency when you can put on a show? Because Kobe has takeover, so I'm going to start taking some very dumb shots with him. And he's probably going to make them too. He's probably going to make them too. What's up, Lindsay? Welcome back to the stream. Ah, they're double-teaming. What bummers. They're double-teaming Kobe. Yeah, the second he catches the ball, they're double-teaming. That's not cool. I'm trying to put on a show for the people, man. Admire says I'm going for my fourth opal. Good for you. Good for you. How many challenges do I have done? 21. In the title, it should say I have 29 left, so do the math, subtract 29 from 50, and I have 21 finished. Easy maths. But yeah, we have 27 people in here. Hope all you guys are doing alright. Anthony Morgan just said, subscribe if you enjoy the content and interact with the chat. Feel free. I try to talk to as many of you guys as I can. Especially in these games. These games come to me pretty easily. So, yeah, half the time I don't even have to focus a lot. So, I'm going to try to talk to as many of you guys in the chat as I can. So yeah, feel free to interact and subscribe if you're new and if you enjoy the content. Especially... We're shooting very well to start this game, man. We're shooting very well from the field. Like last game, we weren't getting many greens, but this game, we're off to a really good start shooting, so we're going to keep it up. This should be an easy win. And if we do win this game, we are now eight games away from Galaxy Opal Mark Gasol. I am having a very good day, mock builds. It's been a good day so far. I got some really good sleep last night, by the way. I fell asleep at like, I want to say 8 or 9, woke up today at like 5, and ever since then, I've gotten a good run in, took a shower, ate a really big breakfast, 
It was a very unhealthy breakfast, but still, a very good breakfast, very big, a lot of good food, and that food, it gave me the energy. So, running out of energy is not going to be a problem today. Yesterday, I had to run upstairs and get food during the stream, but today, I have a bunch of food and water on my right, so I'm not going to get thirsty, I'm not going to get hungry, and if I do, I have all this food and water next to me, man. What's up, Alexa? I'm sorry about your mom passing away for real. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Everybody in the streams got you, though. We're all family here. We're all family here. I'm very sorry about that, though. If you want to talk about it, feel free. But I'm very sorry about that, Alexa. Trey, there are zero restrictions on the challenges. No restrictions. You don't have to score any amount of points. You don't have to grab any amount of rebounds. All you have to do is make sure you win every game. The only restriction is that you gotta score more points than the other team does. That's the only restriction. Other than that, absolutely nothing. Other than that, nothing at all. But yeah, I know you guys see how well we're shooting, man. Last game, we had a little bit trouble greening our threes, but this game, we've been on fire from the get-go, man. From the very start. Man, we were on fire from the get-go. But yeah, Alexa, I'm sorry. Hope you're doing all right, or as well as you can be doing. I'm very sorry about that. Feel free to vent about it. You know we're all here for you, man. I wanted to shoot that with Kobe, but got an open lane. Kobe's a little bit too much of a beast, you know? 33-17. Oh, man, almost got a steal right there, too. We haven't been great on defense this game because they do have some weird matchups, man. Like this Dirk has been shooting pretty well. The Jason Kidd has been surprisingly good. So we haven't been terrible, but got to be a little bit better. We are hitting our shots, though. That's the biggest thing we've been doing. We've been hitting our shots. We've been greening all of our open shots. So if we can keep the same energy, we're going to be okay. If we can just keep that same energy, we're going to be all right. But having Dirk at the small forward is kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. Having Dirk at the three position is very weird. I'm going to make some subs soon. I'm going to put Dennis Rodman at the small forward probably because I know for a fact he's going to lock up Dirk. I know that for a fact. Oh, he crossed up Dirk too. He's been hitting his shots, but right there I couldn't knock it down. Actually... I can put in um, Dennis Rodman at the power forward and Josh Smith at the small forward. Alexa, thank you for the $10 donation. We've been getting a lot of donations lately. I really appreciate every single one. That's a big one right there. Thank you, Alexa. That's a big donation. I appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Thank you so much for that donation. Member of the channel, awesome subscriber. I appreciate you. I really do. But nah, Alexa, try not to think too much about it. But at the end of the day, I mean, gotta think about it. Gotta keep your family in mind. Like I said, feel free to talk about it. Feel free to talk about it for sure. That's one of the biggest donations we've gotten in a while. Usually we get $5 donations, $2 donations, $3, $1. Donations like that, a $10 donation, that's a pretty big one right there, so I appreciate it. And you're already a member, so I double appreciate that. You guys feel free to become members if you're big fans of the channel. Becoming a member is a great way to show support for me, for my content, for these streams, all that stuff. I really do appreciate it, and yeah, everybody watching right now, whether you're a new subscriber, whether you're an old subscriber, whether you're not subscribed at all, make sure you enjoy the stream, hang around, talk in the chat. We do have a very chill community around here. A very chill community, so if you want to be a part of this, all you gotta do is subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. Finally got our subs in. It's about time. Not to say my starting lineup's been playing the whole time, but my bench is honestly just as good as the starters, and that's a big thing. Uh, Lindsay, it costs three dollars a month, so. You don't even have to donate half as much as Alexa did. 
If you want to be a member, it costs three dollars a month. Three dollars for one month, or yeah, I guess if you want to do the math, thirty-six dollars a year. All it costs is three dollars a month. You got some awesome CP the Doc emojis. You're gonna be one of the first people to hear about videos that are not published, like publicly. Let's say I post a video and have it on private or unlisted. You're gonna get to see the video before anybody else does. So, yeah, you got the emojis. You got the membership badges like Alexa has, and the badges do get cooler looking as you go down the line. But that's a big thing, man. I was going to mention this earlier. I've actually mentioned this a lot, but man. My defense has not been all that good this game. They have so many mismatches, and we've had trouble getting rebounds. What's up, Huday? Welcome to the stream, man. Always nice having all my moderators and members in here. Hope you're doing alright, man. Hope you're enjoying your day so far. Let's get a bucket to end the first half, man. <sighs> Only up by 19. We'll live with that, though. We're definitely okay with that. We're just trying to win these games as fast as we can. Buy as many points as we can, so... We're off to a pretty good start in this game. We've been playing pretty well. We're trying to keep up the good work, man. Yesterday, we did not lose a game. But then again, it's not like these games are tough or anything. It's not like we should be losing these games, so... We just gotta make sure we keep the same energy in the second half. Pull away and get this W. What's up, T. Nolan? Move that ball, Dennis Rodman for three. Bang! We gotta be better this half, man. Our defense in the first half was pretty weak. I know we only gave up 25 points, but we gotta be a little bit better. We gotta be a little bit better this half. They've been making some tough shots, taking some tough ones too. Dennis Rodman again, back-to-back -back threes. So Dennis Rodman comes into the game, hits a couple shots. We're looking pretty good, man. We're looking pretty good to start the second half. Looking pretty great, actually. It doesn't get much better than this, but they're taking some long threes. They're taking some tough shots. And in the first half, they were making a bunch of those shots, for real. They were making a bunch of those shots to start the set to in the first half. Excuse me. I didn't do a very good job talking right there. Oh, man. And in transition, our defense has been pretty bad, too. So I gotta give myself a little slap on the wrist, you know? I know I've been pretty bad on defense this game. Not terrible, but it's just in transition we've given up so many buckets that we shouldn't have given up. Oh, yeah. Got that baseline, though. Ooh. I almost forgot that there was a Amethyst Tyson Chandler in the game, for real. I actually forgot that there was a... Tyson Chandler that was that good but yeah I'm taking it to the rim on him every single time we're up by 24 but man we haven't even been playing that well so if we can start hitting our shots again and getting more stops on defense we're gonna be all right we're we gonna be all right I think that's the first time I've said that this stream haven't been saying that very much Jim Gagnon says these challenges are just like practice I agree about to say these these challenges they don't prepare you for like zigzagging and stuff online or people being toxic and stuff they don't prepare you for that necessarily but no they like help you practice help defense and all that good stuff like where to move how to get good shots on offense all that all the small things all the small boring things you have to do to be good at this game these challenges help you practice what's up oval welcome to the stream feel like you're a new viewer so Gotta give you a warm welcome. Hope you're doing alright today. Enjoying yourself and feel free to hang around and see if you enjoy the content. Now this matchup right here is so tough. Like right there, I have Josh Smith like guarding Dirk. But then I have Dick Van Arsdale guarding, um, what's his name? Uh, Peja Stojakovic. So that's a 6'10 dude and a 7 footer. So whenever I have to switch that matchup, they're able to score, man. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Dennis Robbins on fire though, and he's playing really good defense. He got a snatch block last possession, and then he was able to contest the shot that possession. Be patient. 
let the offense get set up. Oh, yeah. Gonna throw a lob right here to Lonzo. Ooh! I threw it way too early. I was trying to throw it to Lonzo right there. It wasn't happening, though, sadly. Hude, how good is Dennis Johnson? I've heard people talk about McHale. I've heard people talk about Gasol, Rodman, Pierce. But I haven't heard much about Dennis Johnson. Now, I've heard he's very good on defense, but how is he on offense? Because I haven't heard much about him. I know a lot of people have him. I know he's like the first guy there, so a lot of people have him. But I haven't heard anything about his card for real. So is he good? What do you think of him? Because I'm seriously curious. I'm seriously curious about how good he is. There we go. Like, like I told you guys, we've been really hitting our shots this game, man. We've been really hitting our shots. Like we've been getting a bunch of greens. And we haven't been great on defense. We've given up a lot of wide open layups and dunks and threes in transition. But we're still up by 30, so I'm not going to get mad. What's up, Jonah? Welcome back to the stream, man. Let's go, man. Jay Smoove has that easy release. Jay Smoove has that easy jumper, man. Without the bar on, I've gotten a lot better. I've really gotten better at shooting without that meter on, so we're going to see if we can keep it up. God, man. This Jason Kidd has been killing me this game, though. This Jason Kidd has been kicking my ass low-key. He's been getting to the rim, hitting open threes. He probably shouldn't be playing this well, but for some reason he is. For some reason he is. I've been getting killed this game by Jason Kidd. But like I said, we have been very good on offense. We have been very good on offense. Martin, I'll see you again soon. Go eat your food. Huday says Dennis Johnson is nice. Good defender. Amazing release. Very nice dunk package. Only 6'4". I mean, he is 6'4", I'd say, is a cutoff height. If you want a PG who's, like, not too small, I'd say. Now then again, smaller PGs like Gilbert Arenas are pretty good. Dick Barnett's not too bad. If you want a smaller PG, there are some very good ones you can get. But, I mean, 6'4 is not bad for Dennis Johnson. I know he's a great defender, but probably not going to put him on the team. I'll have to see, though. I'm going to have to test him out. What's up, PH? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Jonah, I do already have Rodman, and he's been very good this game. Rodman has been very good this game. He's been beasting and feasting. We're up by 30, but our defense hasn't been the best this game, so thankfully our offense has been absolutely on fire. It feels like we've been greening every single shot, every single one. Is that Brian Cardinal they have at the center? I didn't even know he was in the game. Yeah, these Mavericks haven't been that bad. They're a lot better than I expected them to be. I'm not going to say I underestimated them, but I kind of did. I kind of did, I'm not going to lie. I did kind of underestimate these Mavericks, as me and my younger brother call them sometimes. Oladipo, he's a good defender. He has decent size at the PG, if you want to put him there. And his jump shot's actually not that bad, but nah, Dennis Johnson's probably the move, man. What's up, Ashton? Welcome to the stream. So we're up 29, but like I said, gotta be a little bit better. We are one like away from 40 on the stream, so thank you guys for being so active early. One like away from 40, so you guys show some love if you haven't already. You guys might not like that I'm getting those little cheesy steals. I know they're kind of toxic. But then again, we're playing versus the CPU. Can you really be toxic versus the CPU? Because the CPU can't get super toxic versus you. Now that's a talking point right there. That's a good talking point right there. Something to think about. Man, Diamond Corey Brewer, what a beast. Uh, I don't give mods to people who ask. You gotta show me that you can be a mod. I've actually taken away a few people's mods because they just don't show up anymore. It's tough because they used to be big supporters, but if you don't show up to the stream, I can't really give you a mod, right? Thank you for the like, Oval. I appreciate it. I can't give you a mod if you don't show up consistently. And I've never seen you in here before, PH, so yeah, can't really give it to you. 
the thing about Robin, he, he's more of a position player. Beautiful basketball. What a fast break. And really the story of this second Oval, half. thank you for the good luck on Bird. I'm going to try to get him as soon as possible. This should be a win. So after this game, we'll only be 28 wins away from Bird and 8 wins away from Mark Gasol. That's the one we're going for right now. Does anybody in here have Mark Gasol? Because I've heard he's really good too. I've heard he's really good too. Huday said F in the chat for the former mods. Yeah, they just don't show up. And whenever they're in here and people ask for mod, they're always like, you got to earn mod. And I'm like, you're here like once per month, so I can't give it to you, you know? F for them. Josh Smith's wide open. Easy bucket. Josh Smith's been good this game, man. I hate that I'm bringing him off the bench because he's a beast, but yeah, he's still playing very well off the bench. I've heard Mark Gasol is like Hakeem, but shorter. Or not shorter, um, slower slower that's what I meant to say but I mean I'd take a slower Hakeem man I would definitely take a slower Hakeem for sure like that sounds pretty good that sounds pretty good because Hakeem is pretty good he has good speed and he's very good on defense I do think Embiid is better than Hakeem but like I mean on offense I think he's better than Hakeem but defensively and getting rebounds and stuff if we're talking about speed I gotta take Hakeem over Embiid. It's so tough because you gotta factor in offense and defense. So it's tough to say who's better, you know? Livestack, I'm glad you're gonna be here all stream. I always, It's always nice having a mod or two in here. It's always nice having some mods in here. We've had a lot of them show up lately, so that's always a good thing. We'll have some people causing ruckus in the chat sometimes. People getting a little bit toxic, being weird and stuff. So having a mod in here to take care of that stuff is always a good thing. Always a good thing. Because there's always going to be some weird people in the chat. What's up, Benji? Welcome to the stream. We're getting kind of toxic with those steals, I'm not going to lie. Those steals, I wouldn't say they're... I don't know, man. Those little bump steals, they annoy people. And they annoy me. So I'm sorry for anybody who doesn't like those little bump steals I'm getting. But, I mean, we got to win by as much as possible. Mark is good, but he only has a 90 standing dunk. I mean, I don't really take many standing dunks. Mark's a guy who I'm probably going to have space on the floor, but if Mark does get a mismatch, it's good if he's able to attack it. They're sagging off Rodman. Come on, man. Oh, that would have been nice right there. Got Arsdale open, though. And like I told you guys, we've been shooting well the entire game. We have been shooting very well the entire game. So if we can keep that up, we're going to be all right. Like last game, we were not getting many greens. We were not greening many shots at all, but ever since the beginning of this game, like ever since the first like two or three minutes of the game, we've been greening everything. We've been on fire. So if we can just keep that rhythm up for the whole stream, it's going to be good. What's up, Dark J? Welcome to the stream, man. It's always cool having guys come in who you just haven't seen in a minute, man. Guys like Dark J. Hope you're doing all right, man. You weren't in here yesterday, but I'm glad you're in here today, man. I'm just going to take this three with Arsdale. Why not? We're going to dribble out the clock. We're going to go ahead and get this win. And this means we are only eight games away from Galaxy Opal Marc Gasol. And you guys have talked about how good Marc Gasol is. Y'all were talking about him a lot yesterday, so... Yeah, we're going to get him today. We're going to test him out at some point, and yeah. Good win for the boys. Good win for the home team, or for the away team, since we're technically in Dallas, but nah, good win. Really good win. Two very strong showings to start off the stream, and we're going to keep it up. You guys already know we're going to keep things up. That's a pretty good win right there by 39 points. Not our best performance, especially on defense, but hey, a win's a win. A W is a W at the end of the day. That's all that matters. I'm gonna check my phone real quick and we're gonna keep things rolling. So I know the title says 29 games left. Now the title should say 28 games left. GG's. GG's. Thank you, Oval. Thank you, Mock Builds. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the stream so far. I'm glad that we haven't taken any L's yet. We've been playing pretty well. And we gotta play well this next game, man. We're about to play versus LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosch. 
this is going to be an interesting game right here. This is going to be an interesting game. I got Gilbert Arenas on LeBron right now, so I'm going to have to switch up those matchups real quick. I'm going to have to switch up the matchups. I cannot have Gilbert guarding LeBron, so real quick, I'm going to do matchups. Actually, I might change up my lineups and do something interesting. I'm going to put Dennis Rodman in there for Paul Pierce. And I'm going to put Dennis Rodman on LeBron just to maybe try and show off his defense a little bit. What's up, F. Vogue? Welcome to the stream. Let's win the jump ball. Okay, we lost the jump ball. Sigh. It's all good, though. Backcourt violation. And I'm going to change up the matchups. Um, Fidisks. I don't think there's any problem with putting Bird at the four. Yeah, I really don't think there's a problem with that. So if you want to put Bird at the four... He's going to play some good defense, and keep in mind, he has pretty much every badge in the game, so I don't think you really have to worry about that. Wait, got to do matchups. But I have to cancel substitutions to do matchups, I forgot about that. What's up, combo up, welcome to the stream. Oh, they're giving Kobe too much, okay. I was going to say they're giving Kobe too much space, but then that shot ended up being contested, so I looked pretty dumb right there, I'm not going to lie. Good defense by Akeem, though. And yeah. So I'm going to try and show off Rodman's defense a little bit in this game. Going to put him on LeBron. And this should be a... I wouldn't say an easy win because we are playing versus a really good team. But y'all know I'm not really worried about these guys, man. Not really worried about these guys. They're leaving arenas open. Haven't gotten a green yet, man. Last game, we were getting so many greens. Hitting pretty much every open shot. But so far this game... We've just hit two full bars, and one of them wasn't even a full bar. It was 50% contested, so as long as we play good defense, we're going to be okay. We have Kobe guarding D. Wade. We have Joel Embiid blocking Udonis Haslam. I'm sure we're going to be fine. What's up, Jackson? Welcome back to the stream. You were in here yesterday, so welcome back today. Welcome back today, indeed. More good defense. That's an awkward floater. 27% contested. Playing versus the Heat on their home floor. Offensively, we shouldn't have too many problems. We shouldn't have too many problems. Defensively, though, I'm going to put Robin in there to guard LeBron. Definitely going to put him in there. What's up, Ollie? Welcome to the stream. Honestly, I could low-key isolate on Udonis Haslam because Joel Embiid has so much space to take that shot. Let me do matchups real quick, though. I'm going to put Dennis Rodman on LeBron James, and I'm going to put Gilbert Arenas on D. Wade, to be honest with you. And then Kobe can just chill out and guard Shane Battier. I mean, no matter what, we're going to play good defense, so I'm not really worried about it. We're going to be all right, and we're going to win this game. Ali, I'm glad you think I'm so good. I appreciate it, because some people don't think that. So I'm glad you think that. Oh, they're double teaming? Let me swing that ball around. Man, the spacing is so bad. The spacing is terrible. Nice shot by Rodman, but he should have just stayed at the three-point line. We're good, though. 13-2 lead. Playing some very good defense. We're getting steals, forcing tough shots. All the boring little things. All the boring little things you have to do to win games. We've been doing those. So, let's keep it up. Jackson, th thank you for clicking the magical like button. We're actually one like away from 50, so... Whoever wants to be the 50th like, now's your time to shine. Hit the like button for me if you haven't already. And yeah, 50 likes in less than an hour is really good, so thank you guys for being so active in the stream so early. We have 25 people watching, so that's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for being so active early. Ali, we have 28 games left. It should say that in the title, but you might not see that. Good shot, man. Offensively, Last game, we were great. We got to be better this game because we're playing versus a better team, man. And we got to play this same team next game, too. We're going to be playing this same team, except they're going to have Galaxy Opal Ray Allen and they're going to have Rashard Lewis. So the next team we play is going to be even better than this. The 2013 Heat had Rashard Lewis. They had Ray Allen. It's too bad this team doesn't have Mario Chalmers. It's too bad this Heat team doesn't have Mario Chalmers. He was always my favorite. What a what a bucket machine. Welcome back, Martin Lepic. 
Oh, man. Soon I'm going to get Lonzo in there, too, because if we can have a tall guy at every position playing defense, we're going to be all right. Dennis Rodman, man. All I need Rodman to do is lock down on defense and hit open threes. That's literally everything I need him to do. That's literally all I need him to do. What's up, Cloud? Welcome to the stream, man. Or welcome back. Because I saw you were in here before the stream started, so... That's why I gotta give you a welcome back instead of a welcome. And they have Pink Diamond Eddie Curry. I forgot this Heat team had Eddie Curry. I don't know how I forgot that. Because I always used to meme Eddie Curry for being a little bit fat. But hey, I guess this team has Eddie Curry. I do not have Opal LeBron James, sadly. I want Opal LeBron, but I don't have him. Good defense by Rodman, man. Rodman's a beast on defense. And they're leaving Rodman open again. It's a guaranteed green whenever Rodman's open. If Rodman has space, if they're playing help off of Rodman, Rodman's going to make the defense pay. He has eight points already. He's hit both of his open threes. They've been easy greens. And we have been on one on defense, man. We have really been on one on defense. Can Rodman go coast to coast? Ah, man. I was going for that contact dunk animation because he does have some very good dunk animations. What's up, Dark J? Ready said hi to you. But I'll say hi again. Let's run around a couple screens. Let's get it, man. 20-point lead in the first quarter. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're off to a really good start in this game. I gave him way too much space right there, but he missed. We're looking good versus the 2012 Heat. Good start to the game, man. Very good start to the game. Uh, Rodman? No, I can't. Actually, I think he can. I haven't really tried. Haven't really tried to speed boost. I'm pretty sure he can, though. I have to say, I've seen his stats, and based on his stats, I'm pretty sure he can. He has Hall of Fame quick first step, so I'm pretty sure he can, but I haven't really tried. All I've done is just shot open threes. I isolated with him a little bit yesterday, but I haven't tried very much to speed boost with him. All I've done is just kick to him, drive to the rim, dunk, just little things like that, man. Little boring things, like I said earlier. But yeah, we're shooting very well in this game. And we're playing some good defense. We're playing some very good defense. Rodman has been really good on LeBron. He's been clamping up, man. I mean, Rodman has every single defensive badge in Hall of Fame. So, yeah, we're, we've been pretty good. We've been very good, actually. Mock Build says I'm eating lunch right now. Hey, I have my lunch on my left if I get hungry during the stream. Because this is going to be a long stream. So, I know I'm going to get hungry. I know I'm going to have to get some water at some point. All the little things. All the little things I prepared for. But yeah. This Heat team, they've been a little disappointing, man. A lot of you guys probably wanted a nice, close, intense game, but yeah, it hasn't been that so far. So far, it has not been much of a close, intense game. I want to get the ball back to Embiid, though. The paint's wide open. They're leaving Hakeem open. And y'all know, I always find the open man. I'll always see the open man immediately, and we've been very good in this game so far. If we can just keep up the same energy, we're going to win this game pretty easily. And we will be only seven games away from Mark Gasol. Mark Gasol. Pal Gasol has an opal. It's only right that his brother gets an opal, too. It's only right. That was a bad shot by me. That was a really bad shot attempt, I'm not going to lie. We've been working so well to get good shots. I got to make sure I keep the same energy on offense, man. On defense, we've been great, so I'm not worried about that. We just got to be better on offense. Rodman can speed boost. That's what I thought, because he has all the stats. He has the quick first step and everything. I was pretty sure he could, but had to make sure. Had to make sure. I didn't want to be an unreliable source, but... Now, he's very good. He can hit the open three. He has those contact dunk animations. And he can lock up pretty much any position. Some centers can be a little bit tall, but Rodman has Hall of Fame rim protector, post move lockdown. All that stuff, man. All that stuff. 
Olajuwon's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ooh. Oh, Rodman. Oh, man. I got the release wrong, though. That was a nice move, though, to create some space for himself. But, man, I got to green that. He still hasn't missed, though. He still has not missed, so that's still something right there. That's still pretty good. We're up pretty big on the Miami Heat, man. After this, we only have to play versus the Heat one more time for the rest of the challenges. Now, we are going to have to still play versus the Lakers and the Celtics and all them especially in the 70s and the 80s, but I'm not thinking that far ahead, man. I have my mind on this game so far, and this game only. A great man once said, you gotta take it one at a time. I mean, you can't win 36 games in a row without winning one first, right? If you take any L, the streak's over, but you gotta go one at a time. Gotta go one at a time. If you're not going one game at a time, what are you doing? Sounds good, Dark J. I will see you around. Hopefully. Offense has been flowing these last couple games, man. The offense has just been great. Hitting open shots, getting to the rim, throwing lobs too, putting on a show every now and then. We have been pretty good. We've been pretty good. Justin... In my opinion, the games aren't that hard, especially if you have a good team. I have a team of all Opals, but as long as, it, as long as you have guys who can defend... Oh, what the heck is that? As long as you have guys who can defend and shoot, get to the rim, create some offense for themselves, you should be good. I think I could be doing this with a team of, like, all Diamonds, too. I know I have all Opals, but I'm sure I could do the same thing with a worse team, because a lot of these teams, like, they'll have good players like Opal LeBron... They'll have Opal D. Wade, Opal Chris Bosh. I'm talking about the Heat, for example. But then they'll have, like, Silver Mario Chalmers. Or, like, Sapphire Udonis Haslam. So, even the best teams you play against have some weak spots. Like, when you play versus the Bulls, yeah, they have Opal Rodman. They have Opal Jordan. They have Opal Scottie Pippen. But then they'll have, like, Emerald Craig Hodges. They'll have, like, Luke Longley. There's always a matchup you can attack. Like, no matter who you're playing against, there's always a matchup you can attack. There's always a guy you can kind of leave open, not really worry about on offense or defense or... Yeah, defense is what I mean. There's always going to be a guy that you don't really have to worry about. So even though these teams you're playing against are pretty good, a lot of them have guys you don't really have to worry about. And they'll start double teaming and stuff, like right here. They're leaving Akeem open. All we got to do is move the ball. Man. Got to create a little bit better offense. There we go. We've been hitting our shots this game, man. We have 57 points in the first half. We've been playing great defense, and we've been hitting those open shots. If we can keep that up, we're not losing a game today, man. We didn't lose a game yesterday, and I can almost guarantee you guys, we're not taking any L's today. Vince, I will see you later. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you again real soon. What's up, Sean? But yeah, Justin, I don't think these games are that hard. A lot of people in the chat are having a pretty easy time with them. Some of them are having a tough time. Some of them have taken a few L's, but... I mean, they are on Superstar difficulty. But then again, Superstar's not that bad. As long as you don't let the CPU get into a rhythm, you should be okay. Justin, no problem, man. I think you're new to the channel, so feel free to hang around if you enjoy the content. Maybe even subscribe. Maybe even sub up, man. It'd be awesome having you in Doc Nation. We got 30 people in here. And I hope all you guys are doing alright, man. Hope all you guys are staying safe and enjoying your Thursday. If you're a new viewer, just like I said to Justin, feel free to hang around and enjoy the stream. Enjoy the stream. About to say, I know a lot of you guys right now are grinding for Larry Bird too. I know I'm not the only one, so if you want to keep this turned on while you're grinding... That would be pretty dope. And that was a super deep three by Akeem. This man has range, and he definitely has a nicer jumper than Shaq. We've had this debate before. That's tough right there. That Opal LeBron is different. Stormy's on the last game for Rodman. Let's get it, man! I got Rodman yesterday, and he has been a beast today, man. This Rodman's been really good today. He was good yesterday too, but today he 
feel like I haven't missed weapon. I feel like I have not missed a shot. What's up, Hog? Welcome to the stream. I was thinking about you earlier, man. I was like, wonder if the Hog is going to show up today. Welcome to the stream, though. So now they're getting hot. We played really good defense in the first half, but now they're getting a little bit hot shooting the ball. And now they're double teaming. But the spacing's terrible. Okay, let's move the ball around, though. But for some reason, our spacing just sucks. Right there, Joel Embiid should have run to the paint. We're good, though. We're still up 29. Good D by Kobe. What's up, James Long? Keep on grinding. Are you doing the challenges in order? I'm assuming you are since you already have Dennis Johnson and you're doing McHale right now. About to say, I know I'm not the only one grinding in here. Got a lot of you guys playing these games, too. But yeah, they're double teaming every time down the court. But our spacing has just, has just been so bad. Right here, they don't have the double team since LeBron's guarding him. But whenever I get the switch, they got to play help. They're leaving Lonzo in the corner. Let's get it, men! Stormy, why are, you, why are you asking if Robin's worth it? You're grinding for him right now. I think he is, but just because I think he is doesn't mean you think he is. I don't know why people ask if someone's worth it. If you're going for him, you clearly think they're worth it. But yeah, they've stopped double teaming. I think it's because they put LeBron on Lonzo. Oh yeah. I thought I had more space right there. I guess I was wrong though. Man, that's the tough thing about our offense being bad right now. Like, they're getting so many easy buckets because we're not getting back on defense. I should have taken the layup right there, too. Very bad decision. Now they're double teaming. Let's move the ball around. Why didn't Robin just stay at the three-point line, man? I'm telling you. For some reason, my CPUs have been... They've been a little bit silly this game, man. I have to say, the spacing's been so bad every time we come down the court. Every time we come down the court and they double team, it's like the spacing just turns to crap. It's all good, though, because we're back to playing decent defense. We're back to playing that decent defense. We were so good in the first half, but this half, we've definitely fallen off a little bit. We definitely haven't fallen off a cliff, because we still are having some decent defensive possessions, but, man, they're hitting a lot of contested shots, and they're getting back. What's it called? They're getting back on defense because of that. Like, that's our thing. We've been missing a lot of shots, and we just haven't been able to get back on defense because of that. Oh, yeah, Rodman. He's getting tired, so I need to sub him out of the game. Gonna put Josh Smith back in. Gonna get D-Rob in there. And gonna take him beat out, too. These guys have been playing literally the entire game. Sometimes I got I get caught uh, excuse me. I get caught up talking to you guys, so I'll forget to make subs. And also my players play just as well when they're tired, so Yeah, the reason I'm missing a shots, missing a couple shots, and not getting back on D is probably because we're tired. So gonna make some subs right quick. Such a bad defensive quarter, man. We have been terrible on defense this quarter. Only up 22. We should be up by 40. Uh, let's get Paul Pierce back in there, too. About to say, Paul Pierce was pretty good last game, but I didn't play him much this game. I knew early in the game he was going to have to guard LeBron, so I was like, eh, I'll try to show off Robin's defensive skills instead. Ah, gotta get that steal. And now Arsdale's guarding LeBron, so... I'm going to switch that up a little bit. I'm going to get Josh Smith guarding LeBron. I feel like it's the best thing to do. I have said this before. I do think Josh Smith's one of the best defensive players in the game. He can switch everything. He can guard every position. Sometimes big men could overpower him, but nah, he has all the post move lockdown and everything. Rim protector. Super athletic. Josh Smith's one of my favorite players in my team for sure. Y'all listen to Mock Builds. Mock Builds said like and subscribe. You guys listen to Mock Builds because leaving a like and subscribing, very important. It helps the, it helps the channel out a lot more than you think. So y'all help me out a little bit and subscribe if you haven't already. Listen to Mock Builds. 
Mock Builds knows what he's talking about. And I would appreciate it, for real. Okay. One quarter away. One quarter away from finishing our third game of the stream. We're on a really good pace so far, man. We're on a really good pace so far. We've been live for 76 minutes. So, yeah, we're on a pretty good pace. We got Josh Smith guarding LeBron now. Let's pull away, man. We were so bad on defense in that third quarter. We were so good in the first half, but so bad in that third quarter. So, let's see if we can put a nail in the coffin in this quarter. See if we can put a dagger in this game because we were pretty bad on defense that quarter. We were very bad on defense in the third quarter. So let's be a little bit better. <sighs> right there, I knew David Robinson was going to foul. So I tried to switch to him as quickly as I could, but 2K just decided that D-Rob was going to sit there and foul. At least D-Wade missed a free throw. At least he missed a free throw. Oh, man. I can't really complain about our offense, but it's been the defense this game that I'm concerned about. I've been concerned about our defense. Ooh, okay, Paul Pierce. Okay, Truth. Look at him getting all the way to the rim, man. About to say, I know we had some nice dunk animations. I know he has a nice jumper, but I didn't know he was... Oh, crap. I tapped X and missed the free throw. That's tough. Uh, we're still good, though. And that was a nice contact dunk by Pierce. I'm not going to lie. What's up, Prodigy Mo? Welcome back to the stream. Let's run this pick and roll with Josh Smith. Oh, we got the switch right here. You got, we got Udonis Haslam. I don't even have to take a dribble. About to say, I can just size up and shoot it. I know that Sapphire Udonis Haslam is not contesting that shot. Nice shot by Arenas. If we could have just gotten a few more stops earlier in the game, we could be up by like 40 or 50 right now. But our defense was so bad in that third quarter. Uh, Justin, I have 28 games left. It should say that in the title. It should say that in the title. 28 games left. If we hold on to this game and win, make that 27. So this is going to be a long stream today. Hopefully we get a lot of new viewers in here. Gain some new subs. It's going to be a good grind, man. It's going to be a good grind. Yesterday we gained almost 100 new subs, so... If we can get even half of that today, I would be really happy. Very happy. Yesterday we averaged about 30-something viewers. I can't remember the exact number, but we averaged over 30 viewers. So, right now we have 25 in here, so... Hey, pretty close to the same audience. And you guys have been very active in the chat, which I really appreciate. And we've gotten a lot of new guys talking in here, so... That's always a great thing, too. Always a great thing. Jim says I made a full-court shot, but it didn't count. Yesterday, during the stream, we actually made two full-court shots. One of them didn't count, but the other one did. And if it wasn't for that full-court shot, I wouldn't have woken up and been able to finish the stream, man. That full-court shot gave me a lot of energy, but today, I don't need energy, man. I don't need energy today. Because last no yesterday, the reason I needed energy was because I literally didn't sleep before the stream. I was going to sleep, but then 2K posted the new content, and I had no choice, man. I had to stream, and I don't know how I made it so far. I don't know how I streamed for so long, but I did it. The channel's growing. I gained a lot of new subs yesterday, and we're going to keep it going today. We're going to keep it going today. After this win, we'll be 3-0. And we'll be only seven games away from getting Galaxy Opal Marcus Saul. So let's keep the grind up, man. Let's keep the grind up. Look at Dick Van Arsdale, man. The hog says one-fourth to 10K. And that's a really crazy thing to think about, man. I remember last year when I hit 1,000 subs, I was like halfway to 2K. And we hit 2,000, like what? A month ago so we've been on fire lately you guys have been really enjoying the streams we've been gaining a lot of new subs getting a ton of likes a ton of donations man it's been awesome like I've had a lot of fun just talking to new subs playing the games and I just love the fellowship of the streams man like in this game the reason why I'm able to talk to you guys so much is because we're up by 50 how to say 
so I can just talk to you guys, read a bunch of your chats, and you guys are really chill, I gotta say. Every person who comes into my streams, they're pretty chill. If somebody does cause trouble in the chat, my mods just timed them out, but nah, I've had a lot of fun streaming these games, had a lot of fun talking to you guys, a lot of fun grinding out these new players too. I know 2K is a kind of a shit game, I think even the game's biggest players can agree on that, but nah, they've given us a lot of new content to grind out, and this single player content, you can just chill, grind, talk to your communities, all the good stuff man, all that good stuff. So I gotta shout out 2K and thank them for giving us some good single player content that we can all grind out together, you know? Ah, <sighs> but yeah, we're back up to 30 viewers. If you're new in the chat, if you're new to the stream, if you haven't said anything yet, feel free. Feel free. I try to talk to everybody. Uh, BWJ, I think I have enough mods. I never give mods to people who ask for them. I have to say, if you deserve mod, I know. Look at this ball movement. Man, Dick Van Arsdale, I think he's the one guy who I've pretty much made his shot every time today. I've been messing up a few players' releases, but there are some guys like Arsdale who I've just been hitting every single shot with, so I will say we definitely stepped up on defense in the, what, fourth quarter? I know we were bad in the third quarter, but we definitely stepped it up a little bit in the fourth, and we got a 54-point win. That's not too bad at all. That's our biggest win of the stream in our third game of the stream, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Versus LeBron, D. Wade, and the boys. We got a pretty easy win. And now, the title should be changing. We are now only 27 games away from Larry Bird. That's not too bad at all. And now we are 7 wins away from Galaxy Opal Marc Gasol. I always gotta remember his name, man. I always gotta remember who we're going for. I know Bird is the big guy at the top of the mountain we're going for, but... Yeah. I always forget the little stepping stones too, like Marcus Saul, Dennis Johnson. Those guys, they aren't as fresh on my mind, you know? They're not as fresh on my mind. Ten tokens, let's get it, men! And we're about to get Pink Diamond Chain Battier. That's not too bad either. Here we go. We're playing versus the Heat. They're going to have LeBron, Wade, Bosch, Richard Lewis, Ray Allen. This team is going to be crazy, man. Look at this. They got LeBron, D. Wade, now they have Ray Allen, now they have Pink Diamond, Rashard Lewis. This team is definitely better than the last team we played against. The Hog, I use Streamlabs. I use Streamlabs. I think we've had this discussion before. A lot of people ask me what I use. I use Streamlabs. And Streamlabs is really awesome, man. About to say, it shows the people who subscribe to your channel has the little jingles and notifications, it shows donations. It's just a really smooth platform. I definitely recommend it for anybody who has a PC and a gaming console. But then again, you don't need a gaming console for Streamlabs. You can pretty much use Streamlabs for whatever you want to. I remember I used Streamlabs to uh, announce the giveaway winner the other day, so yeah, you can use it for computer games, Xbox games, whatever you want to, really. Streamlabs is just super efficient, super easy to use. A lot of fun to play around with, to be honest with. To be honest with you guys. It's just a lot of fun to sit there and play with. What's up, Popo Gaming? Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, Kobe. Let's get it, man. What's up, Ryan the Gamer72? About to say, you're not too late. It's only been one hour, and this is going to be a nine-hour stream, so... Anybody who comes in and they're like, I'm late... Oh, don't worry, because this is going to be a, a long stream. This is going to be a long, grinded out stream. Come on, man, we got to make that layup. I know it was 100% smothered, but it shouldn't have been. But yeah, everybody joining the stream, make sure to leave a like for me. It hasn't even been two hours, and we're about to hit 60 likes, so you guys help a brother out. Help a brother out. Oh yeah, Pierce? Man, bad start on offense. Very bad offensive start. At least we're playing decent defense, I guess. But, yeah, offensively, we gotta green our threes. Oh, they're already double teaming. 
They're leaving the wrong guy open. But like, I just can't green a shot so far. So I'm going to find my rhythm. We're going to be okay. We're going to get some offense to go. We just beat this team by 50, so we're going to get some offense to go eventually. I promise you. We're going to get some offense to go. They're leaving Gilbert open again, but I can't make them pay. I just can't make them pay. I'm missing all my open jumpers. We just beat the Heat by 50, but, man, we've been so bad on offense so far. So let's keep on playing D. Eventually, I promise you guys, those jump shots are going to go down. I promise you guys. Let's go, Gilbert. Make them pay, man. Let's go, Gilbert Arenas, Guns on Deck. That's a good song. Haven't listened to it in a while, though. It's an old song. Oh, man. So if I can just knock down those open threes, we're going to be all right. If we can just hit the open threes they give us, we're going to win this game easily. We're going to win every game easily. We've won every game easily so far today, but come on, Gilbert. Get out of the way, man. If we're missing those open jump shots, we're going to make it really tough on ourselves. They're leaving Gilbert open again. Why are they leaving Gilbert open? I know I missed the first two, but he's not going to miss again, man. He's got his green machine activated now. Gilbert's got his green machine activated, so we got off to a bad start shooting. Man, are you serious? That was perfect defense. That was perfect defense right there. What's up, Eric? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing all right today. LeBron's wearing 23 on the heat. It disgusts me, man. You're not alone right there. I have Kevin McHale, Dennis, Johnson, Paul Pierce. Dennis Rodman's very good, man. You're going to love Dennis Rodman. A lot of people come in here and ask me if Dennis Rodman's worth it. I think he 100% is. I think he, uh, he's 100% worth it. I think people asking if a card's worth it's kind of silly, though. I think I say that a lot. If you're going for a card, you must think it's worth it. But yeah, last game, we had a couple bad defensive quarters, but we still won by 50, so we're trying to bring the same energy in this game. It's tough Hude that he's wearing 23, and he's not wearing a headband, so the combination of that, it kind of makes me sad, I'm not going to lie. It's a very sad combination. No headband and 23, it's just silly, man. It's not inspirational. I think they're done leaving Gilbert wide open. I think they're done leaving arenas open. Now they're leaving Paul Pierce wide open. They're leaving our shooters wide open, giving us a lot of easy shots. So that's what I'm saying. If we can just hit those open shots, we gonna be all right. Good defense, man. Why did Hakeem jump right there? Why did Hakeem jump? Oh, God. I was looking at the chat. That's my fault. I should have waited till I scored. About to say, sometimes I'll mess up just because I look at the chat so much. To be fair, that's because I like talking to y'all, so I can't get mad at y'all. We've been good on defense this quarter, but offense, we've missed a lot of open shots early. We've hit a few in a row, but we got to be better. Let's go, Kobe. I'm telling you, man. If we can just hit those open shots better, we're going to be okay. Yeah, Hude, it's a very sad thing, man. It is a sad thing. Not only is LeBron wearing 23, but he doesn't have a headband. If he had the headband, it would make things a little bit better, but nah, the 23, it, it's just, it's ugly, man. It's ugly. Especially since they're wearing these Heat jerseys that he wore. It, it's just, it's disgusting, man. You're not the only one who thinks that. I 100% agree with you on that one. I'm pulling up in transition with Embiid. I was trying to shoot a standing three, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We're up 16 to 10. Not a great offensive first quarter, but we've been we've been kind of decent on defense. We've been a little bit. Yeah, we've been okay. And Arenas is on fire. He has his green machine activated, and that's a pretty nice burst to end the first quarter. Wasn't it just 11-10 or 13-10? I think it was 11-10, but we pulled away a little bit. We're playing pretty well. We're going to see if we can keep the same energy, man. Let's continue pulling away, because this game's a, it's a little bit too close right now. This game's a little bit too close. I miss D-Wade and LeBron, too. I really miss D-Wade and LeBron. I miss that duo, and I'm so sad it didn't work out in Cleveland. I think, honestly, if they had kept D-Wade, if they had kept Isaiah Thomas... I think they would have figured things out. That might be a hot take 
a lot of people might not agree with that, but I think it would have worked out, to be honest with you. I think they would have figured things out. They were just so bad on defense, though, man. They were so bad on defense. Liliana, uh, Larry Hughes, I mean, he's an opal, and he's easy to evolve, but if you have a god squad, he's probably not going to make it on there. Welcome back, Ali. Uh, but like I was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm sad things didn't work out in Cleveland, man, because I feel like that team of Isaiah Thomas, D. Wade, I feel like it could have been pretty good. It's just that they were hilariously bad on defense. And, yeah, what's his name? Uh, Ty Lu. He was not as good as hiding Isaiah Thomas on defense as Brad Stevens was, so that was a big deal. It's really hard to have a good team with a good defense while having Isaiah Thomas in there, so I kind of understand why they were so bad, but the Cleveland Cavaliers were just horrible. They would do this thing on defense where they would trap the ball at the top of the key, and it would always result in either an open three or an open layup. Like me and my friends in college, we would always gather at the end of our hallway, and we would watch the Cavaliers games every single time they're on national TV, and they would get blown out every single time. My favorite ones were versus the Thunder when they lost 148 to 124, and when they played versus the Rockets and lost by like 32. But I wanted the Cavaliers to do well, man. Like, I was really sad that they traded away D. Wade and all them. Things were looking pretty good when they had Jordan Clarkson, when they had Rodney Hood. They won versus the Celtics and the Thunder in their first two games and made it look very easy. But after that, they were still losing the exact same way. Their defense was still bad. They just had a few more sources of offense, we thought. So I miss those Cavaliers. I really do. Those Cavaliers teams were, I wouldn't say they're dear to my heart, but I miss them, man. I really do. What's up, Pete? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing alright today. Welcome back. Everybody here who was in last night's stream, I gotta give you a warm welcome back. I appreciate you being here for real. The grind continues. Just like the title says, the grind continues. This is a continuation of yesterday. I'm missing so many open shots. I just gotta get greens, man. Once I can start greening all my shots, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna pull away. We're gonna win this game easily. We're gonna be okay. Uh, defensively, we've been awesome, but offensively, we got to man up a little bit. We got to be a little bit better on offense. I know I have good players, but we've been missing all of our wide open shots. We've been getting so many open shots, but we've been missing them, man. We've been missing all our open shots. It's a good thing we hit that one with Kobe, though. Welcome back, Sean. What's up, Quinn? Um, That's tough. My favorite team is still the Knicks. My second favorite team is still the Hawks. It's a tough thing for me to talk about. I talked about it earlier. So yeah, my favorite team is the Knicks. To be fair, I'm not the only person in here who supports a bad team. Huda is a Cavaliers fan, so I gotta show some respect to him. What's up, Jack Nelson? Welcome back, man. Welcome back, 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 back. So we're scoring a little bit better. We've been running the fast break every single time. Like, we've been getting some really good shots on offense. But we have 29 points because we've been missing those open shots. My favorite player is Melo. My favorite player in NBA history is Melo. About to say, there's kind of the connection because I'm a Knicks fan, so I'm also a Melo fan. So, yeah, Knicks fan, Melo fan, all that good stuff. I'm going to be a Knicks fan as long as I still have hope. But hope's running out, man. Hope is running out. I think that's just a universally accepted truth. I don't think Knicks fans are, like, allowed to be happy. That's just a little theory I have. I don't think Knicks fans are meant to be happy. What's up, Lil Codeine? Welcome back, bro. Thank you for the shout-out on your story. I appreciate that, by the way. Or appreciated that since it was yesterday. Man. But yeah, you were in here yesterday. You saw how tired I was, but I'm rested. And this stream has been going awesome so far. We have won every game, made it look easy. And, yeah, we're 27 games away from Larry Bird. 27 games away. Codeine, I know it's a close game, but I've been missing so many open shots. I've been getting the releases wrong with Hakeem, David Robinson. We just got to hit our open looks and we're going to pull away. I mean, they only have 18 points, so we've been good on defense, but we just got to be better on offense. We just got to be better on O. We've been good on defense, but 
Gotta be better on offense. To be fair, I have taken a few dumb shots every now and then. That shot right there with Rodman was very dumb. Or not Rodman, Josh Smith. But, I mean, we've been good on defense. And at the end of the day, as long as you play defense, you're going to win. I mean, we're up by 15. So, if we were doing even worse on offense, we would still be in the lead. So, we're only up 15, but our defense is just... It's different, man. They've been hitting some BS. They've been making a lot of, like, well-contested, smothered shots like those. But, it's all good. Because we're still up by 15. Very good start to the stream. We haven't lost a game yet. And it's looking like we're on track to win this one. Codeine, I got the best sleep ever last night, man. I slept from like, I want to say 8 a.m. or 8.30. I mean, p.m., excuse me. Like 8.30 p.m. to like 5.30 a.m. today. It was like an eight, nine hour sleep. Last night's stream was awesome, but I really needed that sleep because I hadn't slept for a day. I hadn't slept for an entire day. The grind took over my life, man. But then again, the grind never ends. That's what they say. The grind never ends. I had no choice but to keep the grind going. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. The grind continues. That's what it says in the picture, the thumbnail. The grind continues. What's up, Splendid Sam? Welcome back to the stream. Oh, man. Defensively, like I've been saying, we have not been that bad, but... We gotta be better on offense. Like, they're gonna score a bucket every now and then, but on offense, we've been missing so many open looks. We've been missing so many open looks. A little bit of a mismatch right here. Apparently not, though. That was good defense by Ray Allen, I guess, but I thought Josh Smith was just gonna post spin and get the easy bucket. I don't wanna give you guys too much of a spoiler, but people who beg for moderator usually don't get it. Just saying. I just gotta put it out there. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Because I do see every single person who asks for mod. It happens way too it happens way too much. Way, way too much. Come on, man. That's a good shot right there. I know it's David Robinson. I know it's a deep three. But that's a good shot right there. That's a good shot, man. I gotta knock that down. That's a good look. Like, I trust that shot to go in. It's been going in all day with Hakeem. It was going in yesterday. I trust that shot to fall. Just like I trust that shot to fall. We've been getting some really good looks, but they just haven't been going down. And I really can't explain why. I just can't explain why these open shots haven't been falling. I feel like I've gotten good releases. I had a really good last couple games before this. I don't know why the shots aren't falling this game because we're coming off two really good games. Very good games. Oh yeah, let's get it, man. Nice slam. <sighs> so we have the big lead. Like, we have controlled this game the entire time. But I know not seeing like a 50-point blowout is kind of weird for a lot of you guys. Codeine said only up 13 earlier. So I understand it's kind of weird. But yeah. Codeine. I'll be honest, man. I wish you could stream right now because your channel's been doing a good job growing lately. You've been gaining a lot of subs, getting a lot of likes on the stream. So, hey, next time you're able to stream, I'm going to tune in if I'm not live on here. A lot of people come in the streams and are like, I'm about to go live. And I'm like, okay, I wish I could tune in. And I'll be honest, Ollie, I don't see how I'm poop. I'm just saying I already have every mod I need. I'm actually surprised they haven't been timed out yet. I don't see how I'm poop. I don't even see why moderators that big of a deal. Like, I don't get why so many people beg for moderators. It's not like being a moderator makes you money or anything. I'd rather you be a, mo a member than a moderator. So I don't understand why people want moderators so much. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But apparently it is. Apparently it is. About to say, I already have all my mods I need. I already have every single moderator I need. As long as there's one person in here at all times, we're pretty good. About to say, being a moderator doesn't make you money or anything. 
Being a moderator just gives you a chance to time somebody out. And right now, you're the person who should be getting timed out. I was about to say, people in the chat telling you to shut up. That's tough. That's tough. I can tell you're seven years old because you're calling me poop. Who calls someone poop? You're like six. Like, wow, that's tough. Got a little kid in here begging for mod. That's crazy. It doesn't get much worse than that. After I get a nice highlight bucket, I always talk about you're not much better than that. It doesn't get much worse than that. Ooh, why didn't he keep cutting back door? He got the ball back, though. Let's get him, man! Jump shots have been falling a little bit better, but we got to be better than this. Let's get it, man. Need a dunk animation right there. What's up, sweaty Noah? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing all right today. Hope you're enjoying yourself. And what's up, Royal Ryan? I'm a little bit late. I'm a little bit late to seeing your chat. What's up, bro? Hope you're doing all right. Hope your channel's growing, too. About to say. You and Codeine are two of my favorite small YouTubers, so hope you guys have been taking it easy, staying safe, all that stuff. I can tell Kobe's tired because he's not running the floor that fast. We're still getting buckets, though. Finally up by 20. It's about time. What's up, James Long? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. About to say, I don't know why he hasn't been timed out yet. We have 30 people in here. I guess we don't have any mods, though. That's tough. I guess Huday's not in here anymore. I guess Anthony's not in here. I guess Liv Stack's not in here. That's too bad. That's definitely too bad. But yeah, this kid has nothing better to do. It's tough, but I just feel bad for him, you know? feel very bad for him. How cheesy is Kobe? Um, very cheesy. About to say. I had 70 in a game with him yesterday. Haven't been as good this game, but, you know, that doesn't matter to me. We're still up by 20, but gotta be a little better, man. We should be up by, like, 40 right now. It's not that big of a deal, though. We'll go up 23 right here. Oh, man. I'm stressing about a 20-point lead. This Heat team probably thinks they're good because we're missing all of our open shots. They're giving us open shots, but they just aren't falling. This Heat team probably thinks they're good. It's tough. The new COD update is 100 gigs. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be downloading that. I haven't played COD in a long time. It was fun, too. I just can't remember the last time I played it. Very good game. Warzone's fun. I've just been streaming this a lot. And the Warzone streams don't get many views. People always claim they want Warzone streams, but they just don't get many views. Gotta say, it's the 2K stuff that always gets people in here. The park, the my team, all that stuff. I'm always gonna grind the single player stuff in my team. Like, even 2K21, or whatever the next game's gonna be called, I'm gonna be, what's it called, playing the single player stuff. I'll be doing online stuff too, but the single player stuff is where it's at. What game are you on? This is game number four. Yeah, this is versus the 2013 Heat. We're not playing very well, but, I mean, we're still in the lead. We gotta get an open shot right there. Like, I don't know how he got the shove. We have been absolutely terrible this game. We have been terrible shooting. We've been terrible on defense. It's just been kind of rough this game, you know? Not the best game for the guys, but as long as we win by at least one point, that's all we need to advance. That's all we need to unlock the next challenge, so I'm not really worried about winning by a ton. As long as we just win, I'm cool. My Warzone streams get around 20. Yeah, mine get like, eh, it's just, people always claim they want Warzone streams, but then nobody shows up. It's tough, but, and it doesn't make sense, but it does make dollars. I think you should get Rodman first. I think Rodman's by far the better player than Pierce. Pierce isn't bad, 
He has some nice shot. He's actually not that bad on defense and moves really fast. He also has some nice dunk animations, but after all the games I've played with Rodman, he's definitely done better than Pierce has. I do like Pierce, but I definitely think Rodman's better. Nico, welcome back. I'm on game number four of the 2010s. We're playing versus the 2013 Heat. This was a good team, man. Won 66 regular season games. Came back down 3-2 and down by 5 into the game 6. It was just beautiful, man. I kind of miss this Heat team. I really do. I don't miss this Heat team as much as I miss the Cavaliers, though. About to say, I don't know what it was. I just feel like those Cavaliers teams, I wouldn't say they were more likable, but LeBron was definitely more likable on those teams. About to say, everyone hated the Heat after the decision, but hey, when he went back to Cleveland, everyone was like, okay, LeBron's going back. He's going to make up for not winning that championship when he was in Cleveland in the first place. And he definitely made up for it, man, with one of the best comebacks ever. What's up, Hayden Bryant? Welcome to the stream. I know a lot of subscribers named Hayden, man. But yeah, I've never seen you talk in the chat before, Hayden, so I'm glad you love the streams. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Sean, I'm doing um, Mark Gasol right now. I'm doing Mark Gasol. Let's get this blow by. Ooh, what a step back. I haven't been really locked in on offense this game, I will admit. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We're still up 19. This has easily been my worst game, but as long as we win, it doesn't even matter. I can just forget this game happened. We can move on. Yeah. On to the next game. Oh, yeah, they're playing help. Swing that ball around to Embiid. Embiid is probably my best shooter. I know that's a bold statement, but I seriously think Embiid's the best shooter I have. Other than Kobe, because Kobe is very good, but Embiid is just, his shot is so quick, and the defense always sags off of him for some reason, man. What's up, Torin? If someone paid you to do challenges, would you do it? Mm, my friend paid me to do his spotlights, but I haven't done them yet. If someone paid me to do these, I would definitely do them, because these are easy. These challenges are very easy. So, yeah, if someone pays me to do these, I'm definitely going to take that job, for sure. About to say, it's not even a job. I just get to play all these games, unlock all the cool opals. I wouldn't say all of them are cool, but I think that Robin's great. I've heard Dennis Johnson great, Marcus Saul. Pretty cool, pretty nice opals. And of course, Larry Bird's the big prize. Larry Bird's the big one. I'm just waiting for this game to be over, man. This has been a stressful game. This game's been stressful. We haven't been terrible on defense, but on offense, we've just been abysmally bad. Like on offense, we've been hilariously bad. Missed timing jump shots, missing layups, missing dunks. It's been bad. This has been a rough game, but I guess we're still up by 18. I guess we're still about to win. I guess it could be worse, but it definitely could have been better too. Good win for the boys. 18-point win on the road versus one of the best teams of the past decade. Let's go ahead and dribble out the clock, man. Let's go ahead and dribble it out. <sighs> Good win. Great win. Just going to check my phone while the ball dribbles out. And I'll take a shot at the last second. <sighs> Good win, man. Very good win. It wasn't the easiest game, but like I always say, as long as you finish with more points than the other team, we're good. We are now 26 games away from Larry Bird, which means we are almost halfway there. And I think that's a big deal. I think getting to the point where you're almost halfway there, that's a big deal. After one more win, we are halfway to Opal Larry Bird. We have made some really good progress today in less than two hours. In less than two hours. Not too bad. Um, Codeine, I took $250 to do the Historic Spotlight Sims. And the reason I took $250 is because it was my friend. So I gave him a friend discount. He offered $300. I was like, 
250 instead. 250 works. What's up, mock builds? Okay. If we win this game, we're halfway there. And we get Pink Diamond Chain Battier, so let's win this game versus the Spurs. And after this win, we will be halfway there. Like Big Time Rush once said, so here we go. Let's get to it. Let's get this win. We have 30 people in here, man. I really hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. If we have any new viewers in here, if you enjoy the content, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure to leave a like for me, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't be scared to talk in the chat. I try to talk to everybody. I try to talk to everybody. Unless they're spamming the same thing, being annoying, being toxic, little stuff like that. I try to make sure and talk to as many people as I can. Here we go. Game 5 of the stream, playing versus the Spurs in San Antonio. Hostile environment, but we're going to be okay. They have a pretty good team, but y'all know we're not scared of them. I had to say, they have a few Opals, but not really worried. I really wish Manu Ginobili was still in 2K, man. I really wish Manu Ginobili was still in 2K because I really liked his card last year. I really liked his pink diamond, so I'm not going to lie and act like I don't miss Ginobili. What's up, Whiplash? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing alright today. Enjoying yourself. Yeah. Just come in, hang out. And we're going to continue grinding out these sims. We're going to continue grinding out these sims. Can someone check if they made a locker code? They did make a locker code yesterday, yes. They did make a locker code yesterday. It's finals dash spotlight dash sims. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I can't remember. I was going to put it in earlier, but I, I think that's it. I could be wrong. Finals dash spotlight dash sims. Can we hit Tiago with the post spin? That should be a bucket every single time. That little post spin should work every time. Tiago Splitter is a ruby player. That should be a guaranteed bucket for Hakeem Olajuwon, Embiid, whoever's guarding him. Oh, man. Good start to this game. I think someone in the chat, it was Royal Ryan. He said he hates playing the Spurs. But I think Sean said the Spurs are the easiest team he played. So... I don't know. I'm kind of having mixed feelings. We're off to a good start, but I don't know. That was a nice block by Duncan. Bad shot by Duncan, though. That's tough. 8-4 to four lead. We're looking like beasts. We just got to make sure we get better shots. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to this mismatch right here. Oh, they're double teaming now. Let's move that ball. Arenas is open. But I can't green those shots with Arenas for some reason, man. Pablo says, why aren't you using quick through STS? Why do people use quick through STS, man? It takes no skill. It takes absolutely no skill. Just run the play, get an easy bucket. Like, I don't think it takes much skill at all. And I'll, I think that's very boring for people to watch. So, that's why I'm not running quick through STS. I think it's boring. I don't think, I don't really see a point of it. So, yeah. That's why I don't run quick through STS. They're going to double team, so I'm going to hit him with a quick post spin. If I can hit splitter with the quick little spin, then they're not going to have time to play help defense. They're not going to have time to play help. Justin, there are a lot of Bulls challenges. you got to play versus the Bulls six times, but thankfully, after that, you don't have to play versus Michael Jordan or the Bulls ever again. In these spotlight sims, at least. 16-6 to six lead. We've been going crazy with Hakeem so far. Like, this has been a big mismatch in the paint. Also, thank you guys for 65 likes on the stream. We are 4 likes away from the majestic, the magical, 69 likes. So, you guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already, because... Hitting that 69, it's a big deal. Uh, James Long, I can understand that, but I feel like these games are also good practice. I feel like these games are good practice to get better at the game. It doesn't prepare you for like zigzagging and stuff and toxic players online, but it does help you practice fundamental defense that works versus like 
90% of guys you play against. Defense, driving and kicking, getting good shots. I have a very plain playing style, but I think it's pretty effective, you know? Good start to this game. They haven't really gotten loose yet, scoring the ball. And we've been a lot better this game on defense so far than we were two games ago. So as long as we can keep up the defense, we're going to be okay. We have a bunch of mismatches, man. We have a bunch of mismatches at pretty much every position. We have, like, Tiago Splitter guarding Akeem. We have Danny Green guarding Kobe. We have Patty Mills right now guarding Gilbert Arenas. So I know I've been shooting a lot with Akeem, but maybe I should shoot more with Arenas because he's being guarded by Patty Mills. Does Patty Mills have a good card? I'm pretty sure he has a moments card, right? A ruby? I can't remember, though. Yeah, ruby. I'm pretty sure he had a moments of the week card earlier in the year. You should put like 31 out of 50 games so everyone knows what game you're on. I mean, it says 26 games left. So I think that's pretty much the exact same thing. Is it not? About to say. I could do that every time, but I'm do I'm pretty much doing that every time, you know? That's not a bad suggestion, but I'm already doing it. Playing defense versus the CPU has made my defense better. I'm telling you, man. You have to stick with the CPU. You got to lock in. Because every now and then, they'll make some BS shots. But I do think playing versus the CPU, it, it just teaches you fundamentals on defense, man. Like how to play help. Just little things like that. Little things like that. 27-13 lead. And they're turning it over like that. I didn't even reach in right there. He just dribbled it off of me. What's up, CD? Well, excuse me. What's up, CP the Doc fan? That's a pretty awesome name right there. I'm glad you're a fan of me. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, not a bad start to the game. A 29 point first quarter, but we did play some pretty bad defense. We played some really bad defense that quarter, but we're still up double digits, so I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. We were hitting our open shots. We just got to play better defense. That's literally the only thing. Literally the only thing. Here we go. The boys are playing pretty well. We're hitting our open shots. That's the biggest thing. Uh, militant. I got 26 games left. Like it says in the title. After this game, 25 more. Ryan the Spicy, I already have Paul Pierce. I got Paul Pierce last night. I got Paul Pierce at the very end of last night's stream. So, yeah, today we picked up right where we left off yesterday. And we're going to keep on grinding, man. This is going to be a super long stream. Hasn't even been two hours yet. We're going to get that Marcus Saul. And we're going to get Dennis Johnson, too. And then tomorrow, we're saving the best for last. We're going to get that Kevin McHale. So, yeah. That's the background. I basically just gave every single person in here a summary or a rundown, if that's what you want to call it. So, yeah. What's up, Arsheen? Welcome back to the stream. Right here, I can get this open shot with Embiid every time. About to say, they always sag so far of Embiid for no reason. How do I subscribe through the phone? Uh, just hit the subscribe button. And also, I think you can click on the channel membership link in the description. I think that takes you to a link on my page where you can also subscribe. So yeah, there are multiple ways to subscribe. It would be awesome if you subbed. Anybody in here who's not subscribed, who's sitting down watching the stream, make sure you're subscribed, especially if you enjoy the content. If you enjoy the content, make sure you're subbed. If you're watching this stream and you're not subbed, that doesn't make sense. About to say, I'm going to be doing the same thing tomorrow. The grind continues. We've been on fire today, though. Codeine, I was thinking about switching to PlayStation, man. I really want to switch to PlayStation, but the Xbox is looking pretty good, too. The Xbox, like with the stats they've posted and stuff, it's apparently supposed to be the best most powerful console ever but we're not gonna know until it gets here man i'm really excited for the xbox though i'm excited for the new halo game i'm wondering how 2k is gonna be on the next gen consoles man i'm excited militant 
Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. The best community on YouTube, man. Got some of the best subscribers on YouTube, so welcome. I really do want to switch to PS5, though, man. Low key, I might get a PlayStation and an Xbox. But the PlayStation is supposed to be like, what, $600 at launch? $700? I know I could trade in, but still, that is a lot. The exclusives are pretty good. Speaking of exclusives, I was talking to my friend Kendall about The Last of Us. Isn't that coming out on the 19th? 18th? I can't remember. I really can't remember. I seriously can't remember. No matter what console I get though, y'all already know I'm playing 2K. Y'all already know I'm playing 2K. About to say, I'm a basketball content creator. I know you guys enjoy 2K, all that stuff. Militant, it's actually $750, so it's even more expensive than I thought it was. About to say, I knew it was expensive, but $750, it's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that's kind of crazy right there. Then again, it's also supposed to be pretty good. But yeah, Codeine, I'm looking forward to that Last of Us 2 series you're doing. My friend Kendall's going to be streaming the game, so I'm looking forward to that, too. Very excited for that. Hey, though, we are three likes away from the Majestic 69. I'm going to keep on bringing it up till we get there, man. We're about to hit the Majestic 69. It's always a big deal. If we hit 69 likes, that is the mark of a successful stream. If we hit the 69 like mark, that's the biggest thing. Chemistry. Best. An unreal alley right. Oh man, I need to put in my subs. I always forget to make subs because I talk to you guys so much. I always forget to make substitutions. I'll just be sitting here playing through the game, chilling and talking to y'all. I always forget to make subs, so gotta get my bench in the game. Gotta get my bench in there. We're up 21 though, and we're actually doing a decent job hitting open shots. I gotta give myself a little bit of credit. Like we're actually hitting shots so if we can keep the same energy I know I've said this a lot of times too so for everyone who's been here the whole time I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record but yeah if I just keep on hitting shots and playing D we're gonna win every single game easily no challenge no challenge whatsoever so let's keep it up come on man they always shoot with like just below two seconds. It's all good though. What's up, Bruno? Hey man, keep on grinding. Playing versus the Bulls is not easy, but you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Militant, I haven't had any problems with the Lakers, man, for some reason. If you're talking about the Lakers with Shaq, Shaq is a beast to play against, but you're gonna be okay, man. Just keep on playing through him. What's up, Xavier? Hope you're doing all right, man. Uh, congratulations for what? Just wondering. Because I have been doing a lot of good things lately on the channel, man. The channel's been on fire lately, so I will say thank you, but I'm just wondering for what. Oh, he didn't get it off in time. Good half. Not the best defense, but we're still up by 22. They're still up by 22. Uh, Bruno, it does not expire. Don't worry. Oh, Militant. I actually haven't played the 80s yet. I have not had a chance to play the 80s yet. I was gonna save the 80s for last because Kevin McHale is an icon on this channel. My first big video ever was my Kevin McHale video. Here we go. Second half beginning. Let's play a little bit better to start the second half. Because, I mean, offensively, I can't really be mad, but defensively, we gotta be a little bit better. That was a great play to get this mismatch. And yeah, this should be an easy bucket right here. Not all plays like lead to open threes and stuff. Some plays just switch mismatches, man. How to say. Some plays just get you mismatches and I mean really, not every play needs to get a wide open layup or an open three. And even then, I mean, every play has options. Every play has multiple options. But right here, we should be able to score on this every time. This Tiago splitter it's been a mismatch the entire game. He hasn't been able to do anything. He has not been able to do anything about Hakeem or D-Rob. Had to say, this Tiago splitter has no badges, for sure. 
Mikhail was a beast in 2K19. His opal looks really good this year too. Keep in mind, Pink Diamond Dino Raja was based off Kevin McHale. They have, about to say, Kevin McHale just has better stats, more badges, and more range. So Kevin McHale is going to be like Dino, but Opal. So I think Kevin McHale might be, he has potential to be the best card out of everybody who's new. But I'm not sure yet, because I haven't tested him out. I have not tested him out, so we'll have to see when I get him. We'll have to see when I pick him up. Oh yeah, knock that down. <sighs> I have not been doing a very good job today of releasing my jump shots, but we've still been very good on offense just because we've been super efficient. We've been running the break a lot. Now, Arsdale's been hitting his open shots, but not many other guys. Kobe's been good, and Bede's been good, but as a unit, we gotta shoot better because we would be winning these games by a lot more if I was just shooting better. If I was just shooting the ball better, we would be winning by a lot more every single game. I know we're up by 30, but we gotta do better than this. Hey, though, we've been consistently having 30 viewers in here this entire stream. Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you guys are enjoying your Thursday. And I say this a lot, but if you're new to the channel, hang around, see if you enjoy the content. It would be awesome if you subbed. It really does help out a lot more than you think. You guys subscribing and leaving a like. It really does help out the channel a lot. Codeine, I wish they bring back celebrities too. I had to say, it would really shake up the game, man. If they brought celebrities back, that would be a lot of fun. They should get Flight Reacts in the game too. I had to say, he would have the Warriors logo and everything. Man, that would be a fun card to use. But nah, for real. Like, I remember when they had celebrities in the game in NBA 2K13. Of course, they would have to buff some of their heights. Like, I remember Justin Bieber was 6'5". Man, he, he was shooting the lights out. I remember they had Lil Bow Wow, Brian Bumgarner from The Office. They had a lot of celebrities in 2K13. That was a fun game, man. Like, I seriously remember playing with those celebrity all-star teams all the time. All the time. Like, 2K13 had so much content. Of course, there was my career. It was the very first year of my team. But they had creating a legend, they had my league, they had like the association, Blacktop was a lot of fun back then too. Like there was so much good content in 2K13. And the celebrity all-star teams, man, like there was some really good content they gotta bring back. There was Team USA, there was the Dream Team. There was so much content, man. About to say, to be fair, I was a kid and it was my second year watching basketball. So I was kinda like in awe of everything in the game. But no, for real, like even to this day, the content they had in that game compared to the content they had like just like these past few years, there's such a disparity. There, ooh, that was a nice block. As I was saying though, there is such a disparity of content, man. But yeah, also, Codeine, all the YouTubers are face scanned into the game. So you can put together a team of Smooth, Cash Nasty, Jesser, Jidel, all those guys. I about to say, two hype can have their own team in this game just because they're all face scanned into the game. Chris London can be the center. Cash Nasty can, and Jesser can run the point guard and the two. Like, that would be interesting, man. iPod King Carter, all those guys. Chris Move, or Moses Kuh, as some people like playing or referring to. They could put an entire team of celebrities in this game, man. An entire team of YouTubers. There's a lot of stuff they can do that they just haven't done. Uh, snipers, I'm 21. I'm a 21-year-old man. Pretty old, I know. I know a lot of you guys in here are a lot younger than me. But it's all good. I don't care how old I am. I don't care how old y'all are. I'm just trying to give you guys some content, man. I'm just trying to give you guys some fire. Tuka is very lazy, Ryan. Tuka is a little bit too lazy to put that much content in the game, but you never know. Maybe one day they will. Maybe one day they'll bring back a lot of the old content they used to have in the game. We'll see. We'll see, but at this point, I really doubt it, man. I really doubt it. Maybe they will, but I have my doubts. Tuke's a weird game, man. It just feels like it's downgraded over the years, man. That's the sad thing about it. 
feels like as the years have gone on, the game has just gotten worse. I know 2K19 wasn't bad, but I mean 2K16 was good. 2K15, 14, 13, 12, all those games were good. I really enjoyed every single one of those games. 17 was great. I mean, really, like every single 2K game has been good, but then 2K18 happened. 2K19, it was a step in the right direction. Still kind of bad, looking back on it, but still a step in the right direction. What's up, game for one? Haven't seen you in a minute. Welcome back, though. Welcome back to the streams. About to say, you're always welcome here, so... Feel free to come in whenever you want to. I know that hasn't been much recently, but feel free. I'm not gonna stop you. 2K with Live's presentation would be a very good game, because... I will say, that's one thing I've always liked about Live. They put a lot of effort into, like, the way the players look, and into the presentation of the game, but not as much effort into the gameplay, you know? About to say, the gameplay is just so clunky. There's a lot of things wrong with Live, but it just feels like, it, it's just funny, you know? Playing the game, you can't really take it seriously because of the way the players shoot, the way they, like, levitate in midair, and it's weird. It's just weird. But yeah, 2K, it's been... Man, I don't know. 2K's just gotta get better, man. Gotta get back on the right track. What's up, Maximiliano? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing alright today. Never seen your name in here before, so... Just gonna assume you're new. I wish you a warm welcome to the channel. Hey, King Trizzy. I have no problem with anybody who does the glitch. The reason I'm not doing the glitch is just because... I gotta give you guys some entertaining gameplay, you know? I had to say, I don't know if you guys want to sit here and watch the clock run out, so Trizzy, you're doing the right thing. I about to say, you can turn on some Netflix while you're doing that, you can just chill, do whatever you want to, while those four minutes run out, pick up the controller at the one minute mark and just finish up the game. I mean, if you're doing the glitch, I completely understand every single one of you, but, like, you know, I'm just trying to give you guys some gameplay here. And we have been a little bit better in this game. I know the last game was a little bit ugly. We still won pretty big, but I know it was ugly, but yeah. We're, I think we're back on the right track. We still haven't lost a game. We've been doing pretty well. Thank you guys for 70 likes on the stream, by the way. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Yesterday we got 198. Even if we don't get half of that, I'm still happy with this number, man. You guys have been killing it today. I've been pretty good, though, GF1. I've been alright. Just playing through these sims. The grind doesn't end. About to say, everybody in here knows that. The grind does not end. We're up by 42 in this game. I wish we could simulate. That's the biggest thing. I wish we could simulate these games when we take a big enough lead. What's up, Packer the player? I'm sorry you didn't get the noty, but I'm glad you're in here now. How many opals do I have now? I still have two, but we are halfway to getting our third opal, so... Yeah, we're gonna get two opals this stream. It's gonna be awesome, man. About to say, it's gonna be awesome. Yesterday we got two opals, today we're gonna get two more, and then tomorrow, the grand finale. The grand finale is gonna be tomorrow. I don't know if it's gonna be in the afternoon or night, but all I know is that the grand finale is gonna be tomorrow, and I know it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be just the greatest thing of all time. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. Uh, yes, Packer the Player. I'm saving Kevin McHale for last. Like I've been saying, Kevin McHale, his Opal last year, the video I made about him is like my first big video ever. It got me so many new subs in one day. Got me so many views and likes and stuff. So, gotta save McHale for last, man, because he is an icon on this channel. Kevin McHale is part of the reason I am where I am today. I know where I am today is not like super amazing, but I'd say it's still pretty good. I'd say it's still very good. So I'm pretty far along right now. After we win this game, we will be halfway to Marcus Saul and halfway to Larry Bird. So we have been grinding hard. Yesterday's stream was awesome. I think today's stream has also been pretty good. We've been averaging 30 viewers, so that's always a good thing. I used to always point out these stats, but if you have 10 viewers on YouTube, you are in the top 1% of YouTube streamers, so if you have 10 viewers at any point, you're looking pretty good. You are looking pretty good. 
Why have I not been attacking this mismatch more? David Robinson has nine points. What's up, Mr. Clutch? Your first time through? You've come to a good place, man. I feel like my content's not too bad. I have an awesome community. Feel free to hang around and see if you enjoy the content. And maybe even sub. Thank God we've been playing better this game, though, because last game versus the Heat, we were pretty bad. We still won by, like, 30, but... We gotta be better, man. And this game, we definitely step things up. We're up by 52, which isn't too bad. Not too bad. Lil Codeine, I'm not trying to flex when I say this. If anything, I'm flexing how awesome you guys are. Yesterday on stream, we got 313 watch hours total. I know that's partly because the stream was very long, but that means we had a lot of people in here who really enjoyed the content, man, and stayed here for a very long time. 313 watch hours on one stream is... It is pretty inspirational, man. Pretty unbelievable. Like, that's pretty crazy. 313 in one stream is just amazing. Royal Ryan, I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm not a hater either, though. It's tough for me to bet against the Lakers, man. Like, I'm not just saying this because LeBron beat the Lakers and the Clippers in one weekend. I'm saying this because, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like that Anthony Davis and LeBron duo is just, I feel like it's so polarizing, man. And a lot of teams don't have a big man to stop it. They don't have a big man to stop that pick and roll duo. And the Lakers have so many shooters and other guys who can hurt you. I just feel like that Lakers team is going to be super hard to beat in the playoffs. And you never know. I'm picking the Lakers, but I feel like the Lakers are a team that can be upset by a bunch of different teams. Like, I feel like if the Lakers aren't hitting, I feel like they could possibly lose to a team like the Mavericks for some reason. I don't think they'd lose to the Nuggets. Of course, there's a chance they lose to the Clippers. But the Clippers and the Lakers, the matchup is so even. I just can't predict it right now, man. I just can't predict it. So, my pick right now is the Lakers. But... I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind if some other team won it, you know. Codeine, 635 is still not bad. Keep in mind, you need 4,000, right? You need 4,000 watch hours in one year to get monetized, so, yeah. I mean, you're already almost one quarter of the way there. Just keep on grinding. Uh, Duggan, Justin Duggan, you cannot be timed out for using the glitch. Or, not timed out, uh, banned. You cannot get banned from doing the glitch, so do not worry. Do not worry. And you're probably wondering, Doc, how do you know that? Because 2K, they're not going to monitor like you doing the glitch. They can't monitor games that are offline. Let's get it, man. Pink Diamond Chain Battier. Let's go. We have half of the players we need to get Larry Bird. We've completed half of the games we need to get both Larry Bird and um, Marcus Saul. So let's get it, man. Maximiliano, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. You guys make sure to subscribe too, if you haven't already. Follow Maximiliano's lead. That's an awesome name. That is a pretty kick-ass name. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Hey man, game for one. 20 views isn't that bad per video if you're just starting out. About to say, I remember I used to get 20 views a video. It took me forever to get to 100 subs, man. It took me longer to get to 100 subs... Then it's taking me to hit any other milestone, man. So don't worry about how many views you're getting right now. Just keep it up. Eventually, you're going to grow your community, man. Any, everybody in here who's a YouTuber, like Game for One, Lil Codeine, stay persistent, man, and you're going to be all right. King Trizzy, I'm getting to your chat a little bit late, but honestly, I feel like the Heat could make a really deep playoff run if everything's going their way. Of course, the Heat got off to a very good start this year, and then they had a really bad stretch. But I seriously think the Heat could possibly go to the conference finals. I don't know if they can beat the Bucks, even though they are very good at defending Giannis. I'm not sure, man, but I think the Heat, if they get hot, can make a really big playoff run. Hayden Bryant, I streamed yesterday for about nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours, it was a crazy long stream, but you guys were enjoying it, man. You guys were enjoying it, so I had to stay live. I had to stream as long as I could, because you guys were having fun enjoying it. 
Let's go, Kobe. Oh, man. Snipers. 2.51K is pretty good. The channel's been growing pretty well these last few days. You guys make sure to sub if you haven't already. And make sure to leave a like, too, if you haven't already. We got 35 people in here, which is awesome. And we're about to hit 80 likes. Hasn't even been three hours, man. You guys have been killing it today. It hasn't even been two and a half hours. You guys have really been smashing the like button today. And yesterday, we had 198 likes, so you guys were killing it yesterday, too. You guys have been killing the game. So continue to kill it, and I promise you guys, I'm going to continue to give you all some good content as often as I can. I'm not really worried about this game. I know we're not off to a good start, but I'm really not worried about this game versus the Warriors, man. I'm not worried about these Warriors at all. I'm missing a lot of open shots. They're going to start falling eventually. They're going to start falling eventually. Avo, I'm glad you think I'm a beautiful human. I, I, I don't think I'm that bad. I just got to shave. I think if I shave, I'll go up from a, a 4 to a 5.5 if I just shave. A 4.5 out of 10. I think that's what I am. A little bit below average. Not super ugly. Not a zero for sure. I don't think I'm below a three. But I think I'm far from a good looking dude. Just my opinion. Them having Draymond is kind of weird. Because they can switch pretty much everything on defense. Looking forward to your new videos though, game for one. About to say, you haven't posted in a couple days, or has it been three days? I can't remember, but it's been a minute. I've been on the grind myself, though. No cap. I feel like this pick and roll could be really hard to stop with Akeem and Kobe. We just gotta get Andrew Bogut in the paint, and we can really start hitting our shots and pulling away in this game. About to say, they're keeping it close early, but... We're going to be all right. Y'all know I'm not worried about it. Let's go, Paul. He should have gotten behind the three-point line, though. Should have gotten behind the three-point line. Uh, Maximiliano, I live in Alabama. I live in Alabama. Birmingham, to be exact. Then again, nobody asked. Nobody cares I live in Birmingham. Man. Yeah. For a lot of you guys who look at me and are like, wait, you're from Alabama? I do have the southern accent, but a lot of people, they tell me I do not look southern at all. The grape? I have no idea. We're going to have to see. I'm looking forward to those new packs, but the new packs are a little bit confusing because we already have Opal Kareem. We already have Opal Shaq. We already have, like, two or three Pink Diamond LeBrons, so the new packs are a little bit confusing, but, hey, I think they're going to be pretty awesome. Do you think the market is going to crash even cheaper on Friday? Yeah, of course I do. About to say, those new packs are going to be big, man. They're not going to release cards like that and make them be trash, so the market tomorrow is definitely going to crash. A lot of cards are going to begin losing their value again. A lot of cards are going to go up in value, too. So, we'll see. We'll see. I really haven't thought that far ahead. Really, all I care about right now is getting this Larry Bird, though. You feel me? So, we're going to get this bird. And it's going to be glorious. But the market is going to crash tomorrow. We're going to have to see how bad it is. We're going to have to see what players go up in value and lose their value. But I'm really not worried about it right now. Now, I want to say I really have to lock in versus this team because of the way they run off screens. But I'm really not worried about it, man. We just have to be better on offense. That's been the narrative literally the entire stream. If we just shoot better, we're going to win every game easily. If we just green more of our shots, because we're getting so many open shots. Now, Kobe doesn't miss, but it's been Arena's missing. Paul Pierce has missed a couple. Hakeem has missed one or two. And Bede has been good. And Kobe's been good, but everybody else needs to step up their games, man. Kobe's going to be open to end the qu Ooh, he was not open, but let's see if we can get one more bucket right here with Hakeem. Nah, that was terrible. 
whether you block the shot or simply tags in the description do help codeine you're right definitely right um gaming with josh i feel like taco might go down in price but i don't know bull bull is gonna have good value for the rest of the year so bull bull his price might drop a little bit but bull bull has been had a weird thing where his price goes down to like just over 200k but then it'll go back up to like 300 then it'll go up to like 350 but then it'll drop again to like 275 250 it's weird man it's weird but bull bull he might lose a little value but during the year whenever he's lost value his price has gone back up like that's a consistent thing i've noticed in the market but he's definitely worth keeping though especially if you evolve him game for one do what you gotta do i'll see you around man how good is Paul Pierce? I think he's very good. I think he's very good, but not as good as Rodman, for sure. Definitely not. Really? Off Bogut's leg? I was about to pass it to Hakeem, too. Paul Pierce is good, but yeah, like I said, I don't think he's as good as Rodman. About to say, I don't know who the best player out of all the new Opals is just yet, but hey, we're going to find out when we get those new players. We're going to find out. Let's get it, man. What play are you running for the open threes? Oh, this is the Rockets playbook. I don't know the exact play. This is just a freelance. Awesome bird. I'm not sure if Robin's the best, but I do like him a lot. I do like Robin a lot. But I don't, I'm not sure if he's the best yet. Not sure if he's the best. Hey, though, thank you guys for 80 likes on the stream. You guys have been killing it. Let's get 90 next, man. It hasn't even been two and a half hours, and we're already on a, on an awesome pace with likes. We're on an awesome pace winning these games. We just got Pink Diamond Shane Battier, and soon we're going to be getting that Galaxy Opal Marc Gasol. So, yeah, you guys hang around and witness the grind going down. Witness the grind going down. And I know a lot of you guys are grinding too, so you guys continue grinding as well. Pierce was open for a second, but I want to get Embiid the ball, attack this mismatch. Come on, man. I keep losing the ball on those post spins. Had a wide open land right there. What's up, Maria? Welcome back. About to say, you don't have to say it's Maria. I can see your name. Your name is loud and clear right there. The NBA is allowing 17 per team for the Orlando return. I didn't see that, but that's smart. I didn't see that, though. So you guys can see. We're up by 13, but I got to admit, we're just not playing very well, man. We got to be a little bit better. We've been good on defense, but offensively, we have not been greening our shots. And that's been the biggest thing today. We've been getting so many open looks, but I haven't been greening consistently. I hit that shot with Paul Pierce, though, so that was nice. We're up big. We're doubling their score, but if we were hitting our shots a little bit better, we would be in a much better position in each of these games. Each of them. Every single one of them. With that being said, though, we still haven't taken any L's today, and we're not going to take a single L for this entire spotlight sim grind. We're gonna be playing all 50 games, and we're gonna be winning all 50 games. I put emphasis on the wrong word right there. <sighs> Look at this defense though. Look at Lonzo Ball on defense. Let's get a bucket right here. They have good defenders though. They have good defenders everywhere. About to say, Curry's Opal, Clay's Opal aren't bad. They have Draymond, and they have Iguodala's Pink Diamond. Iguodala doesn't have an Opal yet, does he? So, Iguodala's going to be getting an Opal real soon, because everyone loves using Iguodala every year, man. Everyone loves Andre Iguodala in my team. About to say, his card is always a hot commodity. Oh, they're double-teaming Robin in the post. And Arsdale has the easiest jump shot in the game. We've had this discussion, man. Dick Van Arsdale easily has the easiest jump shot in the game. He may not be the best off the dribble. He may not be the best at attacking the rim or playing defense. But his jump shot is just buttery smooth. 
buttery smooth. Oh, I should have taken that. Definitely should have taken that. Let's keep on moving that ball around. <laughs> Got D Rob running off screens. Imagine that. Got D Rob running off screens, shooting threes like Clay Thompson. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, D Rod. Okay, Rodzilla. It's not too bad right there. So we were just up 28 14. Now it's 38 14. Just scoring a few buckets in a row. Makes it look so much worse than it actually was, man. We were just up by 14. Shit. Now we're up 24. And they're not going to score right here. Got to say, we y'all know we're locked in on defense. Y'all know we're locked in on defense. We could even get one more shot right here, man. We could even get one more shot right here. I'm going to kick it to Arsdale. Yeah, he's just standing in place. Let's get it. Ah. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Good first half, though, especially on defense. Not the best on offense, but on defense, very good. We got 36 people in the chat watching right now. Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you're subscribed. If you're watching the stream, enjoying it, and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribing and leaving a like really helps me out a lot more than you know. So you guys help me out, man. I'm trying to grow this channel every single day. And we're trying to get Larry Bird. Larry Legend. About to say, we have multiple objectives. Multiple objectives. I'm trying to get Bird. I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 eventually. All those little things, man. All those little things. Bad possession, though. Very bad possession. I had to say, I was just sitting here talking to you guys. I wasn't even focused on offense. It's all good, though. We're back on D. Nice rebound. Let's run. Gotta run the fast break as much as you can in these little spotlight sims. Yeah, he doesn't have Hall of Fame Limitless. I always forget. Josh Smith doesn't have Limitless. Um, Pack of the Player? Not sure. Not sure if Larry Bird's the best Opal, but he's definitely up there. If Larry Bird could play the shooting guard, that would be legendary, though. If he could play the two, that would be crazy. Like, he would be hands down one of the best Opals. He already has the 63 Hall of Fame badges. He already has the crazy attributes. So he's going to be a very, very good Opal, but we're going to have to see if he's the best. Oh, nice, nice. What's up, Jurassic Poo? Hey, good job taking advantage of your break. You're doing the right thing. You're definitely doing the right thing, taking advantage of that break. You're doing the right thing during your break, so what's up, man? Hope you're doing all right. And it's always nice having you in here, man. You know the people love you. Let's go up by 30 right here, man. The Warriors haven't scored in so long, and we've been on fire on offense, man. Let's keep the same energy. Let's keep that same energy. 28, I mean 30 point lead, excuse me. 30 point lead. Couldn't even get the lead right. Draymond's missing wide open jumpers. Let's run that fast break again. What's up, Jackson? Larry Bird's definitely the new best Opal. About to say, I don't know who else would be competing with him for new best Opal, or best new Opal, excuse me. I don't know who else would be competing with him because... He's easily better than Rodman, McHale, all those guys. Now, McHale could be really good. I'm definitely going to have him as my backup power forward. And I might just have Marc Gasol as my backup center. So, we'll see because these players are looking pretty good. Each of them have a lot of Hall of Fame badges. And, yeah, it's looking like each player has a bunch of different skills. Marc Gasol, apparently, people are saying he's like Hakeem, but slower. And, I mean, I think Hakeem is a really good card, so I wouldn't mind bringing a slower Hakeem off my bench and having regular Hakeem in the starting lineup. I definitely want Dennis Rodman on my team. I definitely want Larry Bird in the starting lineup. My team is going to be looking even better when these are all said and done. So, yeah, you guys make sure the notifications are on. Keep up with the grind because we're going to be getting Larry Bird real soon, and it's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. These Warriors just can't score, though, man. These Warriors have been having a lot of trouble. We have been clamped in 
We have been locked in on defense, man. Sometimes before Thompson even catches the pass, he knows he's firing. Pass to Smith and That's a terrible Barnes. pass right there. The That's a terrible post-entry pass. Passes like that piss me off. Ooh. Passes like that make me happy, though. I like passes like that. They should do that more often, for sure. They should do those more often. Oh, yeah. Great play. And that was a good shot, too, but I just can't get the release right, though. I just can't get the release right. We're still clamped in, though. We're still clamping up. Arsdale's wide open. Come on, man. Stay in the corner. There we go. I don't know why Arsdale started cutting into the paint. He was wide open on the perimeter, but it's all good. We're pulling away more and more. They just aren't getting any easy buckets. That's a good contest right there by Rodman. Let's run it up again. Let's run it up again. Ooh. Put him in a blender. Why is he rolling to the rim? I didn't call for a pick and roll, man. Oh, man. I got to be better on offense. I got to be a lot better on offense because I've been kind of weak on offense. I'm not going to lie. At least I've been good on defense. What's up, Phoenix? Welcome back, bro. About to say, you were in here for a long time yesterday. It's always nice seeing people come back, so welcome back, man. Hope you're doing all right today. Hope you're ready for another awesome stream. About to say, you might be a little bit late, but the stream isn't even close to being halfway over, so yeah. Can't be too mad at you for showing up a little bit after it started because this stream is, yeah, we're kicking it off on the right foot. We've been bringing the energy today. We have 82 likes already. Hasn't even been three hours yet. You guys have killed it today, man. Gotten a lot of new subs. Got a lot of people in here watching. I really do appreciate every single person in here, man. I appreciate all of you. Thank you guys for showing up big today. You guys have showed up big today. About to say, yesterday we got 198 likes, but yesterday's stream was also 9 hours long, and it hasn't even been 3 hours yet, so you never know. Maybe we can hit over 100 again today. Maybe we can gain some more subs today. We're going to have to see, man. We're going to have to see. But y'all know I'm not super worried about that. What I'm worried about is giving you guys good content. What's up, Alex F1? You're French. I'm actually half Malaysian, for any of you guys who didn't know. I'm actually mixed. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people act surprised when I say that. So, I'm actually half Malaysian, believe it or not. Half Malaysian, half white. Pretty cool, man. Being mixed is just so inspirational. Livingston with it. Good defense, Dick. His name's Dick Van Arsdale, so I know that sounded weird, but I said it for a reason. Look at that perimeter defense, man. Let's reward him with an oop. Yeah, Malaysia, believe it or not. I'm a Malaysian man. I to say, Packer, a lot of people don't know that until I tell them. A lot of people just assume... I'm a white guy, which I guess makes sense. I guess it makes sense, especially when you hear my voice. Especially when you hear my voice. It kind of makes sense that people would assume I'm white. I can't really be mad about it. I never get offended by it because I understand it. I completely understand it. Let's get my starting lineup back in there, man. My bench has been holding it down. Like, my bench has done a really good job pulling away in this game. We're up by 41 versus the 2015 Warriors, making it look awfully easy. Making it look awfully easy, especially because of our defense. I mean, the score was what, like 28-14 in the second quarter? They have scored six points ever since, so we've been locked in. We have been locked in. Good defense. Got to get more rebounds, though. Just got Opal McHale. He's kind of good. Only kind of good? He looks really good. About to say, Opal McHale looks very good, so that kind of sucks if he's only kind of good. That kind of sucks, but at least he's not terrible, I guess. 63-20, <sighs> though. Like, we've been on one on defense. But to be fair, 
after Curry, Thompson, all those guys the Warriors have, Draymond, Harrison Barnes, this Warriors team doesn't have much depth. I have to say, Sean Livingston's not all that good. They have Justin Holiday, I guess. Yeah, this team doesn't have much depth. To be fair, they didn't have much depth, like, every year, either. This team was just so good at shooting, so good at moving the ball. All the little things, man. So, Liv Stack, you're trying to get Dennis Johnson. I'm going to get him eventually, too. Eventually, I'm going to get him. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be just an awesome moment. I don't know if it's going to be as glorious as getting Kobe, but hey, I mean, this Larry Bird is still a grind. I'm trying to get him as fast as I can. I'm trying to put him in my lineup as fast as I can. Play online with that Larry Bird. It's going to be awesome. But yeah. Huday said Dennis Johnson's pretty good, so it's going to be pretty cool if we can get him in our lineup, see if he has a nice shot. I know he's good on defense. I know for a fact he's good on defense, but Huday said he has a nice jumper. So later, I'll test it out for myself, and we're going to see how good each of these new players are, but I really, really like um, Dennis Rodman. I think Dennis Rodman's a beast. Dennis Rodman's pretty great. Paul Pierce has a nice jumper. He's pretty good. And, yeah, we're going to see if any of these other players are good, too. Um, Phoenix Rivera, I have 25 games left until I get Larry. If I win this game, 24 games left until I get Larry. Why didn't he stay in the corner? He would have been wide open right there. It's all good, though. We're still going to get a bucket. Never mind. Maria says get him to 100 likes. Listen to Maria. Make sure you've liked the stream if you haven't already. About to say, because we're getting pretty close to 100. And this stream's going to be going on for a while longer, so... Hey, it's not too late to like it up. Definitely not too late. Because this is going to be a long stream. A very long stream. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you hang around. I'm going to be here all afternoon and all evening. Very good win, though. About to say, our offense hasn't been amazing today like it was yesterday, but we have still been very good. We have still been very good today, mainly because of our defense. Mainly because our defense has just been, ooh, stellar. About to say, Sean Livingston didn't want me to finish that sentence. Even after that bucket, we're still up by 45. I'm going to go ahead and dribble out the ball, dribble out the clock, rename the stream. Now we're going to keep things going, man. We've made some amazing progress today. We have made some really good progress in less than three hours. Well, less than three hours, actually. So, 24 games left until Larry Bird, and four games left until Marc Gasol. So, we're making some very good progress. We're making some big moves. And yeah, I mean, allowing 24 points in a 20-minute game, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Defense doesn't get much better than that, so... We've been doing a good job. Very good job. Livestack, you probably are the only mod here. I'm very disappointed in our mods, though. Earlier, there was nobody looking at the screen to time out that kid who was spamming. Kind of disappointing. No offense to you, of course. I thought we had more in here. I can't be mad at you, because you're playing the game right now. Good win, though. Very good win. So we are now four games away from Marcus Saul. And 24 games away from Larry Bird, so we're making some really good progress today. We've won six games, haven't taken any L's, of course, since y'all know we don't take L's around here. But now it's time to play versus the Cavaliers. Playing versus the Cavaliers for the first time and only time in all these Spotlight Sims. Here we go. We've got Arenas, Kobe, and Paul Pierce and the boys. Versus Kyrie, JR, LeBron, and Kevin Love. Having LeBron at the center? Very interesting. What's up, Joseph? Welcome to the stream, bro. Hope you're doing alright today. Yeah. Stream's been awesome so far, man. So let's keep it up. Let's keep on going. The grind continues. Hostile environment, man. I miss this Cavaliers court, bro. The Cavaliers court this year with the, what's it called, with the big 50 in the middle and everything, I don't like it, man. I love the court with the big C. 
This big C is just one of the nicest logos in basketball, in my opinion. This big C is just so nice. Let's win this game, man. Let's win this game. We've won six games today. Haven't taken any L's. If we win this game, we are three games away from Marcus Gasol. Oh, yeah, Embiid. Joel Embiid. B -B. I watched a lot of Sixers games, so... Yeah, whenever Embiid scores, MB, B. Whenever Simmons scores, Simmons, Simmons, Simmons. I'm so excited for basketball to come back, man. So excited for the NBA to return. Y'all don't understand. Come on, really? I know LeBron's fast, but come on. He's going to make that, too. This Cavs team is probably the toughest team I've had to play so far. Like, this Cavaliers team is going to be kind of tough to beat. Actually, I don't think so. I don't believe that. I want to believe that, but I don't think so. I think this is going to be a relatively easy game. I know we're not off to a good start, but y'all know I'm not worried about a single game we play. Okay, K-Love. About to say, we're still going to be okay no matter what. We're off to a rough start. They're hitting their open shots, but we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. As long as we just... Oh, uh, we got to go over those screens. Kevin Love is a brick wall, apparently. I got stuck on that screen real bad. Kyrie's a cone on defense, though. Kyrie is a cone. He's not going to be playing any defense. And they're double teaming now? Come on, that's the worst animation possible, man. Slow, and you're just not jumping. They're off to a hot start. The 1980s Lakers team gave me a headache, bro. Kareem and McAdoo get all the rebounds. Hey, I had to say, that's a pretty good combo. I gotta say, Opal McAdoo is a kind of underrated card, to be honest. Because I actually really liked Bob McAdoo's Pink Diamond. Even though he couldn't shoot, even though he was undersized for the center position, I actually really liked that card. I had to say, super athletic, really good rebounder. Like, I actually really enjoyed using the pink diamond McAdoo. So when I saw there was an opal, I kind of wanted to try him out, but haven't really had the chance to. Yeah, we're not going to get a good shot here. Terrible possession. They're playing some good defense, and they're hitting all their open shots too. And I'm not worried though. Now they have Tristan Thompson in the game, so we finally have a little mismatch at the center position. Or at the power forward, actually. It's so weird that LeBron's playing the center, man. It's so weird that LeBron's playing the center. Because every single game I've played against this LeBron, he's been a point guard. It's not a foul, man. Why does Joel Embiid have a foul right there? He's playing such good defense, and Tristan Thompson's not going to make that crap. Ah, <sighs> silly Embiid. But now we have a little bit of a mismatch in there. They've been doing a good job switching things on defense, but... Yeah, we just got to attack before anybody gets back. Ooh, I should have passed that to the corner. I know that was an open layup, but Hakeem was open too. Yeah, we've been bad on offense the entire stream, but this is a whole other level right here. We've been bad on offense the entire time, but... The fact that they're on fire is not really helping. And also, our spacing's kind of terrible. Come on, man. I think we're about to go down by double digits, but not really worried. As long as we're in the lead at the end of the game, we're all right. I had to say, they've been hot on offense, so let's make this comeback. It's going to be pretty epic, in my opinion. We have a bit of a mismatch right here. I'm going to go ahead and attack this. Oh, they're double teaming. I'm trying to call for a screen, but for some reason, it's not coming up. There we go. Good shot. A lot of times today when I've tried to call for a screen, the menu has come up instead, even though I'm holding down the trigger, but it's not a big deal. Y'all know we're going to come back. Y'all know I couldn't be any less worried about this. About to say, they're making some tough shots. I know they've been getting a lot of open shots, but they've been hitting some tough shots too. 
Uh, Phoenix, I think Opal Pierce is pretty good. I'm still trying to learn his jump shot. Still trying to learn his jump shot. I don't have it perfect yet, but it's still pretty good. He has some very good dunk animations. A lot of fun to play with. A lot of fun to play with. I gotta get back on defense. This is the reason they've been scoring so much. I gotta get back on D. I have not gotten back on D. And we've given up way too many open shots. Uh, Maria, my favorite card is Opal Kobe. But Opal Embiid's up there too. Opal Josh Smith's pretty good. Opal Rodman's pretty good. I don't know, man. Kobe's probably my favorite right now, but my favorite card, it changes a lot, man. It changes a lot. Call this ISO right quick. Beat him off the dribble. About to say, shot clock's running down, so going to create some space right here with Embiid. What a machine. What a machine. I definitely could have gotten a better shot than that, but I guess I just felt like dribbling around like an idiot with Embiid. Bad first quarter, but we're going to be okay. Get some water right quick. Not a great first quarter, but we're, we're going to bounce back. Let's get Lonzo in there. Let's get Dennis Rodman in there, too. Let's get Josh Smith and Dennis Rodman in there. Got Rodman at the four, and we're going to get Embiid at the five. We're going to pull away. We're going to pull away right here. Very bad first quarter. We went down almost double digits, but we're going to come back right here. Very bad double team. When the spacing is good, the double teams are like they don't matter, but for some reason, every time I've gotten double teamed today, my team's spacing has just been horrible. And yes, that's the second like 60% shot they've made. God, contested shots, man. Not inspirational. We're going to be okay, though. We're finally getting things going on offense, so I think we're about to pull away. I could be wrong, but I think we're about to start pulling away. Great defense. I swear, if he had made that, I probably would have ended the stream. Actually, no, I'm kidding. It's been a fun stream. Oh, man, terrible first quarter, but we've done a good job in the second so far. After the made shot from Joel Embiid. Good defense. I don't think LeBron's scoring on Embiid in the post. If he goes up, guaranteed miss. He might make a fadeaway, but not the layups. Definitely not. Come on, Kobe. He's not going to miss twice in a row. He's not going to miss twice in a row. I mean, he barely ever misses once, so we'll take it. I did not mean to flop right there. Thank God they called timeout, though. I was trying to icon B, but I accidentally flopped. It's all good, though. We were just down by eight, and now we're up by three. I do watch Troy Dan every now and then. I actually, I know I stream on YouTube. I know I make YouTube videos, but I actually don't watch a lot of YouTube. But I do watch Troy Dan. I watch his stream sometimes. Very interesting character. Very funny guy. Oh, yeah. Let's go D-Rod. Still working on his release, but... I usually green with him, so we'll take those. Down by eight. Oh, come on. Why is he open? Why was he wide open? I seriously don't understand. They've gotten a weirdly amount, a weirdly high amount of open shots. So I, can, I don't understand why, but we're getting a lot of open shots too. We just got to start making them more, man. We've been getting so many open looks, but they just haven't been falling. But maybe we're in a rhythm now. Maybe we're finally in a rhythm. Good defense. Great defense. They were just hot in the first quarter, man. This team we're playing against, they were hot in the first quarter, but now we're pulling away. Now we're playing good defense. We're looking a lot better than we were in the first. I wanted to get a three right there. We still can. We still can. Let's go. We got off to a terrible start, but ever since then, we've been pretty good. Our shots are falling. We're playing good defense. Oh, come on. That was a weird layup animation. I thought I jumped perfectly, but then Kyrie took like 30 seconds to shoot it. We're good, though. Apparently, you can't guard Lonzo. Oh, man. Packer says I make videos, but I don't watch that much 2K. Yeah, a lot of people, they get like, not, not mad, 
that they're like kind of weirded out when I say this. My favorite YouTuber is the report of the week. He's a food he's a food critic. And a lot of people are like, what? You play basketball, you make 2K videos, and your favorite YouTuber is a food reviewer? And I'm like, yeah. About to say, I just love his videos. They're chill, they're cool. I just enjoy his videos. I don't really watch much 2K content outside of, like, playing the game. And I watch a few streamers every now and then. I watch Jesser and, like, LSK, Cash Nasty. But I don't really consider them 2K YouTubers. They're more, like, basketball, they're like, content creators, you know? They're not really super associated with 2K. So, I don't consider them 2K YouTubers, but I do watch their content every now and then. Good shot, Joel. Codeine says, I love Report of the Week. Yeah, he's probably my favorite YouTuber. He's probably my favorite YouTuber. This is Running on Empty Food Review. Easily my favorite YouTuber. There are other guys up there in the conversation, but... Now, Report of the Week probably takes the cake. And everyone's like, why do you like Food Critic, man? Um, I just say, I don't know. Sometimes I prefer watching a guy who really just sits there and chills and talks about food than somebody who just yells and acts all annoying and toxic and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm a big fan of Report of the Week. There we go. So in the first quarter, we were down by eight points, but ever since then, we have been really good on defense, and we've been very good on offense, so let's keep it going. Let's get a bucket right here. 47-25. Let's go. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. About to say, the first quarter was really bad, but this second quarter has been just amazing. Partly because we've been getting back on defense. Like, we've actually been getting back on defense. And yeah, what's up, Ty Too Nasty? Um, I don't have Mark Gasol or Kevin McHale, but I don't know. A lot of people are saying McHale is like Dino Raja, except Opal. But people are also saying Mark Gasol is like Hakeem the Dream, but a little bit slower. And I actually have Hakeem. I think he's really good. I don't know which one's better, Ty Too Nasty, but we're going to have to find out when I get him. After we win this game, we are going to be three games away from getting Mark Gasol, so we're going to try him out after I get him. We're going to try him out after I pick him up. We'll have to see who's better, man. Because I'm seriously curious. I'm seriously curious. Dennis Robin's very good, though. And Paul Pierce is pretty good, too. But I haven't tried out any of the big men yet. I know Dennis Robin's technically a big man, but I play him at the small forward, so... I don't know if I consider him a big man. Jokic going down like Kevin Love. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one right there. With Jokic's skill set, I mean, he's going to be in the NBA and he's going to be effective for a long time. I mean, he got off to a very bad start this year, but then he started running down the court again, getting back in shape. He's always going to be a great playmaker. He's always going to be a good rebounder. Always going to be a good passer. Always going to have, like, good post ability because of his size. I know Jokic is going to decline, but it's not going to be super fast. My favorite in 2 hype? Man, I don't know. I like a bunch of the guys in 2 hype. Um, man, that's a tough one. I want to say Cash Nasty, but Jesser's up there too. Jesser and Cash Nasty are definitely my two favorites. And my favorite, my low key favorite one is Jai Dell. I'm not going to lie. Jai Dell's kind of a meme. Not the best at basketball. But very, like, very funny, low-key content creator. I really like Jai Dell. I like all of them, but Cash and Jess would probably stick out to me. So we were just up by 30, but now we're only up by 27. We gotta do something about that. Chris London's awesome, too. Chris London was actually gonna go D1. So he's still a very good player. And what is he, 6'11", 6'10", something like that? Pretty dope. I like Mopey too. Man, Mopey lost a flight one-on-one, -on -one and it wasn't even June yet, so that's tough. Flight would destroy him right now. I haven't seen Flight's new one-on-one -on -one yet. I was going to watch it last night, but I didn't get the chance. I just fell asleep. 
break. Three for four now. Oh, yeah. Man, they're double teaming. Let's move that ball around. Why isn't Dennis Rodman just sitting in the corner? If he had just sat in the corner, he would have gotten the wide open three, but we'll take the two instead, and we'll get an old fashioned three. Let's get him, man! We were down by eight in the first quarter, and we're about to go up by 30. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. You think TJ's going to go to the G League? I don't think so, but he's still, i got to say, he's not bad. I don't think he's going to go to the G League, though. I do watch another guy who's trying to go to the NBA. His name's AJ LaPre. He's a pretty good player. Played in college four years. I think he entered the NBA draft. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't been keeping up with him very much lately. Phoenix, the double team isn't annoying. But the way my players are reacting to the double team is annoying. If I get double teamed a hundred times, if everyone sits in the same spot, I'll find the open man a hundred times out of a hundred. I don't think double teams are annoying at all. If you have trouble with double teams, you're just not a very good player. But like, I don't know, man. It's just that my players would get open shots in the corner if they stood there. But instead, they'll run to the wing or something, or they'll run to the paint for some reason. I seriously have no idea why. Players react to double teams the way they do. And I know what you mean when you say double teams are annoying. Because sometimes you'll get double teamed, and the player who's getting double teamed will just throw the ball away for no reason. I don't understand it, man. I don't get it. It's good from long range. Smith's got 11. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. Oh, we're back up by 30, though. And the big reason why we're up 30 is because we've actually been hitting shots. Our defense in the first quarter was horrible, but ever since the first, we've really been clamping up. And I guess being better on offense helps, too. Being better on offense is definitely a reason why we pulled away. Putting Embiid at the five, though, big deal. Putting Embiid at the five has been a reason why we pulled away. Oh, uh, yeah, and if they take shots like that, we gonna be all right. Ooh. About to say, Rodman's kind of a beast. Rodman's a beast. He can shoot the three, and he has great contact dunk animations. I don't think people realize that. He's a contact finishing extraordinaire. And a lights out shooter. One thing I don't like about Lonzo, that little, his dribble moves are a little bit loose. A little bit too loose. Right there, I shouldn't have lost the ball. And so here's Cleveland. And the Cavaliers with possession. They get a hand on it. Kyrie's the same, though. Let's get him, man. Finish off by Bryant. And I think that place. 71 38. We've been pulling away in this game easily. We've been making it look easy. And they've been taking shots like that. So as long as they're doing that, I'm just going to keep on scoring. Gonna keep on running. Keep on getting easy buckets. Let's get it, man. We're up at 35. We had a very bad first half, too. Like We got off to a terrible start in this game, but big quarter. Very big quarter. Good step up, man. Great defense. Got to grab the board, but we're good. Oh, God. Every now and then, I'll do something dumb like that, though. I'm not going to lie. I know we've been good, but I'm not going to act like I'm the perfect player. Okay, come on. What kind of play is this? Good quarter, man. One more quarter, and we are three games away from Marcus Gasol. One more quarter, and we're three games away. So as long as we do, as long as we don't blow this what 35-point lead, we should be okay. If we can just hold on to this 35-point lead, we're gonna come out of here with the win. We're gonna come out of here with a beautiful win, an easy win. 
should I say? They have Mozgov in the game. Look at that. <sighs> yeah. They have Jordan McRae in the game. They have Channing Fry, Amon Shumpert in the game. Timofey Mozgov. They have this auto-generated guy in the game. Tough, man. Tough for the Cavaliers. They got off to a good start, too, man. These Cavaliers fans probably thought they were going to win the game, but they were sorely mistaken. They were very mistaken. Oh, yeah. Rodman hasn't even been shooting many threes this game. I know I talk about how Rodman's like a spot-up three-shooter, really good defender, but he hasn't really had to shoot many threes this game. He's actually been... Like, doing a decent amount of, like, ball handling, running the fast break, catching lobs. He's good at that stuff, too, but I think of him more as just, like, a, a shooter, man, to be honest with you. I know he has good dunk animations, but I just shoot so many threes with him. So many threes with him. Glad you're still here, Livstack. Means a lot. About to say, we have 26 people watching right now, so... I hope all you guys are doing alright. Hope all you guys are enjoying your Thursdays so far. If we have any new viewers in here who haven't subbed yet, what are you doing, man? Make sure you're subbed up if you haven't already. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. What's up, Mock Builds? Oh, yeah. I want to shoot the three instead. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I love shooting those and bead threes. I just feel like he has one of the smoothest jump shots in the game. One of the smoothest jump shots in the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I mistimed my inbound steal. The inbound steal is my signature skill. And I mistimed it. Come on, Kuh. We gotta be better than that. I don't know if it's my best skill, but it's up near the top of the list for sure. It's definitely up near the top of the list. Let's go. I should have thrown that pass to Josh Smith, man. We still got the bucket, though. Let's get it, man. Splendid Sam says, can I donate? You don't have to ask me. About to say, I'm not going to beg you to donate, but all donations are appreciated. Earlier in the stream, we got a $10 dono. One of the biggest I've gotten. And yesterday, we got a couple donos, too, so I really do appreciate donos, but... You don't have to donate if you don't want to. Odd Squad, that was one of my favorite parts of the last dance. Rodman was hitting those jumpers, man. There was one game, I saw it on YouTube a few years ago. Rodman hit three consecutive threes. I can't remember who it was versus. I can't remember who they were playing against. But Rodman, he could hit that three ball, man. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. Are you serious? I did not mean to take that. That was a horrible shot, but thankfully, we got the board. Thankfully, we still got the board. They have Della Vadova in the game. The man himself. I'm glad he's back on the Cavs, but I wish he was wearing number eight, man. Man, Delhi was a beast in those NBA Finals, man. I remember that one game, he was so tired, he had to go to the hospital. Like, he was just losing it, man. He was so fatigued, but he was doing a good job guarding Curry in those first few games. Delhi, man. So inspirational. I wanted to wait for Rodman to throw the lob, but just go ahead and get the normal bucket. 86 to 40, man. And we got off to a terrible start in this game. Like, we really got off to a horrible start, but we turned things around in the second quarter. We turn things around in the second quarter, and after this game ends, we will be three games away from Marcus Gasol and 23 games away from Larry Bird, so we have been on it today. We have been killing it. We've been hitting our open shots. We've been locked in on defense. It's been awesome, man. It has been awesome. Let's get it, man. Hey, y'all listen to Mock Builds. Y'all listen to Mock Builds. He knows what he's talking about. Y'all make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. Hit that like button for me, man. About to say, we're going to hit 100 eventually. I don't know when, but we're going to hit 100 today, man. This stream isn't even halfway over, and we already have 86. You guys have been killing it. What do I think of Opal, Oscar Robertson? He's pretty good. He's pretty good. 
There are a lot of good opal point guards in the game, but nah, he has good size and he has a very nice jump shot and he can defend. Flight called Deli a hamster. I see the resemblance, especially when he has that mouthpiece in. I see the resemblance. I'm not surprised Flight said that though. I to say, Flight says some really dumb things. Or maybe they're actually really smart and we're dumb. I don't know. I don't know. Flight's funny though. Another 50 point win. I'm telling you man, the toughest thing about these games is just sitting through them even though you have such a big lead. That's the toughest thing about these games because this game was over ever since the second quarter man. We got off to a really bad start but ever since the second quarter started it was just, it, we just turned it around man. We completely turned it around. Ah, <sighs> good win though. Good win though. 23 wins away from Larry Bird. Hey, you guys have hung around and seen the entire thing. 23 wins away from Goat Larry Bird. And 3 wins away from Opal Serge Ibaka. That's not too bad right there. I was about to say, we're on a really good pace today. Let's keep it up. 23 games away from Larry Bird. We're about to get our third Opal. We're making some really good progress. We're making some really good progress. We got the Warriors two times, and then we got the Raptors, so let's get back to it, man. Let's get back to it. We're going for win number eight of the stream. We have been on fire today. I'm glad you guys have been here to witness it, man. We're playing versus the boys. Curry, Clay, KD, Draymond, the boys. The boys. Here we go. I wish Flight would play more 1v1s, man. I wish he would play more. I wish he could give us a one-on-one -on -one every single day. I wish we could, I wish we could get a one-on-one -on -one every day because they're very fun content. Very fun content. Okay, here we go. Playing versus the, the boys. The Hamptons 5. The super team. Here we go. I'm not really worried about this team, but I feel like they could get kind of hot. And this, this is Superstar. So you never know how the CPU is going to get. My older brother always says, as long as you don't let the other team get too much momentum, you're going to be alright. I'm not really worried, but we're going to be alright. We're going to be okay. As long as we're hitting our open shots, we're going to be okay. Because, for some reason, I've had a little bit of a problem today timing those wide open shots. Like, I've had a little bit of a problem with that for some reason. I don't know why, but we're going to be alright. We're two likes away from 90, man. You guys have been killing it today, hitting that like button. You guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed too. Make sure you're subscribed too if you haven't already. Especially if you enjoy the content. Let's keep it up. Because we're off to a good start. As long as we don't let any team get too hot, kind of like we let the Cavs did last game, we should be okay. Or kind of like we let the Cavs do. Excuse my crappy grammar. Uh, Hayden, I don't off-ball. I don't see the point of off-ball defense. About to say, if someone sees you're off-balling, it kind of... I don't know. I just feel like off-balling is not a very good thing to do. I like playing straight up on defense. Man, we have a mismatch down here, but it's a little bit too late to attack it. We had a really good mismatch, but I couldn't attack it immediately right there. Like, it took me way too long to notice that uh, Clay Thompson was guarding Hakeem. Good defense. I'm right there with Embiid. I don't. I do play on-ball defense, but you can't play on-ball defense all the time. Like sometimes, if you get beaten off the dribble, you gotta switch to another guy and play help defense. That's just basketball IQ right there. You gotta make sure you switch guys around. Like let's say, like right here, I'm gonna select uh, Gilbert Arenas. Let's say I get beaten off the dribble right here. I gotta slide over here with them. Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to drive in. That was a really dumb idea. 
I'll show you guys another time. I'll demonstrate again. But most guys in here who know basketball, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, how much more of the stream? Probably another six hours. Maybe five. Haven't thought that far ahead. Move that ball around. Get it to Paul Pierce. I've been working on that jump shot, man. I've been getting better at Paul Pierce's jump shot. So, if I can just knock it down a little bit more consistently, we're going to be okay. I've been shooting really well today with Kobe, and really well with Embiid, and Hakeem, but got to shoot a little bit better with Gilbert Arenas and Paul Pierce. Let's go, Kobe. I was shooting very well with Kobe yesterday, man. There was one game where he had 70 points. To be fair, it was versus a very bad team. So, yeah, it wasn't super impressive, but, I mean, 70 points is 70 points, you know? It was still a very impressive performance. I wanted to shoot that. I did. Let's go, Pierce. I'm still working on Pierce's moving shot, but I know how to release his standing shot. I know his standing shot, but that moving shot's kind of tough. Moving shots with anybody are kind of tough. Got to say, unless you have the meter on. Unless you have that chop meter turned on. Uh, Maria, who's the most overpowered player? I really don't know. Overpowered? I want to say Michael Jordan, but I've never used him. Michael, It's probably Michael Jordan, though. And point guard LeBron's probably not too bad either. Um, I mean, Opal Tracy McGrady. I think any player who's big can run the point guard, has really good speed, a nice jump shot, and can defend. Those are probably the most OP players in the game because, yeah, there are guys like D. Wade who can run around, get open shots, shoot really quick, get posters and everything, but I think having a guy who's big and can do the same things, like go just as fast, shoot just as quick, make tough shots, like his shots won't be very easy to contest, guys like that are probably the most OP players, which is probably why LeBron is the most OP player in the game. Or Jordan, because, I mean, he's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and can do the same things. Why are they double teaming? And why are my players running? Why is Embiid sitting out of bounds? If Embiid just sat right under the basket right there, he would have gotten the easy layup. Fundamentals. Then again, fundamentals don't really apply to 2K. To be good at 2K, you don't really have to know basketball. It's a bonus, but you don't really have to know basketball. Bull Bull and Giannis are in there too. But the thing about Bull Bull is that, like, he's kind of, I wouldn't say stuck at the power forward center, but the big thing about Bull Bull is that you're not going to be having guys like Arenas or even guys like Lonzo, who are taller PGs. You're not going to have them stuck on Bull Bull in online games. So that's the thing. I want to say Bull Bull's in there. He's one of the best players at his position, of course, and he's one of the best big men in the game. But I feel like guys like LeBron, who have to play the PG, are a little bit more OP, in my opinion. In my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Oh, come on. We've been so bad on offense. Like, it's not that we haven't gotten open shots. But actually, no, we haven't gotten open shots. That's kind of how it's been. Like, we're not hitting open shots, and we haven't gotten many of them either. Like, this Warriors team is pretty good. Oh, I gotta run the fast break more, man. That's why we gotta get more stops on defense. Oh, Codine, I knew there was gonna be a Spider-Man too. I knew there was gonna be a Spider-Man too. I kinda wanna get a PlayStation just for Spider-Man 2. Or whatever they wanna call it. Good defense, man. Gotta get the rebound, though. If we run the fast break more, our offense is gonna open up, man. Our offense is gonna open up a lot more. So we're only up by two, but I promise you guys, we're going to pull away a little bit. We're going to pull away a little bit. Mark my words, it's going to happen. Oh man, I wouldn't say they've been hitting some BS, but we got to be a bit better on D. Like right there, I got to step up on that screen. But usually, 
I don't get stuck on screens like that. I usually don't get stuck on screens. I'm usually a little bit better operating right there on defense, but we're good still. We're good still. We're in the lead. We just gotta be better on defense, man. What's up, Sports 24-7? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, should I say. I'm saying welcome back to all the people who were in here yesterday. I to say, because I recognize your faces. I recognize all the people who show up from stream to stream, so... It's always cool seeing people come back for, for more, man. It's always awesome. Good defense, Kobe. Ooh, that almost went in, too. And now we run the fast break. About to say. Running the fast break and getting stops on defense, it opens up your entire game. What's up, typical Owens? Welcome to the stream. Never seen you in here before, so I hope you're doing alright. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Welcome to the stream. If you enjoy the content, stick around. Maybe even subscribe. Maybe even subscribe if you want to. We gotta pull away in this game, though. I gotta make a few subs. Kobe's been good, but he's getting tired. They're double teaming again. And MB doesn't miss, man. You guys know this. Y'all know MB doesn't miss from deep. About to say, his jump shot is buttery smooth. Good ball movement. Now we just gotta play good defense. Good defense, man. Now it's time to run. Whoa! Oh my god. That's crazy. Who did 2K think I was throwing that pass to? Are you serious? Uh, Allen Island. No habla espanol. No habla espanol. Oh, you were here yesterday, but you didn't comment. That's fair. Well, welcome back, man. We're picking up right where we left off yesterday. Going for Larry Bird, as you know. Since you were in here yesterday. And, yeah. We're just trying to win every game. We're three games away from Marc Gasol. After this game, two games away from Marc Gasol. We're off to a bad start in this game. But I guarantee you guys we're going to be okay. I guarantee you guys we're going to find our rhythm. We're going to be all right. Let's attack this mismatch real quick. We got a Joel Embiid being guarded by Klay Thompson. Hit him with a spin. Whoa, so Klay Thompson's locking up in the post? We're good, though. Pulling away. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. So we were down, what, 2019? But we've pulled away a little bit. We're trying to go up by 30, though. We're trying to, like, really pull away. I know we'll take a nine-point lead, but no, we got to go up by more. Our defense has been abysmal this game. And after this, we have to play versus the Warriors one more time, so we're not going to be done with the Warriors yet, but it's all good. Uh, Gabe Costa, I do have Paul Pierce, and I really like his jump shot. I'm not going to lie. I really like Paul Pierce's jump shot. It's nice. It's easy. He's pretty athletic. He just caught a lob right there. Paul Pierce is pretty good. He doesn't move the fastest, and he's a kind of a liability on defense, but no, I still like him. I still think he's pretty good. Very good at shooting. Very good finisher in the paint. Super athletic dunk animations. Like, surprisingly athletic dunk animations. But the biggest thing is the separation he gets off the dribble and his ability to shoot. Those are the two biggest things. I don't think he's better than Rodman, but I still think he's pretty good. He's good, but not better than Rodman, in my opinion. Man, they've been getting so many open shots off screens, but thankfully, we're playing a little bit better defense on screens. Still giving up way too many open shots, though. Welcome back, Jordan. And thank you guys for 90 likes on the stream. Yesterday, we got 198, and we're off to a very good start today. So thank you guys for leaving. Why didn't he dunk right there? He was being guarded by... He was wide open. The closest man was Steph Curry. Oh, my gosh. Terrible start to this game. Oh, nice shot, though. Oh, man. But not for real. Thank you, guys, for 90 likes on the stream. And like I said, 198 yesterday. And this stream isn't even halfway over. So I really appreciate everybody who's shown up and left a like so far. You guys are awesome. I appreciate y'all. And the grind continues. The grind continues. Quinn McNeil, 
I like Opal Luka. I've used him on my friend's account. I like him. He has a very nice jump shot, but he feels kind of slow, in my opinion. He feels a little bit slow. Like, I know it's nice that he has good size. He can actually defend a little bit, but sometimes I feel like I'm getting blown by a little bit too much. I feel like, like running and dribbling the ball, he's a little bit slow. That's just me when I use him. Like, I've played against some guys who are very good with Luka, but I just couldn't get anything going with him. Maybe I'm just not very good with him, but I just feel like he's a little bit slow. That's my opinion. Still very good, but a little bit slow. I was trying to throw a lob to him, man. Not a lob, but like a high pass by pressing Y. And that was a terrible foul, man. I'm telling you guys, I have been off this game, man. I know these Warriors are tough to beat. I know they run around screens a lot. I know they got a lot of good shots, but I have not been very good this game, man. I have not been very good. They've been good on defense and everything, but I gotta be better on offense, for real. I already said hi to you, Jaden. I'd say you might not have heard me, but I already said hi to you, so you don't have to repeat yourself. Just saying, just saying. If I hadn't said that, you probably would have said the same thing again. And the reason why we've been better on offense ever since the first quarter is because we've run the fast break more. We've just gotten a lot more easy fast break buckets, so that's a big thing. We're up by 12, but y'all know I'm trying to win every game by like 30 at least. So the Warriors have been in a good rhythm this game, but we've been pretty good too. We just got to play better defense. 33 points in just over one half is terrible defense, so... Let's step it up a little bit on defense. We got Dennis Rodman guarding Kevin Durant. The biggest thing is that Klay Thompson is just sprinting around screens, getting so many open looks. Like, that's our biggest problem on defense, guarding Klay Thompson. We've been cool guarding Steph Curry. Kevin Durant hasn't been very hard to guard. It's just Klay Thompson running around screens has been so hard to guard because a lot of the times, even though I see the play, I'm not able to get around the screen in time. Good D though. Better offense. Hey Quinn, yesterday I did play 20 games in one stream, so you have been grinding, but I've been also going at a pretty good pace. We've been going at a pretty good pace. I wouldn't say the Warriors are tough to beat, but like, I guess apparently they are because I'm only up by 12. I wouldn't say they're tough to beat, like I know how to beat them, but we're not hitting open shots. Ooh, man. That was a nice dunk package right there. What's up, broke boy? Welcome to the stream. And we are now nine likes away from 100. That would be huge if we can get 100 likes for the second straight stream. You guys have been killing it, man. About to say, a 90 like stream is amazing, but we hit, a, we hit almost 200 yesterday, so you guys, let's see if we can hit it again today. But nah. I wouldn't say the Warriors are tough to beat, but I've just missed so many open shots. My defense has been a little bit off. I gotta be playing better than this, man. I gotta be better than this because, like, see, I know what they're gonna do with the ball. I'm not really worried about them, but, like, we've just been missing a lot of open shots. Nice three by Rodman, though. Had to show off his range right there. If we can just hit our open shots a little bit better and be a little bit better on defense, we're gonna be alright. I know what they're going to do, but they've been hitting tough shots. Clay Thompson's been running around screens, making tough shots. They're tough to guard, but I don't think they're very hard to beat. You know what I mean? Like, they're definitely tough to guard because they have so many shooters, but, man, I wasn't really worried about this game from the output, from the outset, excuse me. Can you help me get to 1K subs? Um, I mean, I can give you tips. But I don't think anybody in here is going to do much sub for sub or anything. And I don't like doing that because, I mean, sub for sub, it'll get you more subs, but it won't really raise your views. I can give you tips, though. I can definitely give you tips. But, about to say, I don't like people who self-promote. And my moderators usually don't like people who self-promote uh, either, excuse me. 
to get started, just be consistent, post a lot of content, don't get discouraged. All those small things. I'll give you tips, though. And I'll check out your content for sure. I'm not just going to say, no way. Um, the biggest thing is just staying persistent and staying consistent, too. Got to say, post as much content as you can, no matter how many views you're getting. Uh, I think live streaming is very good for growing your channel. I mean, it's the reason why I've grown so much in the last few days. Because of streams. Streams are a fun way to get people involved, talk to people live. And yeah, especially with everything going on in 2K, it's a very good time to stream. Very good time to stream. But yeah, starting YouTube's a tough thing. It actually took me the longest to get to 100 subs than it did to get to any other milestone. Let's go, Rodman. This man, Rodman's a beast. But yeah, even hitting 100 subs was tough for me, man. Hitting 100 subs was the hardest thing I had to do. Ever since then, it definitely hasn't been smooth sailing because, I mean, hitting 200, 300 was also tough, but nah, it's been fun. It's been a fun grind, man. About to say, in two years of doing this, I've gotten almost 3,000 subs. We're going to see if we can hit 3,000 soon because yesterday we hit 2,500, so we've been grinding. We've been grinding. Anthony, you're good. You're good, Anthony. About to say, you're always in here, so it's kind of been weird not having you in here, but nah. Do what you got to do. Get home soon. Get home safely. And feel free to join and hang around the stream. Oh, man. One quarter away from being two games away from Mark Gasol. Okay, so we did get off to a very bad start in this game, but ever since, like, midway through the second quarter, we've been pretty good. I told you guys, eventually we were going to heat up, eventually we were going to find ourselves, and I told you, eventually we were going to pull away and win. It wasn't looking very good early in the game, but ever since then, we have been beasting and feasting. Now we're going to go up by 30. Uh, Broke Boy, just because you're young doesn't mean you can't make good content. You just got to put a lot of time into it, you know? You got to take time. You got to make sure that you're doing good things, making good content, and put a lot of work into it. Uh, what, try what kind of content are you trying to make? What kind of content are you trying to create? Most kids post Minecraft videos. About to say, they can play it on mobile, they can record it without having to, you know, record their TV screen with a phone or anything. I see a lot of kids on YouTube who record their TV screen with their phone or with an iPad or something. And it's just not good content. It's not easy to watch. It hurts your eyes. The flashes and everything are weird. It's just tough, man, so... I don't know what content you're trying to make, but I guess since you're 11, you have a lot of time to figure that out, right? I was actually trying to lob that to Arsdale, but I guess that works too. Up by 28. Oh, so you're trying to play GTA or 2K? Well, there's a lot of stuff you need to be a good creator for 2K or GTA. You're going to need a capture card, and those cost about... I think $150. Some some of them are 160, 170. Really good ones can be up to like 300. Um, you need an Xbox, 2K, of course, a mic for commentary. There's a lot of stuff you need. There's a lot of stuff you need. Oh, Jack, I was actually planning on doing more prank videos, man. I actually want to do a a chip on shoulder part two for sure because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that video, so. I'm definitely going to do a, a chip on shoulder part 2, especially since I've gotten a new video camera, man. About to say, I recorded that one-on-one -on -one with my new video camera, and it came out in amazing quality, man. It came out in really good quality. Militant, I'm grinding right now. I'm grinding hard right now. We got off to a very bad start in this game, but ever since then, we have pulled away. We have pulled away after a very bad start. We're up by 30. Well, 29, technically, but... I mean, Broke Boy, really? As long as you have a gaming console, a capture card, a mic. If you have all that stuff, 
you can stream, you can post videos, you can create content, but you're only 11, so you have a lot of time to think about it. You don't have to worry about it too much. I think it's a cool thing, man. Every kid nowadays, they want to be YouTubers, man. It's a fun thing to do. It's a fun thing to do, especially when you get in your rhythm. When you get in your rhythm, and you have a lot of people tuning into your channel, watching your streams, watching your videos, it's pretty fun. Like, I'm not, I'm not even a big YouTuber, man. Like, I have a really small channel, but you guys are, like, you guys love watching my stuff. You guys always tune into the streams. You guys always tune into the videos. And you guys are always active, always supportive. Like, not just the older subs, but the newer ones, too. So, I appreciate you guys keeping up your energy for a long time now. So, yeah. Like, even when you're a smaller creator, it can be a lot of fun. But to get started, you gotta stay consistent. You gotta keep on putting out videos no matter how many views you get. You gotta make sure that you aren't getting demoralized by the stats. Let's say you post a video that only gets like five views and one like. I'd say that you just gotta make sure you don't get demoralized by that stuff. Don't get demoralized by that stuff. I mean, if you make good content, you, you never know who's going to watch it. I mean, keep in mind, there are more kids in this world than there are adults. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what you consider an adult, too. Most of the people who watch my channel are like 13 to 20. Like, that's what the target demographic is, I think. Like, teenagers, younger kids watch 2K, and like, low 20s. I think my average age of people who watch is like 17. I've seen that somewhere, but I can't remember where. But like I was saying, the biggest thing is just staying persistent. You don't want to get too caught up in stats. If you have a bad video, or not even a bad video, if you have a video that only hits like 5 or 6 views or 10 views or something, 20 views, and only has like 2 likes, don't get demoralized, man. Try to improve your content, get better every single video. And I will say, this has happened to me before, man. You'll put a lot of work into a video. You'll think it's really good. One of the best videos you've made. But it will do, like, just as well, if not worse, than your, like, previous video. It can be demoralizing, man. So your biggest thing is just staying... Your biggest thing is just staying consistent. Staying persistent. Posting as many videos as you can. Putting in a lot of work. And just having fun doing it. If you're not having fun, what's the point? If you're not having fun, what's the point? Broke Boy, I don't really have any recommendations for intro songs. I mean, I don't really use intros. I just try to jump straight into the content. I feel like some intros can be too long. You're just sitting around looking for too long, so I don't really use an intro. I might get one if I can get someone good to make one for me, but I don't really worry about intros. I really don't worry about intros, for real. One second. For some reason, the chat closed down. Let me open it back up. There we go. Oh, man. I'm not getting sleepy, guys. I promise. I was getting kind of sleepy yesterday. But today, since I actually got sleep, I'm feeling good. We're going to get these challenges done, man. We are now two games away from Galaxy Opal Mark Gasol, bro. Two games away. Two games away from Gasol. And 22 games away from Larry Bird. So let's keep it up, man. Let's keep it up. The grind continues. Let's get it, man! Let me change the title of the stream real quick to 22 games left. You guys are going to see the title change in about two seconds, so give me a second. I'm going to do that right now. And here we go. Two games left for Mark Gasol. 22 games for Larry Bird, man. We have been going hard today. We have been grinding. Let's keep it up, man. Uh, broke boy, I'm good, man. I appreciate the offer, though. I appreciate the offer, but I don't need an intro. In my opinion. About to say, I might ask people if I should get an intro, but I don't really use one. I just jump straight into the content. I'll use an intro, like I'll have some of the content from the video at the beginning to get people's attention. And then, yeah, I just jump straight into the video. But I do appreciate the offer. 
Here we go, man. We're playing versus the Warriors again. This is the last time we have to play versus these Warriors, so let's get this win. Ooh, nice move by Arenas. But we've had trouble hitting open shots. We've had trouble hitting open shots these last couple games. But the last game versus the Warriors, we did still win by 40, so if we can hit open shots better, we would be winning these games by like 60. I appreciate the recommendation, Broke Boy. I think my content's fine though, but I do appreciate the recommendation. I might get an intro eventually, but haven't thought that far ahead. About, about to say, I have tunnel vision right now. I'm just trying to get this Opal Larry Bird right now. Well, I gotta get Serge Ibaka, I mean, Marc Gasol first, excuse me. Uh, Eon, I can tell you if your team is good. I mean, then again, if you have all Opals, you're probably pretty good. Live Stacks says I might stream on Mixer in 10 minutes. I didn't know you stream on Mixer. This is new to me. I seriously had no idea stream on Mixer. That's pretty cool though. I seriously had no idea. How long have you been streaming on Mixer? I have to say, you've never mentioned this before. Unless, if you have, I'm sorry if I don't remember, but I feel like you've never mentioned this before. That's pretty cool though. That's pretty dope though. I feel like there's a bit of a mismatch right here. Man, but the paint's all clogged up. We're good, though. I'll just shoot with Embiid instead. About to say, Kobe's off to a really good start, but Embiid can knock down that 3-2, especially if they're giving him that much space. About to say, because we all got quick releases around here. Good defense by Pierce, but we got to get that rebound, man. Got to get that rebound. Eon says it's not that good. Well, hey, feel free to tell me, and I'll give you some tips. About to say. I try to give people as many tips as I can. I can definitely give you some advice. So you got this game for a discount, I'm assuming. I'm assuming you got 2K like pretty cheap. That's fair. I can definitely give you some tips, give you some my team recommendations. I feel like I'm a pretty reliable source for that kind of stuff because I know the game pretty well. I play it a lot. I stream it a lot. So, yeah. I feel like I'm a decent source for that stuff, and I can give you some good advice. <laughs> Warning, my PF is very bad. Hey man, I'm not judging anybody's teams. I'm not judging anybody's teams. Like, I don't care how good your team is, how bad your team is. If you play the game, that's cool. Because I play the game too. I to say, I play the game too. And I've been playing the game longer than you. So, I to say, I'm supposed to have the better team. You've only been playing for two weeks, so I'm not going to make fun of your team. Don't worry about that. Bad to say, some people don't play my team, some people play more my career, some people get the game like just now, some people have had it since launch, so I can't just laugh at somebody's team. I understand. There are circumstances. Nah, terrible defense right there. We're playing well in this game, but that was a, man, we gotta play better defense than that. Ooh, I wanted to shoot that so bad. Paul Pierce hit his last three. I'm actually learning his jump shot. I'm actually learning Paul Pierce's jump shot pretty well. That's a good thing about my team, man. Everyone has a nice jump shot. And everyone can switch on defense. I think being able to switch on defense is a little bit more important than hitting jump shots, though. But yeah, I guess the, the Nets playbook would help Eon out a little bit. I don't like the Nets playbook. I feel like that one play is just cheesy. I feel like it's too easy to score, but yeah. I understand why people use the Nets playbook because of that play. Because of that play. Tony Parker, T-Mac, Kobe, Ryan Anderson, and David Robinson. Hey, man. I think that that uh, Ryan Anderson is a reward, right? I'm one of those, the token rewards. I actually have that Ryan Anderson, too. The thing is, the biggest thing you should do is save up some MT. Because right now, a lot of, like, even Opal players and Pink Diamonds, they're going for super cheap in the market right now. They're going for super cheap. So, play Domination. Play these new Spotlight Sims. Play these challenges. 
Get as much MT as you can, and you can get a lot of good opals in the auction house. You can get a lot of good opals in the auction house, man. About to say, I know you guys are a little bit behind. I know Packer's behind, Eon's behind, but yeah. What's it called? As long as you just play challenges, like play the new spotlights, let's uh, play the Chicago Bulls weekly challenges, those give you a lot of MT, a lot of tokens, like even if you're way behind, you can play those games and you will get a, got a lot of good rewards, man. A lot of good rewards. Like even if you're behind, that stuff can really help you out. George Gervin's cheap, Gary Payton's cheap, a lot of the new Opals are cheap. A lot of them, man. And it's not because they're bad, it's just because they come out with a bunch of other good Opals in the same collection. Oh yeah, easy bucket. We're doing a lot better versus these Warriors, man. Partly because we're hitting so many open shots. Like, we're greening all of our open shots, we're playing some really good defense, we're making it look easy so far. Ooh, come on, Paul Pierce. We're still playing well, though. We're still playing pretty well, and we're going to be all right, man. JD, I'm super excited for the NBA to come back, but a little bit skeptical because, I don't know, man. Like, I'm excited for it to come back because I love basketball, but you never know. What if, like, a cameraman goes off campus, or, yeah, I guess you can call it campus, or out of the bubble to get pizza or something, and interacts with someone who has a virus, he comes back and interacts with a player and they get the virus. There are a lot of things that could go wrong, but I am very glad it's returning. There's a lot of stuff that can go wrong, a lot of nightmare scenarios that could unfold. Of course, I'm looking forward to it coming back. I'm glad it's coming back. I know they're going to handle it the best they can, but I don't know. A little bit skeptical. Uh, Gabe Costa. I mean, if we're talking about Diamond Cam Reddish here, He's a very good player. He has a lot of badges. He can play defense. He has a very easy jump shot. And all you need is five Hawks players. Or ten Hawks players, excuse me. He's one of the best players you can get. He's a diamond. And all you need is ten players from the Hawks. Oh, yeah. Maybe should have passed that ball. Because right there, JaVale collapsed a little bit in the paint. Good defense, Kobe. Got to get the rebound, though, man. Nice block by Embiid. And this time we did get the rebound. Come on, Paul. <sighs> Chase down artist. Scalabrine needs a goat card. I completely agree. He already has a pink diamond, but if he got a goat opal, that would be hilarious. He already has a pink diamond, and the pink diamond's pretty good. But he could really use an opal card, too. I feel like that's something 2K would do, too. About to say. I feel like Scalabrine could get an opal. I feel like Bonga could get an opal. There are a lot of guys I think 2K is going to go all out for to give them opals. I mean, keep in mind. Bol Bol hasn't played a single game in the NBA, but he has an opal. Taco Fall scored like what? Has he even scored 10 points in the NBA? I don't know, but he has an opal. There are a lot of guys who have opals who maybe shouldn't have opals, so... I don't think them giving Scalabrine an opal would be that crazy. Like, I can honestly see them doing that. Like, I wouldn't be surprised one bit if they did that. Let's get my bench in the game. I got caught up talking to you guys again. Forgot to make subs. We're only up by 12, too. I have really let it go these last couple minutes, man. We were just up by, like, 20. I got to play a little bit better. Got to play a little bit better. Especially on defense. We're there. Oh, yeah. Uh, they've gotten kind of hot, man. I've been a little bit bad on defense this quarter. I've been a little bit bad on defense. We got off to a very good start, but ever since then, we've been a little bit cold. We haven't been as good. The first quarter, we got off to a very good start, but ever since... We haven't been the same. We just haven't been the same ever since. We're still up by 13, though, and we're still looking pretty good. We have 22 people in here right now. I hope all you guys are doing all right. 
Hope all you guys are enjoying the stream, staying safe. Whatever you're doing right now, I just hope you've enjoyed your Thursday so far. You guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already because we're only five away from a hundred. We're only five likes away from the century mark, so you guys make sure to show some love for me if you haven't already. And make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy the content. Come on, man. My defense has been so bad this quarter. So bad. We're still up by double digits, though. We're still up by double digits. And we got an... Come on, man. Why did they have to make that a bad pass? Like, why? He was wide open. Why did 2K make me throw a bad pass right there? Oh, man. This game gets on my nerves a little bit sometimes, man. Gets on my nerves a little bit. Man, I've been terrible ever since the first quarter. Ever since the first quarter, I've been so bad. But we're still up by double digits somehow. I don't know how, but we still are. Oh, man. Let's get one more bucket right here to end the half. There we go. There we go. Got to say, I mean, we haven't been terrible on offense. We have 46 points. We just got to play better D. Good first half, I guess. I wish we could have played better, but I guess we're still up by 16. I guess a 16-point lead isn't all that bad. So we're up 16, and we're going to pull away. As a baller, this game really does get annoying, man. Just the basketball logic's a little bit off sometimes, but it's not that big of a deal. We're still up by 16. We're going to pull away and win this thing, man. This game's a little bit too close early in the game, so... Man, we got to be a little bit better. We got to be a little bit better. Let's pull away. Let's win this thing. Oh, we got to stop giving up BS like that. We got to get back on defense faster. And we got to be better on offense, too. I'm not going to act like we've been good on offense, either, because we really haven't. We really haven't. We have not done a very good job getting greens. We haven't done a great job timing those jumpers. But, I mean, we're still up by 19. We're still up 19. We're still grinding, man. We're still grinding. After this game, we have one game left until we get Marc Gasol. So you guys hang around. It's going to be an awesome moment. We're going to get that Gasol. And not far after, we're going to get that Larry Bird. What's up, Mom of Mentality? Welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah. I made the wrong pass right there, man. I was trying to pass it to the corner. Rodman was wide open, but we're good. About to say. Got a little bit of a mismatch. I can get some space right here on Jordan Bell. Why is Lonzo getting in the way? Why is Lonzo getting in the way right there? Now the shot clock's all up. Terrible possession, but we got lucky. Now we're getting a wide open shot. I have been so bad this game. The past two games, to be honest, I've been pretty bad on offense, but... Last game, we still ended up pulling away, winning by 40. And this game, we've just been, I don't know, man. We have been smoking something, I don't know what. But we're still up by 19. We're still up by 19. So I can't complain too much. So as long as we get this win, as long as we get this win, we are still on pace to get Larry Bird pretty soon. And we'll be getting Marc Gasol after we win this game, or win the game after this game. Um, Larry Bird's definitely still available, Co. Yummy. About to say, he's definitely still available. There was never a time limit. That was a mistake by the developers. He's definitely still available. If you don't believe me, they tweeted about it. So yeah, you can still get Bird. Don't worry about it. Here we go. We're up by 19, but we've been winning every game by 50, man. We've been winning every game so easily, so... Yeah, we gotta be a little bit better. Thankfully, we don't have to play the Warriors again. Actually, we do have to play them once. They did win one championship in the 70s, so... We're gonna have to play against them then, but... Other than that, we don't have to worry about the Warriors with... 
Clay and Steph and all them ever again. The game's going to be over, and we're going to get that Marc Gasol after one more win. With that being said, we're still up 21. So even though we've been kind of bad this game, we haven't been horrible. So, yeah, after this, one game till Gasol, and I'm going to end the stream after we get, um, what's his name? After we get Dennis Johnson. We're going to save Kevin McHale for tomorrow. And yeah, tomorrow we're going to get Bird. Unless I'm feeling good and feeling like I can do, um, yeah, 10 more games. I'm not sure. Haven't thought that far ahead, but I'm probably going to do Larry Bird tomorrow. Of course, right now, we're doing Marc Gasol. After that, we're going to get Dennis Johnson. And eventually, we're going to get that Larry Bird. Yeah, no later than tomorrow. Ho oh, yummy, I'm glad you love my content. About to say, if you guys in the stream are enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe. Just like Ko Yummy just did. Welcome to Doc Nation. Thank you for subscribing. Feel free to hang around. Keep on enjoying the stream. Keep on enjoying the stream, enjoying the content. I know I haven't played very well in this game, so you guys don't get too pissed at my gameplay, but we're still playing pretty well. I guess we're still up by 24, but yeah, this has been a kind of a rough game. Like, we didn't really start pulling away until this quarter. Sniper says, I got two out of five opals. Good for you. So you're making some good progress. But yeah, this game has been tough. Like, they've been playing good defense, and we have not been very good on defense. We haven't been very good on offense either. We've been missing so many wide open shots, but hey, I'm not demoralized, man. I'm not demoralized, just kind of pissed off, you know? Not really demoralized, but kind of pissed off. Um, Odd Squad, I use Streamlabs. I use Streamlabs. That's probably the best software there is, to be honest with you. About to say, it doesn't get much better than Streamlabs. Best software I've ever used. Let's go Rodman. Now Rodman has that, he has the blicky, man. He knocks down that jump shot every time. Ko Yummy. I never use the Nets playbook. I actually don't even have it. I don't even have the Nets playbook. It's not like I can't afford it, but I just don't see the point of buying a playbook for only one play, you know? About to say, everyone who gets the, play the Nets playbook, they know about quick through STS, but if I'm trying to give you guys some good, entertaining gameplay, I just don't think I should use the same play over and over, man. I think that kind of defeats the purpose. I don't think that would be very fun for you guys to watch, so I'm not going to do it. About to say, I don't want you guys to get bored watching the stream. If any of you guys are bored, I'm, I apologize, but yeah, I'm not going to be doing that exact same play over and over again. Packer the player says, you can pick a player for me. If you need a new power forward, low key, you should just do these sims. You can get that Kevin McHale, you can get Dennis Rodman. There are a lot of different guys you can get. You can get, well, Paul Pierce is shooting guard and small forward. I think you should go for McHale. I think you should go for Kevin McHale. About to say, he's one of my favorite power forwards ever. And my first big video on YouTube was actually talking about Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale last year, so Kevin McHale's pretty awesome. My dad's a big fan of him. One of the best power forwards ever, for sure. My favorite budget card. It depends on what you consider budget, because budget's definition has changed throughout the year. Like, I don't know if Rubython Maker is really counts as a budget card, since there are so many better options. My favorite budget card is probably either Diamond Cam Reddish, Pink Diamond Rose, I don't know, man. There's so many good budget cards in the game, so I really don't know, but those guys are definitely up there. I think probably Diamond Cam Reddish or or uh, Rubython Maker. Mo Bamba's not too bad either. Marvin Bagley's not too bad. Michael Red's pretty good. He's by now. Nicholas Batum, I think, has a good diamond card. A lot of good players I like, but yeah, I don't know, man. Budget has changed so much as the years gone on that... It's tough to say what my favorite budget card is. Ooh. Every game that we've gotten off to a bad start, we pull things together, play a little bit better, and then we pull away. 
like we were just up by what, like 10 in the third quarter, but ever since then, we have been on fire. We've been locked in on defense, blocking shots. We gotta get more rebounds though. Like we've given up so many buckets on offensive rebounds. So we gotta be a little bit better in that area, but now we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing because we're getting good looks every single time. We're getting good looks every time. Christopher Thompson, how many more games? 22. After this win, 21. It should say it in the title. It should say it in the title. But yeah, after this game, we have 21 left and one left for Opal Mark Gasol. Like, we have been making some very good progress, man. We have made some really good progress today. The stream's almost at 100 likes. It, it's just been fun, man. It's just been fun. What's up, Daniel Chavez? Welcome to the stream. Ooh, good defense. I was going to take it with David Robinson, but... Threes over twos. It's simple math. Threes are better than twos. How many opals do you have out of the challenges? Uh, two. I feel like I've been saying this a lot. To be fair, a lot of people have been coming in and asking. And I can't just leave y'all hanging. I gotta make sure I talk to as many of you as I can. I mean, when you're up by 40... You have a lot of time to just chill and talk to people. Uh, Dan, what's it called? Danielle. Sadly, you cannot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was gonna say Daniel, but I have a lot of subscribers who have the same names. I have a subscriber who's named Danell, who has the same picture as you. I have subscribers named Daniel, Danielle. It's weird, man. But sadly, you cannot sell the cards. Yeah, they're reward cards, so yeah. You can't sell them. You can't put them on the auction house. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. But yeah, I'm sorry that I had to think twice about your name. I'm very sorry about that. Man. I'm just waiting for this game to be over, man. That's how I feel about every single game because I'm able to take a big lead in every single game. And it's just... The hardest thing about each game is the game is over. Like, we, we're up by so much. We have such a big lead, but I still have to sit through the rest of the game. God, man. Like, I'm just waiting for this game to be over. I wish you could simulate after you go up by 30. I wish you could simulate these games because it's just, it gets so annoying having to sit through these games when they're already over. Oh, man. Like it, I wouldn't, it's not stressful. It doesn't piss me off or anything, but like, man, we're up by 40. I just want the game to be over. We're going to dribble out the clock and I'm going to change the title of the stream real quick. Let me edit it real quick. We now have 21 games left until we get Larry Bird and one game left until we get Galaxy Opal Marc Gasol. So we've made some really good progress today. This stream has been a very good continuation of yesterday's stream. And we are now one like away from 100. You guys have been killing it today, man. One like away from 100. One win away from Marc Gasol. Man. Whew. This stream has been a grind. We've been grinding today, man. We've been grinding hard. One win away from Marc Gasol. And 21 away from Larry Legend. Let's get it, man. Man, thank y'all for 101 likes on the stream. Like I said, y'all have been killing it today. Yesterday, we got almost 200. But hey, I'm not keeping count for real. Just thank you guys for getting me 100 plus on two consecutive streams. Final game. Final game of the 2010s. Playing versus the Raptors, man. Playing versus the Raptors with Kawhi, Pascal Siakam, Kyle Lowry, and the boys. Here we go. Final game of the 2010s. Let's get it, men! Let's get it, men. Justin Duggan, thank you for like number 100. 
And shout out to the people who were also like 101, 102, and 103. So here we go. The grind continues. This is a pretty good team we're playing against, man. This is a pretty good team we're playing against. Playing versus Kyle Lowry. Playing versus, man, Danny Green. And then they got an Opal front court, man. They got Marcus Saul, that Kawhi Leonard, and Pascal Siakam. So here we go, man. Here we go. Thank you for 103. Here we go. So this is probably the the best all-around team other than the Warriors that we're going to play against because the Warriors had four opals and a pink diamond, and this team has four opals and a diamond. So pretty good team still. This is going to be a challenge, but y'all know I'm ready. Y'all know I'm not really worried about Kyle Lowry, not really worried about Danny Green, Pascal Siakam, not really worried about those guys. Now, Kawhi Leonard could be tough to guard, but, I mean, he's just going to shoot a lot of mid-range shots. He's just going to be shooting a lot of mid-range. So, if we can just play good defense and shoot a lot of threes and make sure they don't score, I think that's a very good game plan. I think that's a great game plan, actually. I actually think it doesn't get much better than that. I want to shoot this. I could have shot that. I'll shoot this instead. Not too bad. That's a pretty good shot right there for Pierce. I didn't get the release perfect, but it still went in, so that's all that matters. I feel like this game could get really bad because this Raptors team doesn't have much depth. They have Diamond Van Fleet off the bench. They do also have Opal Jeremy Lin off the bench. So this is a pretty good team, but I'm not really worried about them, man. What's up, Solo Braden? I'm glad you've been here all day. Shout out to everybody who's been here for the entire stream so far. It's been a lot of fun. I really hope you guys have been enjoying it. We have been grinding and grinding hard, man. This is the last game for Marc Gasol which means we are only 20 games away from Larry Bird, Larry Legend. About to say, these games have been relatively easy to win. They have been relatively easy to grind because it's only 50 games. It's only 50 games, which is a lot better than getting Kobe. About to say, it's a lot easier to get Larry Bird than it is to get Kobe. And both cards are really good. Both cards are just as good as the other, so hey, man. If you aren't grinding to get this Larry Bird, what are you doing? The grind continues on this channel, man. The grind continues. Good defense. We have won every single game today in a blowout, man. We have been making it look easy. And we've been making this game look pretty easy, too. We're off to a really good start in our final game for Gasol. Final game for Gasol. And I've heard a lot of good things about Opal Mark Gasol, man. I've heard a lot of good things about him. People have been saying he's like a, a slower Hakeem. And hey, that's not a bad thing because I have Hakeem. And he's one of the fastest big men in the game. So yeah, I'm about to say, it doesn't get much faster than Hakeem. So hearing Mark Gasol is like Hakeem, but a little bit slower, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. I like Paul Pierce. I like Rodman. We're going to see how much I like um, Marc Gasol, too. But I've heard very good things about him, so I'm assuming he's going to be good. We are back up to 30 viewers. I hope everyone's having an awesome Thursday. A lot of you guys are probably just coming in from the PS5 reveal. You guys make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And talk to me in the chat if you haven't already. I try to respond to everybody, and I mean, this is a big game right here. I should probably lock in, but I prefer talking to you guys in the chat, trying to keep you guys engaged, so feel free to talk to me. Feel free to interact. I'm not going to ignore you unless you're just saying something really dumb or annoying or spamming or some shit like that. Good shit, Daniel. Or is it Danielle? Because I do see the two L's in your name. Got to make sure I'm pronouncing that right. Back to Arenas. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Gonna get arenas open right here. Ah, come on. Van Fleet didn't get caught in that screen like he should have. 
but we did get the switch, and we did end up getting an open shot. Eon says my basketball IQ is Z. Do you mean zero or Z? As in, like, really good. Just wondering. Good shot. Liv Stack says I've been here since the start of the stream. Now that's big time right there. About to say, how many of you guys have been here since the beginning? Because this stream's been going on for almost five hours. I've been grinding. It's been a lot of fun. And we've had like 30 people in here pretty much the whole time. If not 30, definitely at least 25 for sure. What's up, Nick? Keep on grinding, man. It's pretty cool that you're about to get bird. So keep it up. About to say, it's cool that we've had so many people here for the entire stream, though. About to say, you guys have been grinding, I've been grinding, and I'm glad you guys have been tuned in. Especially those of you who are grinding for sure. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. He has slimmed down a lot from his rookie season. Marcus still strong enough to power through contact. What's up, Nicholas Lagan? Welcome to the stream. My favorite NBA team's the Knicks. Uh, don't make fun of me for that. A lot of people have been asking this question today, man. My favorite team's the Knicks. My second favorite team's the Hawks. And this stream is probably going to be nine hours long. Had to say, Nick's coming in and immediately asking a lot of questions. But yeah, this stream's probably going to be nine hours long. And yeah, those are my favorite NBA teams. Feel free to laugh at me. I know they're pretty bad. And from what we've been watching your guys with the Bobcats, so, you know, what are you two seeing? Throughout that first, they just Terrible defense. Are you kidding me? That was such a lucky block. Now that block wasn't lucky. That was just great right there. Good shot, Kobe. Doesn't get much better than that. It does not get much better than that. Hayden Bryant's playing 2K while watching me. I feel like that's the right move right there. I feel like you guys grinding while I'm grinding. I feel like it's a good way to let the time pass, you know? We'll up Tanner 36. Probably going to be live for another five hours, if I had to guess. If I had to give you a prediction, probably another five hours, maybe another like four hours, 45 minutes. I can't give you an exact number, but we'll see. We'll see. You're getting him today? Uh, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. About to say, I know a lot of the big YouTubers already have him, but I mean, I have homework to do. I have stuff I got to do. I got to get my workouts in, so I'm getting close to getting him, but not yet. Probably going to get him tomorrow. About to say, I mean, yesterday's, oh, that was good defense. Yesterday's stream was nine hours long. Today's stream's also going to be nine hours. Tomorrow's stream is probably only going to be like five hours long, though, or like four and a half. Because tomorrow, we're going to only play the last ten games. Uh, Eon, it is kind of weird that you haven't watched a single basketball game, but you're playing 2K, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you don't have to be good at basketball in real life, or know basketball, or watch it to be good at 2K. That's kind of a bad thing, but at the same time, I mean, it's a video game, so... It's, yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal. What's up, Anthony Morgan? I'm glad you're in here finally. About to say, the chat has been nice and orderly today, so you haven't had to kick anybody out. Nobody's had any reason to be kicked out, so yeah, I'm glad you're here because you are the official chat protector. What's up, D Up Gaming and more? Welcome to the stream, man. But yeah, I am still doing online school. I'm actually doing a few summer classes at my university, so that kind of sucks, but it's not really a big deal. The classes aren't hard at all, they're just time consuming. About to say, I think everyone's had a class like that before. It's not tough, the material's not tough, you don't even have to study that much, but it's just time consuming. Like the work you have to do is just, takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of time. My favorite player is Carmelo, my favorite player is Melo, my favorite team's the Knicks. And I'm also technically a fan of every team that Melo plays for. So I was a Thunder fan when he was on the Thunder. I was a Knicks fan when he was on the Knicks. 
But since the Knicks are the first team I've ever watched, I've stayed a Knicks fan for a while now. Ooh, nice dunk, man. Let's get it. He gets clear off the screen. There is no stopping Will you do another decade after this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This stream is going to be nine hours long. So, yeah. It's only been going on for four hours right now. So, we have another four hours of content coming your way. I have to say, for those of you who enjoy my content, I know you're happy because I got more content coming your way. After I finish this decade, I am doing another decade. So, you guys don't worry. This stream's going to be going on for a little while longer. And yeah, we're going to get another Opal. We are going to get another Opal. And then tomorrow, we're going to cap off this series by getting Larry Bird. Had to put some emphasis on that, you know. But yeah, this stream's off to a very good start. Keep in mind, the reason I say that is because this stream isn't even halfway done. This stream's not even halfway over. We still have another four and a half hours left to play. So, yeah. You guys hang around. Enjoy the stream. We're going to get another Opal after we get Marcus Saul. And, yeah. It's going to be glorious. Yesterday, I was so sleepy. I hadn't slept in a day. And then the new content came out. So, I stayed awake and streamed just because of the new content. Okay, maybe I'm taking some bad shots, but I thought those were going to go in. I'm going to be real with y'all. I thought those shots were going to fall. I've been hitting shots like those the entire stream, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep on shooting them, even if they are bad shots. <sighs> we are almost one half away from getting Marc Gasol. That is big time. That is big time. We're almost one half away from getting Marc Gasol. And Marcus Saul has been crazy on defense this game. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he's picked off, like, so many of my passes. And I feel like I run a pretty smart offense, too. Like, you guys have seen the way I've been playing these last couple days, man. You guys have seen my videos. I feel like I play pretty smart, but Marcus Saul has been, like, a step ahead of me this game. He has been intercepting a lot of my passes. I thought he'd somehow intercept that pass, too. I thought he was somehow going to intercept that one, too. Oh, man. So we're still up by 17. But we should be up by more, man. We should have a bigger lead, but we'll take it. I mean, keep in mind, guys. As long as you end the game with the lead, whether it's a 20-point lead or a 2-point lead, it's all good. As long as you win at the end of the day, you're good. What do you think is the most iconic player from each team? I'll answer that question soon, Anthony. Let me answer a few more questions. So I'm from Ireland, and basketball is not the most popular sport, but I love playing it. It's hard to see on TV. That's understandable, man. That's understandable. But if you love basketball, try to watch it whenever you can. It's a great way to learn the game. Very good. But let me get to Anthony's question. I'm going to try to think of the most iconic player from each team. It's a, it's a long question, but it's kind of easy to answer. Um, For the Raptors right now, that we're, who we're playing against, it's easily Vince Carter. Now, Kawhi Leonard may be the best player to ever play for the Raptors, but Vince Carter is easily the most iconic player. He's the reason they still have a team today. Um, for the Bulls, it's Michael Jordan, easily. For the Lakers, that's a tough one. It's either Magic or Kobe. And the reason Kareem's not up there is because he eventually joined the Lakers. He already started out his career winning a championship with the Bucks, And I feel like since he wasn't a Laker for his whole career, I feel like that kind of takes him out of the argument a little bit. Still very good, though, of course. Are you serious? Why is that a terrible pass? I'm trying to think of other teams, man. For the Hawks, it's probably Dominique Wilkins. For the Heat, it's definitely D. Wade. For the Nets, it's probably Jason Kidd. Could be Durant if he wins a couple championships there. For the Knicks, it's either Patrick Ewing or Walt Frazier. For the Celtics, I want to say it's Larry Bird. You can make an argument for Bill Russell, but Larry Bird's probably the most iconic player for the Celtics. For the Pacers, 
definitely Reggie Miller. For the, man, for the Cavaliers, definitely LeBron. You can make an argument LeBron's the most iconic player for the Heat, too. You can make an argument he's also the Heat's most iconic player, but, nah, I think you gotta go with D. Wade right there. I think it's almost definitely D. Wade. And this has been a really bad possession. Very bad possession. For the Clippers, that's also a tough one. Man, that's, that is tough. Because they haven't... It's probably CP3 or Blake Griffin, to be honest with you. Because this past era of Clippers basketball was easily, like, the best era of basketball ever for the Clippers. So, it's probably Chris Paul or Blake Griffin. It's probably either Chris Paul or Blake Griffin. Dr. J never played for the Nets in the NBA. He played for the Nets in the ABA. But then after the merger, yeah... Actually, no, he did play for the Nets in the NBA for a little while, I think. But he didn't play for him for very long before he joined the 76ers, so I don't know if he's up there because, I mean, he never won a championship with the Nets. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like for the Nets, it's Jason Kidd. That's just my opinion. For the Kings, probably Oscar, right? I know Oscar won a championship with the Bucks. I mean, but keep in mind, the Kings have never really been to a championship. So, I think the answer for that question is the... I think it's definitely Oscar Robertson. Even though he didn't win a championship there. I mean, the Kings did win a championship as the Kansas City Monarchs, right? Or am I thinking about some... Am I, am I thinking about a different sport? I'm about to say. I feel like the Kings won a championship in Kansas City. But I could be wrong, you know? could be wrong for the Brooklyn Nets that's tough too it probably is Darren Williams if we're talking about New Jersey Nets it's probably Jason Kidd though for the 76ers it's either Allen Iverson or yeah no I think Allen Iverson is probably the iconic guy you know I think it's definitely Iverson I guess you can make an argument for Moses Malone but he wasn't always on Philly like Iverson was then again Iverson wasn't always on Philly. Iverson, what's it called? Yeah, he played for Detroit, played for Memphis, played for the Nuggets one year. Yeah. I'm trying to think of these teams, man. There are a lot of teams we haven't named, but let me think of others I haven't named or guys I haven't seen in the chat. For the Rockets, it's definitely the Dream. For the Spurs, it's definitely Tim Duncan. For the Jazz, I guess you can pick between Carl Malone and John Stockton. I'd probably have to go with... I'd probably have to go with Carl Malone, though. For the Magic, it's probably Dwight Howard. It could have been Penny Hardaway. It could have been Grant Hill. It could have been Shaq. It could have been Tim Duncan. I don't know if you guys have heard that story before. But yeah, I gotta go with probably Dwight Howard for them. Dwight Howard's definitely a first ballot Hall of Famer. I don't know why people don't think he is. About to say, he won like three straight Defensive Player of the Year. He took a team to the finals one year. Pretty good player. All-time great player, actually. What the hell was that? For Memphis, it probably is Marc Gasol. I mean, you can make an argument for Mike Conley, but Mike Conley never made an all-star team. And that's kind of because the Western Conference players are so good, you know? Like the guards in the West are like Steph Curry. Um, yeah, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Russell Westbrook. There are so many good guards in the Western Conference. So it's understandable why... Um, it's definitely understandable why Mike Conley never made the All-Star game, but... I don't know. I was about to say, Mark Gasol at one point was like arguably like one of the best centers in the league. He won Defensive Player of the Year one time. He always put up some good stats. So, he's probably the best Grizzlies player ever. But you could make an argument for somebody like Conley. Yeah, other than that, you can't really make arguments for many other people. For the Bucks, it's probably... There are a lot of guys for the Bucks it could be. Right now, it's easy to say Kareem, but Kareem won one ring there. And Kareem's the best player to ever play for the Bucks, but Giannis, he might be approaching, man. Giannis might have something to say about that. 
You look at guys from the 80s like Terry Cummings, Sidney Moncrief. I don't think those guys are in the conversation. I don't think those guys are part of the conversation. I feel like it really is either Kareem or Giannis. So I got to go Kareem, but Giannis can definitely change that in the next few years, especially if he wins a championship. What's up, Stax? Welcome to the stream. We have 33 people in here right now, man. If you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure that you like the stream. Make sure you're subscribed, too, if you haven't already. Uh, the best player to ever play for the Thunder is Kevin Durant, but the most iconic player is probably Westbrook, for sure. Not to say, Westbrook is Mr. Thunder. Westbrook's definitely the most iconic guy, but Durant's the best player to ever play for the Thunder. I mean, LeBron's the best player to ever play for the Heat, but D. Wade's the most iconic guy because, I mean, D. Wade won a championship before LeBron even got there. I did do the magic. I said it was Dwight Howard. I feel like I took a lot of time to talk about that. This has been an ugly game. I'm trying to shoot a jump shot, man. Not a layup. Are you Come on, man. There was a reason I took a dribble out, because I was trying to shoot a layup. <sighs> I've never complained so much about a double-digit lead. And David Robinson pulls it down. Charlotte leading by 18. To the middle. It's deflected. Rodman and the rejection. What the hell's going on this game? Yeah, that shot gets jacked. Great anticipation by the claw. And here are the Bobcats now. I'm taking some terrible shots too. We've been good on defense this game though. But offensively, we've been shit. And here are the Bobcats. Oh yeah, I got space though. I'm gonna put the starting lineup back in, man. I just haven't been getting anything going with this lineup for real. I've been good on defense with this group, but on offense I've just been tripping. I've been taking terrible shots, I've not been moving the ball. I've just been crap with this lineup, man. And we're missing a lot of open shots and getting no greens. I don't feel like doing the glitch will be fun to watch. About to say, you guys probably want to see some good gameplay. And I've not been giving you good gameplay. I know we're up by 24, but it's been a very ugly game. It's been a very ugly game. We're still up 24. It's the fourth quarter. Come on, Rodman. I've been taking so many contested shots and so many dumb shots. If you guys aren't enjoying watching, I really do apologize because I've been playing very bad this quarter. The Sparks. Who the hell's the Sparks? Like the WNBA team? The Sparks. Who the hell are you talking about? Uh, Nico, this is challenge number 10 for the 2010s. This is the 2010s challenge right here. Final challenge of the 2010s. If we win this game, we get Marcus Saul, so I would say I'm motivated to win the game, but I don't know, man. I don't know. DeVince, sleep really does suck, but I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate you coming by. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream today. Finally, I greened a three with Rodman. It's about time. To be fair, I have not been taking open shots with him. Okay, just making sure it was a joke. I was about to say, you talk about how you don't watch basketball for real, so I was thinking that you thought the Sparks were an actual like NBA team. So as long as we're joking here, we're good. Just had to make sure you were joking. I don't know anything about the WNBA. It's not that I hate it or anything. Why didn't Rodman stay on the perimeter? Why did he cut in? He would have been wide open. This game is so dumb, man. <sighs> At least we're up 25, I guess. But this has been a frustrating game. Like, I'm being serious when I say this is... I definitely double-tapped Y, but it's all good. Still got the bucket. I'm going to try not to get too mad about the game, but there's been a lot of BS happening this game. For real. Like, we should be winning this game by 40 or 50, but I guess we'll settle for our little 27-point lead. I guess it's not that bad. But definitely, we should be playing better. But also, it doesn't matter because, I mean, as long as we win this game by at least one, 
We're gonna be getting that Gasol. Why did... And B was running the lane, but then he just stopped. I need to stop thinking ahead. Because in real life, and B would have kept running. Okay, Hakeem would have kept running too. I got the ball back though. Ah, oh, man. Here's on an open. Dishes at the Miller. These games tire me out, man. I'm telling you. These games really do tire me out. Good steal, though. I'm gonna shoot the fast break three. I, I, I haven't been doing that much today, but I really do trust my fast break three-point shooters. This has been a terrible game. I've not been having much fun in this game, but we're up 30. And we're about to get Mark Gasol, so maybe getting that Gasol will give me a, a second wind of energy, you know? Because I am starting to run low on energy. I would lie down if I could, but I gotta stay in front of the mic. I gotta stay in this chair, so I can't really, you know, just get in bed and play from there. But, we're gonna be okay, man. We're gonna be okay. I might have to take out my contacts eventually, because my eyes are getting a bit dry. The contacts are drying up a little bit, but, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. The first half of the stream is officially over. We're about to get ourselves that Marcus Soul. And that means we are three out of five opals to getting that Larry Bird. Can we go ahead and change the title of the stream? Because we are now 20 games away from Larry Bird. So there we go. 20 games left. What an efficient performance at both ends. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. What's up, Blood? Just getting on the stream. How many Opals do you need for Larry? I need two more Opals. Four players total. Two Pink Diamonds. Two Opals. We've made some really good progress today, man. We have made some really good progress in today's stream. We have been beasting and feasting today, so... We gotta make sure we keep the same energy. We are now 20 games away from Larry Bird. 10 games away from Dennis Johnson. And yeah... We're going to end the stream by getting Opal Dennis Johnson, and tomorrow we're going to get both Mikhail and Bird. It's going to be just great, as my ama would say. 20 tokens, a lot of MT, and there we go. Let's clap it up real quick. We did it. There's Marc Gasol. That's just a beautiful image right there. It doesn't get much better than that. There's our third Opal. I've heard Marc Gasol's pretty good, so... I guess we're going to find out. I'll, I'll put him in the lineup real quick. I'll let him replace... You know what? I'm going to take a big risk here. I'm going to let him replace Dennis Rodman. So, I'll put him in at the center. He's going to replace... I mean, David Robinson, excuse me. I'll give Rodman a contract real quick. And we're going to keep on going. So, we've gotten three of the Opals we need. We are now four players away overall. So... Here's a little update to look at our cards. We're about to get Dennis Johnson, and after that we're going to get Willis Reed, right? We're going to get Willis Reed because he's in the 70s, so Dennis Johnson, Willis Reed, and then the stream is over. So we're going to get those two more players, and then we're going to end the stream. We've been making some really good progress today, man. I'm not going to sit around and act like we haven't been making good progress. This has been an awesome stream. We have completed three decades now, and yeah. The 70s, up next. Got the 70s up next. We're playing versus the Knicks twice, which is pretty cool. They won it in both 70 and 73, so here we go. We're going to be playing versus Walt Fraser. Going to be playing versus Earl Monroe off the bench, Dave DeBusher, Bill Bradley, the boys. The boys. But yeah, if you're trying to grind out these spotlight sims, this is a good team to start against, man. I mean... Their starting small forward is a gold player, so won't be too much of a challenge for you if you can just get a decent team together. Here we go. The second half of the stream is officially starting, so here we go. You guys get hype for me, man. I'm going to need some energy if we're going to end the stream on a high note, man. Packer the player. I'll see you around. Thank you for coming by the stream as usual. And yeah, here we go. Second half of the stream, kicking off. We gotta start things off with a bang, man. 
We gotta ha okay. I was gonna say we gotta get a bucket the first possession, but we're gonna be okay. Oh uh, yeah, not our best start, but we're still gonna be all right. We're playing every game, of course, on superstar difficulty, so we should get some decent challenges. But y'all know I'm really not worried about it. Y'all know I'm not worried about it. And militant, you're right. My favorite thing, my favorite thing about Dennis Robin, other than his shot, is that he can guard every single position, just because he's so fast. Like his speed is really good. So that Dennis Robin, in my opinion, is the best player available. But we're gonna get what's his name. We're going to test out Marc Gasol this game, too. I'm going to give Marc Gasol a few minutes and see if he really is worth the hype. Or worth the grind, I guess, is the question. Then again, some people might not like Marc Gasol, and they're just doing it for Larry Bird, but I've heard good things about Marc Gasol, so we're going to test him out, and we're going to see if he really is a beast. A lot of people are saying he's like Hakeem. We're going to see if they're right. No, I don't really watch esports. I don't. About to say, I know I play 2K. I know there's a 2K league, but not very big on esports. I used to watch competitive Fortnite, but it's not really fun to watch anymore, so it's been a while. Other than that, nah, not really an esports watching type of guy. We're off to a very good start shooting. Kobe's greened both of his threes, and Paul Pierce hit a three too, so off to a good start in this game. If we can keep on creating offense, we're going to be all right. Let's swing that ball around. Kobe's open again. It's all good. Easy slam. About to say, Willis Reed ended up so far away from the basket, I knew we were going to get an open slam right there. Offensively, very good start. Defensively, we got to be better. We definitely need to be better on defense. Let's go Embiid. Good defense on DeBusher. And we've been hitting all of our shots so far. We've been hitting pretty much every shot we've taken, so let's keep that same energy. Let's attack this mismatch right here. This should be an easy bucket. Offensively, very good start. Y'all know we're going to pull away eventually. Y'all know we're going to be all right, so yeah. Let's get it, men. Starting off the second half of the stream pretty well, pretty well. Offensively, we've been good. Defensively, we haven't been terrible, I guess. And yeah, if we just play defense like this every time, if we keep on getting good shots, we're going to breeze straight through every single game in the second half of this stream. Man, we've been shooting the lights out to start this game. We have greened every three we've taken. Except one, but the reason why I kind of forget about that possession is because we still scored on it. Good defense, another fast break. I wanted to shoot that with Pierce, but I know it's not the smart shot. I know that we can get better shots than that. Let's pick and pop with Embiid, man. See if we can draw Willis Reed away from the basket. We have not missed, man. We have been shooting the lights out so far. I know this Knicks team isn't great, but we've been getting any shot we want. The biggest thing is that we got to play good defense, too. Livestack, I'm glad that you've been watching me ever since you found me. I'm glad you've been loving my content. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. And hey, shout out to everybody who likes my content, man. I really do appreciate y'all. There are a lot of other things I could be doing right now, but instead, we got 30 people in here watching me play 2K. So, I appreciate y'all. And yeah, I really do appreciate every single one of y'all. I don't want to gush too much, but nah. I really do appreciate y'all. Soon, I'm going to have to take out my contacts, though, because my eyes are getting a little bit dry, or my contacts are getting a little bit dry, excuse me. So, yeah. I might have to do that soon, but other than that, I mean, I have food next to me, I have water next to me, so the stream is going strong. The stream is definitely going strong. We're going to be okay. For second, they had number 22 sitting in the backcourt. Or, what's his name? Bill Bradley. Sometimes I forget the names of the really old Knicks players. Welcome back, Codeine. Welcome back. Alex Young says, Larry Hughes is an L. And I kind of agree. His Galaxy Opal is going for like 
40,000. I don't even know if it's going for that much. But yeah. I mean, if you want a, a cheap Galaxy Opal, he's your guy. And he's very easy to evolve from Diamond, so... I guess he's not terrible, but he's definitely not making it onto my team. He's not necessarily undersized or garbage or anything, but he's just not all that good. So, sorry Liliana, but yeah, I gotta say that he's kind of bad. I gotta say. Oh my god. I got good sleep last night, but for some reason my eyes are hurting. I have no idea why, but eyes are hurting a little bit. We've been shooting the lights out, man. We have been killing it from deep so far. We have been shooting their lights out. We have 26 points in a five-minute quarter. That's tough. And we've been pretty good on defense. I think I might have already said this, but welcome back, Codeine. I've never played Rocket League. My friends have tried to get me to play it before, but I never have. It's not that I don't like it, but I've just never played it. Y'all know what I mean? I've never played Rocket League, but don't have a problem with it or anything. I feel like everyone's played it, though. I feel like everyone's played Rocket League. I feel like I'm one of the only people out there who hasn't. So maybe I should play it sometime. There's, I have a friend who's a YouTuber who I want to do a collab with. And he said we should play Rocket League together. So, yeah. Maybe I'll get into it eventually, but haven't thought that far ahead. Oh, good play. Beautiful offense, man. About to say, Kobe set a really good screen, and we got the easy three. We're going to get another three right here. Just wait. I called it. And Bede is just a beast from deep, man. And he's not even going for that much in the auction house, so if you need a big man who can shoot, Embiid's your guy. About to say, he can speed boost. He has super athletic dunk animations. He can shoot that thing from way downtown. Making it look easy, too. Oh, man. <sighs> I'm feeling good. I promise you guys, I'm not sleepy, but my eyes have been open for so long that... I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling just fine, but for some reason, like, my eyes are getting a little bit tired, I think. I feel fine, though. I'm not hungry. I'm fine on water. I'm fine on food. But for some reason, I'm just getting a little bit tired, I guess. I promise you guys I'm not sleepy. I promise you all I'm feeling just fine, but for whatever reason, like, my eyes are drying up a little bit. I'm not sure why, but they are. I'm not sure why, though. Oh, man. We've been killing the game, though. We're up 34-14. We're going to keep up the same energy, man. We're going to keep up the same energy. Oh, I was playing great defense right there, but all of a sudden, he got past me. Should have shot that. I've been passing up so many open shots. At least we've been scoring every time. They really can't stop us. I know they stopped us right there, but it's been very few and far between. Nice shot, Dick. I, to be fair, I really do like Dick Barnett's jump shot. I'm about to say, I know it's ugly, but it's very easy to release. Hey, y'all listen to Anthony Morgan for me, man. Y'all listen to my man, Anthony Morgan, the king of the chat. If y'all are enjoying the content, make sure you liked it, and make sure you're subscribed. This stream is going to be going on for a long time. This stream is going to be going on for a while longer, so you guys stay tuned. You guys continue watching. Or if you're playing the game, continue listening. And yeah, the rest of this stream is going to be great. We're going to get Dennis Johnson, and then tomorrow, we're going to get the man himself, Larry Legend. The second half of this stream is officially underway, and it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be awesome. Good shot, Paul Pierce. Let's get the bench in the game. Let's get the bench in the game. Let's get Marc Gasol in here and see if Marc Gasol is a beast. Codeine, I actually just checked my sub count. 
We're about to hit 2.53, so I think we're going to hit 2.53 by the end of the stream. I could be wrong. And if there's anybody in here who's not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And hey, we're going to see if we can hit 2.53 by the end of the stream. That would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty great. The channel's been growing like crazy. So, hey, I, I cannot be mad about 2.52. Jay the Rage says, I'm going to try and get him by Saturday. That's a pretty good goal. I'm going to try and get him tomorrow. About to say, I've had a lot of fun streaming this final spotlight sim. Got a lot of space with Kobe. I cannot remember the last time we missed a shot. We have been going crazy from deep. We have been lighting it up, for real. They're canceling Paw Patrol. It portrays cops as always being good. Fair enough. But yeah, we're back up to 30 viewers, man. You guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, make sure to leave a like, too. We've hit 100 likes for the second consecutive stream, which is freaking awesome, man. You guys have been killing it. So yeah, we're going to keep it up. I'm going to keep on giving you guys some awesome content. And yeah, we're going to be all right. I'm going to keep on streaming this. We're going to get that Larry Bird tomorrow. But first, we're going to get this Dennis Johnson today. Have you tried to get Jerry Lucas? Not yet. Not yet. I'll try to get him eventually. I'm going to start playing some Unlimited next week, but yeah, I have not tried to get him. Eventually I will, but haven't tried to yet. Yeah, guys, for those of you who were in here yesterday, I'm probably going to have to put my glasses on again, man. I'm probably going to have to put my glasses on eventually because my contacts are drying up a little bit. I know I've been doing a lot of blinking, man. I know I haven't been doing much yawning, but it's not like I've been keeping my eyes open the whole time just staring at the stream or anything. I don't know why my eyes, I don't know why my contacts are drying up for real. I seriously have no idea why. Ooh. Okay, Marcus Gasol has some nice dribble animations, man. Marcus Gasol has some nice animations. I'm going to try behind the back with him soon. But, okay, Marcus Gasol is pretty nice. I haven't, like, tried his jump shot yet. I know that was a fadeaway, but I don't really count that as a jump shot. I know, I know it was a jump shot, but, like, I don't know his release yet. But he has some pretty nice dribble moves, so... Marcus Gasol is looking pretty nice, but I haven't taken like an actual like standstill shot with him yet. I know his release because I've used him before, but like I haven't used his opal. Like I haven't used this card. Who is your friend who plays Rocket League? Why does that matter? His name's Rochi though. About to say I don't know why you're asking for that specific question, but yeah, his name is Rochi. Well, his name's Pat. His last name is Roach though. Joel Embiid has been about to say, you're asking as if you know him. Oh, man. So we're going to see what Marc Gasol can do because in the first half, Hakeem was playing really good defense and rebounding. We're going to see if Marc Gasol can be a beast, too. We're going to see if Marc Gasol can beast and feast, too. Ooh, okay. So his first bucket is a nice little poster slam. Not too bad. Uh, Dr. Anonymous, I think Dennis Rodman is 100% worth it. Just my opinion. He is super fast. He can guard pretty much every position. And his jump shot's very nice. So you might not agree, but I think Dennis Rodman's 100% worth it. I mean, if you don't get Dennis Rodman, you're not going to get Larry Bird. So if he's not worth it for the reasons I just said, he's worth it for that reason. Oh, man. That was a bad dunk animation. I could have gotten a poster with Dennis Rodman, too. Uh, this is one of those games, guys, where I wish I could just sim to the end. We're up 36. They're not doing a very good job scoring. I just wish I could sim to end. But the good thing about having Rodman is that... Like, let's say that you have him on a power forward or a small forward, whichever one. 
Let's say that you have him and they set a screen. He can switch everything. And being able to switch everything is a very good skill. So, yeah, he's a huge plus on defense. He has every single Hall of Fame defensive badge. And he's very good on offense, too. So, in my opinion, he's definitely worth it. But you definitely have to learn his jump shot first. Like, you definitely have to learn his jump shot. But I think he's very good. He is super fast. I know the attributes aren't eye-popping, but the badges are just amazing. The badges are pretty amazing. Great rebounder, great defender, great shooter, too. Good job, Tevin. You can use whatever cards you want. That's right, Jay the Rage. There are absolutely zero restrictions. You can use your best lineup. You can use your worst lineup. You can use whoever you want to. Zero restrictions. Just go out and make sure you win the game. <sighs> Come on, man. Got to play some better defense. I know we've only given up 22, but got to be a little better on D. Some of the shots we've given up are a little bit too easy. So I haven't taken a jump shot yet with Mark. Let's do that right now. Slightly early. I'm assuming he still has a very good three-point shot, though, but I'll get the three-point shot right eventually. If I don't get it right by the end of the stream, I'll just go in a shoot around afterwards and get it right. What's your opinion on Iguodala? I think the Warriors need him back. Now, Iguodala was a very underrated part of the Warriors championships. And I'm saying that knowing that he won a finals MVP. Oh, Rodman. Let's get it, man. But, now Iguodala, I mean, keep in mind. Before he was the guy who came in off the bench and averaged like seven points. I don't even know if it was seven. It might have been like six point something. Um, one of the best defenders of the 2000s and 2010s. Um, very good offensive player, super athletic, and a really good leader. Like, it's really good that the Heat picked him up. Like, he's a very good pickup for the Heat because I know they have a lot of good veterans, but... Hey, Andre Iguodala is a help to any young team. Jay the Rage, it is pretty easy, man. You can use your own team. And yeah, you're just playing versus the finals teams with their best players in the game. Or their best players in 2K, is what I mean. Like about to say, I know you see this. We're playing versus the 1970 New York Knicks. Now we're making it look easy. We have a almost a 50-point lead. <sighs> I should have just shot it. I should have either shot it, shot the ball, or spammed the A button. But now the clock has stopped. We have to sit through this jump ball. That's tough. It took me three and a half hours to beat the 83 Lakers. Hopefully, I don't struggle as much. Hopefully, it doesn't take me as long to beat the 83 Lakers. As you guys know, haven't lost a single game yet, so I'm hoping we don't struggle with the Lakers and the Celtics because I know they have a lot of good players. I know those teams have a lot of good players. Who do you think's the best young talent? Heat, Mavericks, and Grizzlies? I feel like the Hawks are also in the conversation, but at the same time, John Collins is a very controversial player. Like, we don't know how much money he's going to make next season. Trey Young's good, but not very good on defense. But nah, still a generational talent offensively is what he's looking like. Um, I mean, DeAndre Hunter's looking like a good supporting guy, but you want him to be a little bit more than that. I mean, Cam Reddish had a good end to the season, but... We don't know if that's the new Cam Reddish or if he just got hot. I don't know, man. Clint Capella's, we know how he's going to be. He's a pretty good center. I don't know, man. The Hawks, I'd say they have some pretty good young talent, and they're my second favorite team, so I got to say I believe in them, man. I believe in them. We are on fire shooting that three. Like, I, I seriously don't think we've missed five threes this entire game. We've been greening pretty much every single shot we've taken. Making it look easy. 82 to 24 lead? That's tough. And Joseph, you smelled it correctly. Spelled it. Did I say smelled? 
Either way, you know what I mean. Step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter. Next. Uh, one more quarter, man. One more quarter. Like I've told you guys before, it is really tough sitting through games like this. These games are not challenging at all. These games are not really tough at all. But, like, the toughest thing about these games, I'm up 82-24, man. I should be able to simulate this. I should be able to simulate to the end, man. I don't want to have to play the rest of this game. They have had no answer for us the entire game. We've hit pretty much every three we've taken. But this is good because I've finally gotten in a rhythm. Like, I'm finally getting all my players' releases right. We're on fire. We're playing very well. Maybe this is what I need. Maybe I needed a game like this to get my rhythm back because, I mean, it's not like we lost our rhythm. It's not like we lost our rhythm because we've been playing pretty well the entire game. We've been playing pretty well the entire stream, but... I had to get my shooting rhythm back because I was missing a lot of open threes. I was missing a lot of open threes earlier. Oh, man. Like, like I said, this is one of those games I just want to... I don't want to have to sit through, man. There should be a mercy rule. There should be some way to simulate through the rest of these. It's just tough having to sit here. And play through another five minutes, man. Another five minutes, for real. Um, Nico, I'm going to try to stream, man. If I don't stream, I'm going to post some videos. But yeah, about to say, I'll do my best to give you content so you don't get bored in the car. I'm going to do my absolute best for you. Man. I wish that these games were a little bit closer. I wish these games were on a higher difficulty too. About to say, my team is so OP that a lot of these games aren't going to be super challenging. About to say, so maybe I should use a worse lineup. Maybe I should downgrade my team a little bit. Maybe I should put some diamonds in there. But I don't really want to adjust my lineup since that might waste time. Not much time, but I don't know if I'm patient enough to do that when I could get the stream done a little bit faster, you know? Beautiful offense, man. Come down the court, freelance, wide open shot, man. Robin is saving me for dear life right now. Hey, man. About to say, I'm telling you guys, that Robin is a beast. That Robin's a beast. Uh, what's up, Diamondback? Welcome to the stream. Outside, Davis, trying his luck from deep. Just the shots they're taking, the way we're defending them. This is just so tough to sit through, man. So tough to sit through. <sighs> I think that was my first yawn of the stream. That's a milestone right there. What's up, Zay? Welcome to the stream, man. Man. We're making this look a little bit too easy, man. About to say, we're getting open shots every time down the court. We're getting stops on defense every single time. I can't say I'm getting tired of it, but... Actually, yeah, I can. Getting kind of tired of it. Ooh, okay, Mark. Nice throw down, Mark. Let's get it, man. Especially in these screen and roll sets. Less than two minutes away, man. Less than two minutes away from this game being over. Very good feeling. Very good feeling. After this, we have just nine games left. Only nine, man. We will be a little bit over halfway done with the stream. And I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I'm just going to hold the ball a little bit. Going to hold the ball a little bit. Let the clock run out. One second. Got to do something on my computer real quick. There we go. Let me scroll down. Okay, we're good. Oh, man. I'm telling you guys. It gets boring just having to play through these games. 
when you go up by 60 points, it just gets boring, man. It gets boring. I have to say, this game should be over, but nah. I have to play through an entire other quarter, and I mean, I'll take the win, but it gets annoying. I just wish the game could be over. Gonna hold the ball again this possession. Need to zoom in on the chat a little bit. Gonna zoom in on the chat a tiny bit so I can see it a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Perfect. What's the most you've scored on someone with Kobe? I scored 54, 23, or 33. Uh, I scored 61 on somebody sometime, and uh, last stream I scored 70 versus the Rockets. So I've scored a lot with them in the past. Pretty good. The Kobe's really good, man. The Kobe was 100% worth the grind. If you don't have Kobe, I don't blame you because the grind is just insane. But, hey, he's 100% worth it. Especially if you don't have, like, if you don't spend much money on the game. If you don't get MT for Michael Jordan and stuff like that. He's definitely worth it. I think Kobe's definitely worth that grind. I know it's, in like, uh, I know it's like an unreasonably insane grind, but... I still think it's worth it because that Kobe's very good. Good win. 98-28. 98-28. 70 point win versus the Knicks. It doesn't get much better than that. Let me change the title of the stream real quick. So it says 19 games left. And yeah, we're going to move on to the next one. On to the next one. I remember back when that song was in 2K. Good game. Good win. And hey, we're less than 10 games away now from getting Dennis Johnson. And then by the time this stream's over, we are going to be 10 games away from getting Larry Bird. It is going to be awesome. It's going to be glorious. It's just going to be beautiful, man. It's going to be a beautiful moment, but we're building up to that. We're taking baby steps. We're working our way up there. We are working our way up the ladder, working our way up the ranks. We're going to get that Larry Bird eventually. And it's going to be freaking awesome. Militant, I am loving the worm. I think he's probably the best player available. And yeah. I'll be honest, man. Just because he only has one contract, I'm going to get kind of picky. I'm going to put D-Rob back in there because he has more contracts. But we're going to try out Marc Gasol, though. Don't worry. We're going to try out Gasol sometime. Curry fan, definitely not playing Park today. Sorry. Hey, Sports247. Good job leveling up to Pro 1. Uh, Cincy, I am 19 games left, 19 games away from Larry Bird, so we're getting along pretty nicely, man. I'm a little over halfway, but you're doing a pretty good job. That means you've already played, what, 24, 25 games? So you're making some good progress. You're definitely making some good progress. I had to lean in a little bit because I didn't want to get your name wrong. So if I did, I apologize because I'm kind of tired, man. I'm not going to lie. My contacts are drying up a little bit. We've been going hard today. We have been grinding hard. We have won 11 games today. We've been playing pretty well. We have been playing pretty well today. And we're not done yet. We are not done yet. And it's Abdul Jabbar in at the five, roaming the paint. Shot clock Didn't get an open shot off that. Maybe I can get some shot clock cheese, though. Maybe I can get some cheese. Oh, I got the rebound. Good block, though. Man. I'm glad I got it right. I'm glad I got it right. I want to say I'm pretty good at getting people's names right, but sometimes I'll mess one up. Either way, welcome to the stream, Cincy. If you're new, feel free to hang around. And if you enjoy the content, maybe even subscribe. Maybe even drop a sub. That would be awesome. Uh, here we go. Game number two of the 1970s. Oh, come on, man. That was a good animation, too, but it still got blocked. <sighs> got a mismatch right here. Let me call a little ISO. I to say, I could get the blow by, but... I could also get the three. Let me go ahead and take this right here. I wanted the blow by, but then I realized the shot clock was really low down, so I had to take the three. Not off to a good start in this game, but we're going to be okay. I mean, we were so good last game that I'm sure we're going to be okay in this game. 
Last game we won by 70, so I'm sure we're going to be okay in this one. Bad release right there. Ah, terrible start to this game. Terrible start to this game, but I mean, it's versus the Bucks. And we do have some nice mismatches, so y'all know I'm really not worried about it. I'm really not worried about it. Good defense. Let's get a bucket, man. We seriously haven't gotten a bucket, and it's been almost two minutes. It's been almost two minutes, and we still haven't gotten a bucket, so let's get it right here. Arenas is wide open. Let's swing the ball around. They played some good defense right there. Uh, terrible start to this game, man. Terrible start to this game. Um, Honestly, Cincy, I think Dennis Robbins the best one. I'm really – are you serious? I'm really liking Paul Pierce. But I don't think he's better than Dennis Rodman. I, I don't. But, wow, we're off to a terrible start. If I keep on playing this bad, i got to take out my contacts, man. I have absolutely no choice. I don't want to blame this on my contacts or anything, but I'm probably going to have to take them out soon. Because they're drying up a little bit, and I seriously don't know why. Last game we were so good, but this game we're playing so bad to start things off. We're going to be okay. We're going to win. But yeah, like I was saying, Cincy, I think Dennis Robbins the best because his defense is just stellar, man. His defense is easily, like, makes him one of the best defenders in the game. Like, he has all 20 Hall of Fame badges on defense. And on offense, he's no joke either. Do you have any tips on how to play better defense? I do, but I'm off to a terrible defensive start this game. I have tips. My biggest thing is just... Well, first of all, make sure you have players like who can play defense because if you have a bunch of guys who don't have clamps, you're going to get blown by a lot. You're going to get blown by pretty much every time. So you got to make sure you have guys with clamps, but also you got to make sure you're holding up the right stick, contesting shots in the paint. you got to make sure you're holding down the left trigger. Sometimes that helps a little bit, gets you in defensive stance, helps you keep up, especially if you have clamps and... Make sure you use that turbo. Make sure that you... Man, I can't really... I can't. Get, it's so tough to explain tips because a lot of it comes down to IQ. Like, the reason I'm so good defensively in this game, I feel like, is because I played basketball in real life and I just learned so much. And in 2K, you got to make sure you play help if you get beaten off the dribble. You got to make sure you're able to switch some matchups. It, there's a lot I got to describe, but it's tough. Honestly, Cincy, I feel like the best position for Rodman is the small forward. And that's partly because, I mean, if you're on the perimeter and you get screened by a big man, you'll be able to switch pretty much everything. You're going to be able to switch every pick and roll in every scenario. You'll be able to step up and defend. And I think that's the best thing about Rodman. Rodman has a very nice jump shot. Like, he has some really good contact dunk animations, but the reason I really like him is because his defense is just stellar. His defense is some of the best in the game. And he can guard any position, man. He is super fast, so he can stick with any guard. And he has, like, Hall of Fame post-move lockdown, Hall of Fame rim protector, all the good defensive badges you need to guard big men. Not to mention, his interior defense rating is also really good. About to say... He has all the badges, but attribute ratings, they're kind of... Are you serious? Paul Pierce was wide open on the wing, but he ran to the corner, man. This game's logic is horrible sometimes, man, for real. I swear, man. This game pisses me off a little bit sometimes. But nah, we've played good defense this quarter. I mean, we're only down by two, and we have been terrible on offense so far, so we're going to be okay. Those jump shots are eventually going to fall. Yeah, there's one right there. The jump shots are eventually going to go down, but man, we're just off to a horrid start this game. But as long as we win, I'm happy. As long as we get the win, I'll be happy. <sighs> Terrible start to this game. Uh, Sean, the hardest team I've played is the 
Man, that's tough because I've won every game today pretty easily. The hardest game I played, I think, was the 2013 Heat. The Warriors were tough too, but I was able to pull away and win by like 30 and 40 both times. I think the hardest team was probably the Heat. I know this game, it looks like we're struggling, but trust me, we're going to pull away, man. Versus the Cavaliers, we were down by double digits in the first quarter, but we came back and won by 40, so... Yeah, they would have been tough, but I was able to get my defense going. We're off to a terrible start this game, but I promise you guys, we're going to come back. We just haven't been hitting any jump shots. Like, every single jump shot's missing, it feels like, so... We have a lot of good matchups. We just got to take advantage. We got to take advantage, and we got to hit open shots, because we're getting a lot of open shots. Welcome back, Mock Builds. Welcome back. And snipers, good shit, man. Keep on grinding. Ah, oh, man. We just gotta get our open shots to fall. And we're gonna come back. Okay, what the heck is that? What the heck was that? I was trying to shoot a pull-up jumper, but he shot some Eurostep BS. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what the heck happened there on offense. The defense is a little bit under... Okay, that's a terrible shot. I've been complaining about offense. That was just a really bad shot. That was my fault. But this game has been frustrating me early, man. This has been a frustrating game for some reason. And it's not even because the CPU is killing me. It's because my guys just, they're moving out of the way. They're going weird. I don't know. I don't know. We're also missing a lot of wide open jump shots, so that doesn't help. So let me lock in. Let me focus. Let me get my releases right. And we're going to pull away. And yeah, mock builds, we're at 104 likes. That is very good. You guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. 100 plus likes on consecutive streams. That's very good, so thank you guys for showing a lot of love on the stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed it because it's nowhere near over. I hope you guys are enjoying it because it's not even close to ending. After this game's done, we still have eight more games, so... You guys better hang around and watch me get this Opal Dennis Johnson. And tomorrow, we're going to get that Larry Bird, man. Tomorrow's the day. We're going to get that Larry Bird, and it's going to be glorious. It is going to be just great, like my ama would say. But yeah, also, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're subbed up. The teams head into this time out a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the Let's pull away a little bit. About to say, we got off to such a bad start in this game. Let's pull away. Let's pull away. Those steals are cheesy. I know they're like, they're easy to get versus the CPU, but hey man, we need those. We need those. We've been a lot better on defense this quarter, so... If we can just keep on bringing that same energy, we're going to be all right. 120 KMT, and you need a shooting guard. Finn's Carter would be a very good pickup, but I don't know. I feel like playing these challenges and getting that... Wait, Bird plays the three and the four. Who's a shooting guard from this? I think Paul Pierce would be a good pickup, but I feel like Vince Carter might be a little bit better than Pierce. The badges might not be as good. Some of the ratings might not be as good, but Vince Carter is definitely faster. The biggest thing about this Paul Pierce, his only problems are speed and lateral quickness. I'm trying to think of some other good shooting guards you can get. Um, you can get Cam Reddish, Diamond, from the regular Spotlight Sims. You can get, and you can get some pink Diamond shooting guards too from the new Spotlight Sims or the historic Spotlight Sims. If you're a budget player, there are a lot of good options for shooting guards, but so many of them are similar to each other, so it can be kind of hard to differentiate players from each other, but Vince Carter would be a pretty good option. I definitely think there are better guys out there, but no, Vince Carter's not trash at all. He's a pretty good player. If you want to roll with him, go ahead and roll with him. I had to say, it wouldn't be a bad decision, because he is a pretty good player, but I wouldn't be surprised if they re-released Vince Carter. I wouldn't be surprised if they gave us a new Vince Carter, because keep in mind, tomorrow we're getting a new Shaq. Tomorrow we're getting a new Kareem. 
So 2K is not really scared to re-release cards. You already have Cam. I think if you're a budget player too, I think Jonathan Isaac's pretty good. Thurl Bailey's pretty good. A lot of good options for wings. A lot of good wing player options. Ray Allen and Michael Red are some very good pink diamonds. And Michael Red has one of the best jumpers in the game. I think everyone knows that. Michael Red's jumper is nice. Like his Amethyst player, even his Amethyst has a nice jump shot. So, yeah. Michael Red's not bad. Andrew Wiggins definitely not bad. I think it's harder to find good shooting guards, though, than it is to find a good wing player. What's up, young Kaus? Just had to make sure I got that right. I didn't want to butcher your name. But what's up, Kaus? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing alright today. Hope you're staying safe, enjoying yourself. And yeah, the Spotlight Sim grind continues. Yesterday, we got... Who we got yesterday, man? We got Paul Pierce and we got Dennis Rodman. And today, we got Marcus Gasol. And we're working on Dennis Johnson right now. Eon, it is 5.14 p.m. right now for me. It is 5.14 p.m. in Alabama. Yes, that's right. I'm from Alabama. What's up, Caden Hall? Welcome to the stream, man. Man, my contacts are getting dry for some reason, man. It's not like I'm sitting here not blinking, man. I don't know why my contacts are drying out. So I might have to put on the glasses again, man. I might have to put on my glasses just like yesterday. For real. <sighs> we got a mismatch, though, so let me feed the ball to Embiid. And this should be an easy bucket for somebody. Yeah, easy bucket for Embiid. Okay, I, I lied. I guess that was not an easy bucket. Four games away from Dennis Johnson. Good job. Good grinding, man. Man. We have struggled in this game. I'm not going to lie. We have really struggled in this game, but we're still up by 17. We're still up by 17. Our defense has definitely stepped up since the first quarter, but our offense has been kind of abysmal. Ooh, that was a bad shot. I did not think Kareem was going to fly out of nowhere and contest that. What's up, Big Gamer? What's up, Gashy? Welcome to the stream, both of you guys. And thank you guys for 105 likes on the stream. You guys have killed it today, man. You guys have been super active today, liking the stream, talking in the chat. I really appreciate y'all. I'm Codeine. I'm streaming tomorrow at... And I don't know. I'm probably going to stream a little bit later in the afternoon, but we'll see. We'll see. I haven't thought that far ahead, but tomorrow's stream is not going to be as long because today, I mean, tomorrow, we're only going to have 10 games left. So tomorrow's stream is not going to be as long, but it's still going to be over a four-hour stream. It's going to be our final 10 games for Larry Bird, and they're going to be intense, man. We're getting that Larry Bird tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to need you guys to get hyped in the chat. It's going to be awesome, man. So you guys better be ready for an awesome stream tomorrow. You guys better make sure you have those notifications on so you don't miss the legendary stream where we get that Larry Bird. We're going to get him, test him out, all that good stuff. What's up, Liliana? But yeah. We'll see when tomorrow's stream is. It's probably going to be the same time as today's, but like I've said before, like I say all the time, I really haven't thought that far ahead, man. Right now, my sole priority is getting through this stream, man. Getting through this stream, gaining some new subs, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. My goal is to end the stream with 2.53K, so you guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, Sean, I don't know if the bird's better than Kobe. We're going to have to find out. But the badges are amazing. Of course, he's taller. Larry Bird always has a nice jump shot, so we're going to see if he's better than Kobe, but not sure yet. We're going to have to see when we get him, man. We're going to have to find out when we get him. Either way, they're both going to be on my team, and they're both going to be starting. Do you think everyone will be using Larry Bird? Not everyone, because keep in mind, 
It is still a 50 game grind. It is still a 50 game grind. A lot of people aren't good enough to beat the Superstar CPU 50 times, so... I do think we're going to see a lot of people with Rodman. We're going to see a lot of people with Dennis Johnson. We're going to see a lot of people with guys like Marcus Saul, but not everybody's going to have Larry Bird, I don't think. Even though Larry Bird is very good, I don't think everyone's going to have him, you know? He's going to be good. We're going to see a lot more people who have him than Kobe, but I don't know. I feel like we're not going to see him too much. But with that being said, you are going to see Larry Bird a lot more than you see Kobe. So we'll see. I'm not sure which player is better because Kobe is very good. His jump shot is automatic. He pretty much never misses. We're going to have to see. But I think that Kobe's pretty good. And the Larry Bird and the gameplays I've seen, he looks pretty good too. He looks pretty good as well. Let's get the ball to Paul Pierce. He's kind of on fire right now. He has takeover. Let's go, Pierce. I've learned his jump shot, man. His jump shot is just, it's just nice. It doesn't get much better than that. 51-26 lead. We got off to a horrible start in this game, but ever since then, we have pulled away. Shots have begun to fall on offense. We've been a lot better on defense. All those good things. All those good things. Hasn't the new content for tomorrow already been leaked? It's Showtime packs tomorrow, right? About to say, that's what I heard. I thought tomorrow's new content got leaked. About to say, I thought tomorrow we're going to get the Opal Kareem, Opal Shaq. A lot of new players like that tomorrow. I could be wrong, but I think I saw something on Instagram about that. I could be wrong. Um, Chris, I'm probably not going to try and get the GOAT Jordan. You have to have millions of MT. So, yeah, I'm not trying to get him, man. I know I could buy MT, but I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. Good defense, but Kareem still made that. Come on, man. Let's get one more bucket to end the quarter. <sighs> What's up, Hooday? I have 80K saved up for Pink Diamond LeBron. He better be a buy now. And I mean, keep in mind, that LeBron, his price is going to go down like as the day progresses, man. He's going to start out like really high, but then he's eventually going to be a buy now. He's going to go down to 90K, 80K. I mean, keep in mind, man, the demand for a pink diamond LeBron, it's not very high, man, because we already have an Opal LeBron that can play the PG. We already have a pink diamond LeBron that can play the PG, so yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see. Nico, there's no way they patched the glitch. I was to say, there's no way they patched the glitch. I can try that out right now. I think you're capping right now. Let's turn on action replays and see if they actually patch the glitch. Because there's no way to patch the home button. I was to say, that's, that's what this is. There's no way to patch the home button. So, we'll see. We'll see if, what's it called? We'll see if they actually patch the glitch. I think Nico's capping. Sean said, how do you buy MT? Uh, can you communicate with one person. You put up a card you want them to buy, and they buy it. And that's how you buy MT. Hude says, I need that LeBron. That LeBron's going to be good. Got to say, don't get me wrong. That LeBron is going to be good. So, we're going to see how good he is. And yeah. See, here's the thing. Like I said, there's not much demand for a new LeBron. And yeah, he's capping. The glitch has not been patched. So for anybody who wants to simulate through the games as fast as they can, who's on Xbox, the glitch is still active. So, yeah. Don't worry about that. About to say, there's no way to patch the home button on the Xbox, so there's no way they can fix the glitch. It's a tough reality, but there's no way they can... There's no way they can do anything about it. Since he says, you just earned a new sub. Cincy, thank you. Welcome to Doc Nation, man. I'm glad you've enjoyed the content. I'm very glad you subscribed. You guys, follow Cincy's lead if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the content. Nico, the reason you can't see the clock is because the Bucks only have a one-sided clock. 
to about to say this lead. what's your argument there about to say the ball was still in play and the clock was definitely running down even though you couldn't see it big gamer says how do you do the glitch you have to be on Xbox you have to be on Xbox so if you aren't on Xbox you can't do it so if you are on Xbox I can explain or someone else in the chat can explain everyone knows how to do it now toxic good job getting opal pierce and Sean sadly the glitch is not on Xbox I mean not on PS4 excuse me oh man I'm just waiting for this game to end we've had this conversation before chat these games get so boring I just want to make it to the end I'm just trying to just trying to get that Dennis Johnson as fast as I can I have you on Xbox and Instagram that's great how to say I haven't been posting much on Instagram lately but I'm gonna start posting again I'm gonna start posting some highlights from streams some highlights from the park and stuff yeah Eon what do you mean when do I start streaming are you talking about tomorrow because I haven't thought that far ahead I say that all the time and it's just true like I don't think super far ahead man right now I'm just trying to get through the end of this game getting through these games are so mentally taxing because the game's over and you just gotta fight through the rest of it even though it's over it is such a grind it is so boring just sitting here playing through these games I would do the glitch because I'm on Xbox but like oh my gosh I don't want to keep you guys bored I know you guys are enjoying watching the gameplay a bit so I don't want to do the glitch because that's just gonna be boring for you guys to watch I'm about to say quick through STS is probably boring for guys to watch and this if I do the glitch would be even more boring to watch and who day just explained how to do the glitch so I appreciate it so now I don't have to explain again I really do appreciate that Oh man. I'm telling you, the last quarter of these games, just. I wish I could skip it. I wish I could skip it. Gotta get the rebounds. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take out my contacts in a second because, for whatever reason, they're getting so dry. They're getting very dry, so. After this game's over, I'm probably gonna take out my contacts. Gonna take out my contacts, put on my glasses. I did the same thing yesterday. I did the exact same thing yesterday. My contacts were drying up, and yeah. If I'm gonna finish this thing strong and see your chats clearly, I'm gonna have to put on my glasses, so. I'll probably do that at some point. Either at halftime of the next game, right after this game. I'm probably gonna do it while the next game's loading in. What's up, Willie from Wii Sports? Welcome to the stream. Does the only does the glitch only do one quarter at a time? I mean, you got basketball rules apply. Basketball rules apply, so you can do the glitch until the one minute mark of the first quarter, and you can do the glitch until the two minute mark of the fourth quarter. First three quarters, the clock stops running at one minute, and fourth quarter, the stop clocks the clock stops running at two minutes. Excuse me, I didn't want to mess up that sentence any further, so that's why I had to slow down a little bit. That's why I slowed down. <sighs> so, okay. Next time we have the ball, we can just dribble out the clock. Next time we get the ball, we can just dribble it out. We don't have to worry about scoring. And that will be two games down, eight games to go for Galaxy Opal Dennis Johnson. Oh, come on, Embiid. Why did you have to foul? We're up by 41. Why did Embiid have to foul right there? It's all good, though. We're still getting the ball back. We're going to go ahead and dribble the clock out. Going to go ahead and win this game. And I'm going to go ahead and change the title so it says 18 games left because that's simply the fa fact of the matter is that's how many games we have left. Here we go. 18 games left. 
You guys should be seeing that in a second. Good win. Good 39 point win. If any of you guys watching are new to the stream, make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you're subscribed. We have 30 people in here right now. We've been averaging over 30 people this stream. And we averaged about 35, 36 yesterday, so that's pretty good. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the content. And we're going to keep things rolling today, man. We're going to keep things rolling today. I do think Opal Kobe's still worth the grind. I definitely think he is. He's like Michael Jordan. He just can't play the point guard. So that's the only tough thing. But nah, Kobe's jump shot is so smooth, so easy to green. I think Kobe's still worth the grind, but... I mean, this Larry Bird's looking really good too. And he's a lot easier to get. A lot easier to get. Like, if you really wanted to, you can get this Larry Bird in one day. But then again, you would have to play for like 20 hours straight. But yeah, Abrams, I do think Kobe's worth it because you also get Akeem. You also get Arenas. I think Kobe's 100% worth it for sure. For sure. Whew, here we go. 18 games left until we get Bird, and 8 games left until we get Dennis Johnson. So here we go. We're playing versus the Lakers again. Let's get this W, man. Let's get this W. But yeah, thank you guys for 110 likes on the stream because you guys have been killing it lately. Yesterday we got 198 total, and today we're at 111, man. That's over 300 combined on two straight streams. You guys have been killing it. I appreciate y'all. But like I said, if you're sitting there watching this stream and you haven't subscribed yet, come on, man. Don't be a fake fan. Hit that sub button. Hit that sub button. Join Doc Nation today. Uh, Chris, I don't really like Chris Mullen. In this game. Because I know you're talking about his Opal. I'm not a big fan of Chris Mullen's Opal. The jump shot's a little bit funky. I don't get many greens with him. Even though he does have very good, or what's it called? He does have very good attributes. And he has nice badges. The jump shot is just a little bit funky. The jump shot is just a little bit funky in my opinion. Not terrible, but I just can't get greens consistently with him when I don't have the meter on. I can get greens with everybody without the meter, but for some reason, I just can't get him with him. Okay, really? Kobe has Hall of Fame bailout. That's not a tough pass. It's all good, though. About to say, this team we're playing against, not really worried about them. They're really not that good. They do have Jerry West, though, and they do have Wilt, so this could be a tough game. Actually, it's not going to be a tough game. I can almost guarantee we're going to win by 40 or 50. CBT says I like Mullen better than Arenas, and I'm the other way around. I think Arenas is great. He's great on defense, super fast, can finish at the rim very well. And the biggest thing is that quick jump shot. About to say, Arenas has that cheesy quick jump shot, and I love it. He's able to create so much space despite his height. He has really good speed, and the jump shot is just, just nice. See, Jay, Jay Adams thinks that Mullen's kind of trash. See, everyone seems to have, like, mixed opinions about Chris Mullen. I don't think he's very good. About to say, Jay Adams doesn't think he's very good. I just, are you serious? Why are we having so much trouble throwing these passes? I know you guys are seeing this. That's, like, the second, like, easy pass I've tried to throw, and it's just gone out of bounds. We haven't been bad on offense, but, like, we've turned it over twice on like silly passes. I prefer Diamond Robert Covington. See, I feel like Mullen, it's just his jump shot's kind of clunky. He's not super athletic. Like I think Arenas, in my opinion, like I think he's easily the better player. Like I think Arenas is so much better, but hey, if you like Chris Mullen, I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. I don't think you're able to post links in the chat, are you? Because I know somebody who's tried to post a link before, but it didn't go through. Like, I don't know if you're able to post links in the chat, but you can try. You can definitely try. Uh, Rauno. Rauno. 
Um, Pierce is doing pretty well. I've learned his jump shot. It's pretty easy. But I, I think I prefer Rodman, man. I think I prefer Dennis Rodman because Rodman is the complete package. I gotta say, Rodman's a beast. And, yeah, he's not as quick of a shooter or as good of an offensive player as Pierce is, but Rodman has every single defensive badge in the Hall of Fame. And that's a big deal, man. He's able to switch literally everything. He can guard any player, any position. But Paul Pierce can do that versus anybody, so it's tough. It's tough. It's a tough call saying who the better player is. But personally, I like Dennis better. Galaxy Opal Mark is trash. I don't think he's that bad, but a lot of people have been saying he's good. I don't know if he's as good as people say, but I'm going to try him out later because I do have him. I haven't been playing him for real, but I do have him. And I guess we'll find out how good he is as time goes on. <sighs> Sorry guys, I had, to, I had to let that yawn out. I had no choice. Now see, Sean says I got Rodman and his jump shot is good. I completely agree. Bad to say, it's not like super duper fast. Like Paul Pierce's shot is easily faster. Oh man, I thought he was going to be out of bounds for a second. Arenas was wide open in the corner. But for a second, I thought that was going to be a turnover. Thankfully, it wasn't. We're in the lead 16-7. to We're making it look pretty easy so far. Yeah, this is going to be another easy win. I told you guys. I told you guys. The hardest thing about these games is just, like, getting to the end because we're going to have a big lead, but the bigger the lead gets, the less engaged I get, man. Like, the less I actually care about playing well. Y'all know what I mean? I know you guys kind of understand me. Daniel, I think Paul Pierce is great. Now, his speed is a little bit of, of a concern on defense, but offensively, I think Pierce is very good. His defense isn't horrible, but I feel like it could be, it could be better, you know? I feel like it could be better. He's slow AF and can't dribble and move well for 88 ball control. Are you talking about, what's it called? Are you talking about Marc Gasol? Because earlier I was actually like doing some nice dribble moves with him in the game, I think. Yeah, in the very first game I played of the 1970s. Eon, I don't see a link. I'm being real with you. I don't see a link. Plus I follow a guy on Instagram who posts all the locker codes really fast. So, about to say. Whatever link it is, if it's a link to like the My Team database or something, I don't really need it. Oh, nice. Nice ball movement, nice layup. Pretty good first quarter. Not the best defense, but we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Good quarter. It's not over yet, though. Got to get this stop on defense. We could get one more shot. Got Paul Pierce at the buzzer. Oh, no. Okay, the reason I said oh no is because it didn't let me release the shot, but that was still nice. That was still nice. I'm not going to lie. Paul Pierce is pretty good. We got 35 people in here again, man. Hope all you guys are enjoying yourselves. Hope all you guys are staying safe. You guys make sure you're subscribed if you're enjoying the content, but if not, hang around and see if you enjoy it. I've been having a lot of fun today talking to you guys in the chat. Going for these new Opal players, going for Bird, going for McHale, all those guys. I don't have McHale yet, but we do have Pierce, we do have Mark Gasol, we do have Dennis Rodman. And right now, we're going for Dennis Johnson. I know I'm not the only person in here right now grinding for these Opals. I know that a lot of other people have gotten the Opals before me. But hey, these streams have been fun. They're a good chance for me to talk to y'all. A lot of fun to play. Martin, I haven't seen the new trailer yet, but gonna check it out later. About to say, I've been 100% about this grind. 100%. 110% about this grind, so even though the PlayStation reveal happened earlier, I didn't watch it, man. I had to continue playing, but don't worry. I'm gonna watch it later. I heard it's, like, really good, man. 
about to say, y'all have been talking about the new Spider-Man game. Y'all have been talking about the graphics for 2K21. So, I'm going to check all that stuff out. I'm going to check out all of it. I'm going to formulate my opinion on it. And even though I heard it's going to be good, it's tough because the Xbox apparently is supposed to be like the most powerful console ever. But, I don't know, man. I really want to play Spider-Man. I really want to... I don't know. I really don't know. Because I've been an Xbox 360 guy. I've had the Xbox One for so many years, man. I don't know. I don't know if I want to abandon Xbox when the Series X looks like it's going to be so good. But I don't know because I do kind of want to get on the PlayStation wagon, man. I kind of want to hop on the PlayStation bandwagon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're going to have to see. I haven't thought that far ahead because the consoles don't come out for a while. But man, I'm seriously looking forward to next-gen systems. Whichever one I get, man. Whichever one I get. Whether it's the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5. Man, I'm excited for these new consoles, man. Now, if there was cross-play... If there was cross-play for games like 2K, I don't think a console war would really be that big of a deal. If they just got cross-play going for 2K, like they did for Modern Warfare, for Fortnite, for games like that, we'd be alright. We'd be okay. I could play versus any of you guys in the park whenever. I can play with you guys in the park whenever. Crossplay would be a big deal, man. Crossplay would be amazing. The teaser was epic. I'm looking forward to watching it, man. I'm looking forward to watching it, man. Martin, gotta get some sleep. Hey, sounds good, man. I know it's really late at night over there in Estonia, so... Hey, I appreciate you for coming by. I'm glad you've enjoyed the stream. I'll check your DM on Instagram. You have a good night, my brother. I'll see you. Do you know why players with the same speed move slow and some move fast? Uh, I mean... Wait, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? Are you talking about with the ball or without the ball? Are you talking about with or without it? But yeah. Eon, I had a feeling the link wasn't going to show up. So that's why I said you can send it if you want to, but... Yeah, I didn't think... Yeah, I don't know. I was pretty sure it wouldn't send. Because someone has tried sending a link before. I vividly remember. I, I just couldn't see it. I should have taken the three. Gashi says it's 8.40 a.m. in Victoria, Australia. About to say, this is kind of random. I usually say this a little bit every stream, but to my guys watching who aren't in the United States, I really do appreciate you, man, because for some of you, it's really early in the morning. It's really late at night. It, I know it's like time zones are weird, but I appreciate you guys for tuning into my stream no matter where you are, no matter what time it is. I appreciate y'all, man. I am on Xbox, yes. Kobe doesn't miss. I wish that was a three, though. I wish that was a three. We've made so many deep twos this game. We gotta shoot more threes. Like, I feel like I've made more deep twos this game than I've made threes. That's that's not an understatement, man. Or not an overstatement. Like, we've made way too many deep twos. We gotta shoot more threes. But yes, I'm an Xbox man. Good defense. Are you serious? 100% smothered over Kobe? Come on, man. Let's answer back, though. Young Kaus is from Sydney. SWC? I am from the South. I am from the South. I live in Alabama. I'm half Malaysian, though, so I'm not all about dating my cousin like that. But nah, for real. For real. It's cool that you're from the South, too. Are you from Alabama? Because I do have a lot of subs from Alabama who enjoy my content. To be fair, it's because I'm from here, but still. Ah, uh, I thought I had enough space to green that. I thought I did. Especially since I had takeover. Bad transition defense, but it's no big deal. <sighs> Not a bad first half. Ooh, that's a bad double team. Y'all know Pierce doesn't... Okay, yeah, he does. I was going to say Pierce doesn't miss, but he misses one every now and then. He'll miss one every now and then. 
Damn it, man. And now they're within 31 points. Why was he celebrating right there? Y'all were down by 30. Ah, that would have been nice. We're still up by 31, though. I mean, still a pretty good first half. We'll take it. And yeah, once this second half is over, we will be seven games away from our fourth Opal player. That's pretty damn good right there. We've been pretty good in this game. Let's keep it up. Let's get this win. Let's get that Opal Dennis Johnson. But yeah, Arkansas. I've never been to Arkansas, man. About to say. I've been to a bunch of different states, but never Arkansas. Sean Stewart says I'm from Arkansas, too. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Let's get a bucket, man. We could go at... I had to say, we could take that matchup every single time. Hakeem has a mismatch every time down the court. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be an ugly yawn, so that's why I did that. Oh, man. Not going to lie to you guys. I think I am getting a little bit sleepy. I got some really good rest last night, but man, I'm still kind of tired for real. I can't explain why. I can't give you guys an explanation because I got some good sleep last night, but man, I'm kind of sleepy. But I promise you guys, don't be alarmed. I'm going to make it to the end of the stream. I'm going to get that fourth Opal player, just like I said. You guys don't have to be concerned, man. I'm still feeling good. Still feeling good. Live stacks from Baltimore. Eon is from Dublin. It's always cool seeing guys from different countries in the chat, man. It's always cool seeing guys from different countries, man. It reminds me, not everybody who watches me is in this country. It's, it's pretty dope, man. It's pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. SWC says I'm watching while grinding. I'm 32 games away. Have you been in here before, or are you new? Just wondering, just asking for a friend. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, man, if you're enjoying the content. If you like the way I commentate, or like the way I play the game, or something like that, make sure you're subbed. I'm trying to hit 2.53 thousand by the end of the stream. That would be a big achievement. That would be big right there. We hit 2.5 yesterday, so yeah. Channel's been doing a great job growing. It's been a lot of fun playing the game, talking to you guys too. The grind has been fun. It's been tough. I mean, that's why they call it a grind. It's not supposed to be easy. It's been fun. It's been fun for sure. SWC. I'm glad you love watching the streams while grinding. And I think you've come to the right place. A lot of people who come to the streams say, they just enjoy hearing me talk during the streams, man. Brandorito says I got 22 games left, but I'm going to try to get them tonight. Hey, man, that might be tough, but you can do it. The only reason I'm not getting Kobe tonight is because I got to do some homework after this. I have something to do tomorrow, and I haven't even started on it, so yeah, I'm going to have to get it done after this. Hey, though, SWC, I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. And yeah, feel free to hang around, continue enjoying the content. So yeah, I have homework I gotta do. So that's one reason why I'm not doing this Larry Bird thing tonight, but I mean, keep in mind, I'm still giving you guys a nine hour live stream, and you guys are still gonna be getting some content tomorrow. I'm still giving you guys some content tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. You guys better be ready for it, man. Tomorrow, we're gonna get Larry Bird, and the day after, we're going to be playing some triple threat offline with him. And we're going to try to open the vault, man. I really want one of those new Opals, the Lenny Wilkins and the, the Tom Heinsohn. I really wouldn't mind getting one of those new Opals, so you guys tune in today. Make sure you have notifications on so you can tune in tomorrow. And yeah, we're going to get Larry Bird tomorrow, so tomorrow is the big stream. It's going to be a four or five hour stream. And we're going to get that Larry Bird, and it's going to be freaking awesome. Just saying. Just saying. Prodigy Mo has 18 games left, too. 
Yeah, once this game's over, 17 games. He's off on the first. William Carter. Nico, I mean, versus the old teams, it's not really nerfed. You just got to keep count of when the clock starts and stops. So all you have to do is turn on a timer on your phone. Just because you can't see the clock doesn't mean it's nerfed. Just because you can't see the clock doesn't mean the glitch is nerfed. So keep count on your phone or something, man. Good screen by Kobe. We have 78 points in less than 15 minutes of playing. That's crazy. That is crazy. About to say, we've been hitting pretty much every jump shot this game. Paul Pierce has been good. Kobe's been good. Arenas has been good. We have been on fire. Uh, what is the longest stream I've done? Uh, definitely my stream from yesterday. Definitely yesterday's stream. It was nine hours long. Nine hours and 25 minutes to be exact. Or nine hours and 20, I can't remember. It was almost nine and a half hours. So yeah. I got Johnson and McHale left. Me too. I'm saving Kevin McHale for tomorrow because he's a very iconic figure in my channel's history. I've said this a lot today, but my Kevin McHale video from 2K19 was probably my first big video in my channel's history. So, yeah, Kevin McHale's an iconic figure, and we're going to get him tomorrow, and we're also going to get Larry Bird. And yes, this Paul Pierce shoots the lights out. I don't think I've missed this game with Pierce, man. I seriously don't think I have. I've almost mastered his jump shot. Joseph, I am really grinding, man. The grind doesn't end. The grind doesn't stop. The grind continues. We've been going at it today. We're going to make sure we have Dennis Johnson at the end of the stream. And tomorrow, another long stream, but not as long since we're only playing 10 games. We're going to get that Larry Bird, and it is going to be glorious, man. It's going to be amazing. Hey, though, we are one like away from 115. You guys make sure you've left a like for me if you haven't already. And of course, if any of you guys are watching this and you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? If you're enjoying the content, make sure you're subbed up. Nice block by Embiid. Nice block by Joel Embiid. <sighs> like I said earlier, I get myself in this position every single game. I wish this game could just be over, man. I wish we could simulate because we're up by 47. They're not coming back. This is a win right here, man. There's no way they're coming back. But 2K makes me sit through another four and a half minutes of playing this garbage team. No offense to them. I mean, this team was pretty good. They did win the 1972 finals, but come on. In 2K, they suck. Good shot, Paul Pierce. I'm telling you guys, on offense, Paul Pierce is probably better than Rodman, but defensively, Rodman, like, Paul Pierce literally can't even touch Rodman. Like, it's not even close. Not even close. What's up, 95L? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Hope you're doing all right today. Hope you're staying safe. I know you've been grinding. I know you've been grinding this 2K. So how's it been going? I should have taken the three with Pierce. I still can. Knock that down, Paul. <sighs> I mean, even the best players miss. And even the best teams lose. Even the best teams lose. What's up, yo boy, Lank? Welcome to the stream. <sighs> I can't wait till this game's over, man. I cannot wait till this game's over. These games are just... They're such a grind, man. I don't know what's tougher. I don't know what is tougher. Actually, I do know what's tougher. The toughest thing is having to play through every single game, even when you're up by 100. Paul Pierce! The truth! And CBT, you're right. Rodman would clamp up Pierce, but on offense, Pierce is better. On offense, Pierce is definitely better. Like, it's not even close, but yeah. Rodman on defense is just unbelievable. 
Like, Robin on defense is pretty amazing. Like, he can switch onto anybody and lock them up. He has every single defensive badge on Hall of Fame. He is 6'7". He is super fast. So no matter who he guards, he's going to be able to lock him up no matter what. And again, Charlotte with the 101 points in less than 18 minutes. This Lakers team is just bad. And I think it was Liv Stack who said the 95, I mean the 1975 Warriors are bad too. That's tough, man. Very tough. We've been really good on defense this game, but we've also been beasting on offense, man. Paul Pierce and Kobe have been carrying on offense. Oh yeah, Paul Pierce. How do you miss that with takeover, Paul? Come on, truth. I'm going to shoot it again. Back-to-back -back misses. Come on, man. 95L says I finished Rodman and Mark, and I'm 4 for 10 for Kevin McHale. I've heard someone say that low-key, Kevin McHale might be the best one. Like, Kevin McHale, apparently Dino Raja was based off Kevin McHale, and McHale has better range, he's an opal, he has some better stats, better badges, so... I've heard someone say that. Of course, I'm not gonna know until I actually get McHale, but like... If Mikhail is actually that good, I'm probably going to have to put him on my team. Gotta say, my team is very selective, but Mikhail might just make it onto the roster. If not for being like one of the biggest icons in my channel's history, possibly for being a really good power forward. 95L says Kevin Mikhail is a beast. And like I said, I've heard some people say that. We're going to have to find out if it's true. Because you never know. You never know. It might be true, might not be. You're not going to know till you get him. And what I mean by that is that some people in the chat are saying, Marc Gasol is a beast, but some people think he sucks. You know? Like, your opinion of guy is probably different than someone else's opinion, so we're not going to know until, I, until we get Kevin McHale if he's actually a beast, because... Some people say he is, some people say he isn't, some people say that Marcus Saul is really good, but some people say he isn't, so we're going to have to find out when we get him, but I think Pierce and Rodman are great, some people don't, some people do, but hey, that doesn't matter because I like them, I think they're pretty good players, and yeah, right now we're going for Dennis Johnson. We have ourselves Paul Pierce, we have the Dennis Rodman, we have Marcus Saul, and right now. The grind for Dennis Johnson continues. And we're up to 40 viewers in here, man. 40 viewers in the chat. I hope you guys are doing awesome today. If any of you guys are new, feel free to hang around and enjoy the content. For real. Nintendo Land says bronze over opals. I could, You can make an argument for bronze players over opals. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. I think this is a good argument right here. If you have an all opal team... Chances are, you're going to get matched up with another all Opal team, which is tough. But, if you have an Opal starting lineup and a bunch of bronzes on your bench instead of more Opals, you're probably going to get matched up with some bad teams of like Emeralds, Sapphires, Rubies. So in that aspect, you would rather have bronzes on your bench than Opals. About to say, I have an all Opal team. I do not do the glitch. So I have to play versus Opals every single game. Opals and Pink Diamonds. So you could make an argument, Nintendo Land, for Bronzes over Opals. And I think that's a good starting point for your argument. JD, I'm going to stream Triple Threat Offline on Saturday. I'm going to be playing with Larry Bird. And I'm going to be trying to get those new Opals out the vault, man. I'm going to try to get some of those new Opals out of the vault. I really want that Tom Heinsohn, but... I wouldn't mind the Lenny Wilkins either. I wouldn't mind Lenny Wilkins either. So, Triple Threat Offline stream on Saturday. And like I said, you guys make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss it. We have a huge stream coming tomorrow night. And we got a huge stream coming on Saturday night. You guys hang around and keep on enjoying the stream. We got 36 people in here right now. Yeah. Feel free to talk to me in the chat. 
whenever you want to. I try to respond to most of you. I try to respond to everybody I can. I did not see the 2K21 trailer, but I heard it was amazing. That's what you guys described it as. You guys said the graphics were awesome. It's going to be coming out in the fall. I'm going to have to see it for myself, but you guys have been saying some really good things about it. I have not seen it yet, but I have heard it was pretty great. I have heard it was actually amazing. Are they going to double team? I don't think so. Yeah, they aren't double teaming. Let's just pick and pop. About to say, I think they're going to drop. Oh, yeah. Beautiful basketball right there. Gilbert Arenas. Nintendo Land said the net looks real. Hey, man. I'm going to check out that trailer. You guys were talking about how realistic it looked. Y'all were talking about how good it looked. Man, I'm excited for these next-gen consoles. I'm super excited for these next-gen consoles. I know y'all are, too. There's a lot I'm excited for. I'm excited for the NBA to return. I'm excited for the next-gen consoles. I'm low-key already looking forward to 2K21 just because 2K20 has kind of been an up-and-down year, man. Mostly down. This game has easily, like, not been as good as 2K19. Definitely better than 2K18, in my opinion, but still, this has been an L year for 2K, man. It's been, it's been an L for 2K, man. I don't think anybody can deny that. It's been a rough year for 2K, so, hey, maybe with next gen, they can bounce back. And, hey, you never know. With this next gen technology, maybe NBA Live is even going to make a little comeback, man. Maybe NBA Live is going to make a solid comeback. They did say they're putting all their resources into their next gen games. So maybe NBA Live is going to step in and take advantage if 2K slips up one more time. Because 2K18 was bad. 2K19, they did a good job recovering, but 2K20, it just hasn't been all that good, man. Hasn't been all that good. Man, they're playing some good defense. And to be fair, I've been very bad on offense. I'm two games away from McHale. Hey, keep on grinding, man. Good work. What's up, Aiden Power? Welcome to the stream. Let me lob it up to Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was insane last game, so we need to get him going this game, too. But yeah, Aiden Power, what's good, man? This is game number four of the 1970s. After we win this game, we will be six wins away from Dennis Johnson and 16 away from Larry Bird. I wouldn't say 2K20 is good. I will say this, though. I can see how they tried to make it more realistic. For example, 2K knew that shooting was overpowered in 2K19. So they turned the sliders down, and they basically made it to the point where if you don't green, it's not going to go in, which kind of sucks. And at the same time, they also made, like, badges way too, like, let's say that last year making shots was like, let's say it determined on badge, it was like determined 50% by badges and 50% by attributes. This year... You can have a 99 everything, but you're not going to make any shots because you don't have any badges. Like, you can be 99 everything and have no badges and absolutely suck. Like, if you have an 80 and you have all the badges, you're going to be okay because you're going to have halt, you're going to have green machine, you're going to have quick draw, you're going to have all the important badges, range, range extender, everything. But, yeah, if you're a 99 with no badges, that sucks. And it shouldn't be that way, but at the same time, I do kind of like the badge system. So I can't be super mad about it, but hey, hopefully they make it next year so it's not as reliant on badges, and you can actually be good, like more based on your attributes, you know? Hey, so we have 2.53k subs now. That's pretty good. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to this stream. 
Thank you to everybody who subscribed yesterday too because we did have a lot of new viewers come in yesterday. Gained a lot of new subs yesterday. So nah, thank you to all my new subs. You guys make sure to subscribe. I told you guys my goal was to hit 2.53 by the end of the stream. Hey, maybe we can hit 2.54. About to say, I don't think that's too crazy. You guys have been on fire today. I wouldn't be surprised if y'all can do that too. I would not be surprised if y'all could do that, man. 2.53 is big, though. Of course, yesterday we hit 2.5, so, hey, maybe soon we're going to hit 2.6 as well. If I just keep up the streams, keep up the grind, and keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Oh, man. Yeah, my contacts are getting a little bit dry, man. My contacts are getting a little bit dry. So I'm going to have to put on my glasses soon if y'all are cool with that. I'm going to have to put on those glasses soon like I did yesterday. Oh, man. Glasses, Doc, for the second consecutive stream. I didn't think I'd ever see the day I wore my glasses on stream, but I had to wear them yesterday because my eyes and contacts were getting dry and... I'm going to have to wear him again today. Good defense, better offense. Live stack. I'm glad you're going to be here till the stream ends. Same to you, Anthony Morgan. I'm glad both of you guys are going to be here. Y'all are going to be here when I get the big achievement. Y'all are going to be here when I get that Galaxy Opal Dennis Johnson. It's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be awesome. I'm already ready for that. I wish these games would go by a little bit faster, but hey, like I've said before, I enjoy the grind. It's fun. I enjoy talking to you guys during the games, and for what it is, these games are decent practice. These games are decent practice. No, they're not going to prepare you for like running into guys who zigzag the entire game and all that little cheesy crap, but they will help you out with your fundamental defense, switching pick and rolls playing help defense in the paint, trying to bait passes, all the little things, the little boring things that you have to do to win. It will help you out with that. But nah, the worst thing is definitely having to play an entire other quarter when you have a 50-point lead at the end of three quarters. That's probably the worst thing. What's up, wet like water? Haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're doing all right. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the stream, my man. We are killing it this game. We're in the lead 31-15. These teams in the 1970s are easily the easiest teams to play. Not even close. We have been destroying these teams. I wouldn't say we've making it I wouldn't say that we've been making it look super easy, but like we've been playing very well. We've won every game by 50 or more. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. What's up, Cloud? This stream is popping. This stream is going off. We're about to hit 120 likes, so that's big right there. That is big. About to say, I know you guys have been enjoying the stream. I know I've been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. What's up, Willie Nelson? Uh, Wet Like Water, I will not be streaming all day. But with that being said, we this stream is going to go on for another three hours. This is going to be a long stream, so... You guys stay tuned. You guys stay tuned. But yeah, Willie Nelson, what like water? Cloud, hope you guys are doing all right, man. Three awesome subs right there. Willie Nelson says Kevin McHale's a beast. That's what I've heard. And OGs of the channel, they know about that Kevin McHale video I posted last year. Y'all know. Kevin McHale is a big figure in my channel's history, man. Y'all know Kevin McHale is an iconic name, so I'm saving the McHale for last, so tomorrow we're going to get the McHale and the bird together, and it's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. But yeah, thank you guys for 120 likes on the stream. This stream is popping, man. Cloud said the nine-hour stream was good. Well, hey, this is going to be another nine-hour stream. Another nine-hour stream, man. <sighs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed the stream yesterday. 
And I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the stream today, too. Jonas says, Yo, what did I miss? I did not sleep 24 hours. About to say, if you're a, if you're a 2K player, you missed a lot of new content. And there's more content coming tomorrow, so... Yeah. Nintendo Land says, You get a lot of MT from this. You get over 200 tokens as well. You get a lot of MT... And you get a lot of tokens. So it's pretty good. If you need MT, if you need tokens, this is this is what you gotta do. Play through these challenges, get these wins, get the new opals, and get yourself a lot of MT in the process. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. That should not have gone in. Late release. Sports 24-7 says, what years left? We're doing the 70s right now. And once we finish the 70s, Tomorrow, we're going to be doing the 80s. Right now, we're playing the 1973 New York Knicks. I'm a Knicks fan, and this is our most recent championship, so... Yeah, it's tough. Kind of sad, but... I gotta face reality, man. I gotta face the facts. Oh, come on, pass the ball. Dennis Rodman, man. That Dennis Rodman three-pointer is... Kind of deadly. Kind of deadly. Let's go, Kobe. Uh, so just like that, it was like, what, 33-20? And we're on a nice little run to take a 22-point lead. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Good defense. Good defense, man. Let's get one more shot to end the half. Let's get one more buck. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, God. The lane was wide open. Why didn't Dennis keep running? Oh, we're good. We're still up 22. And after this game's over, six games left. Uh, wet like water, honestly, the first two were not hard. These games have been pretty easy so far. My smallest wins by like 30. So, yeah, as long as you just lock in, which I have not really done. I've been talking to y'all the whole time. As long as you just lock in, sit back, and just grind it out. You're going to be okay. Make sure you play good defense, run the fast break. All the little boring things you have to do to win. What's up, Weirdy? Welcome to the stream, man. I would say you're late, but there's like three hours of content left, so you're not really late. Well, you're late, but it's not like the stream's over or anything. Know what I mean? Anthony Morgan says, what's up, Weirdo? Got the last letter wrong, but, eh, weird he is kind of weird. Pretty dope, though. Pretty cool dude. Good shot, Kobe. <sighs> like I told you guys before, like I've been saying every single game, this is the point where the game gets boring, man. I know we're up 27, but I guarantee you guys we're going to be up by 50 by the end of this game. They just don't have an answer for a single matchup. We're just getting easy buckets every time down the court. There's really nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they could do about it. Hey, Weirdy, that's okay. I'm glad you're here now. Sean, I'm glad you think I'm the best streamer, man. I'm glad you think that. Hopefully some of you guys agree, but... Hey, man, I have a lot of fun doing this. I have a lot of fun talking to y'all. I even have fun playing the game, and this is a pretty bad game, but hey, with the way that y'all said that 2K21 trailer looked, NBA 2K21 is going to be a lot better. Hey, Willie Nelson, you're right on track with that. Doc Nation's growing stronger every single day, gaining new subs, getting a bunch of likes on the streams, and the biggest thing is that I'm having fun with it, man. I know 2K is not the best game, but I'm having a lot of fun playing. Having a lot of fun playing the game, talking to y'all. And yeah, this stream's been a lot of fun. Tomorrow's going to be the best one yet. Because tomorrow we're getting Larry Bird. And yeah, Nintendo Land, I'm glad you're thinking this is a fun stream too. Especially since I've never seen you talk in the chat. I think you're new, but I'm glad, I'm glad you're here, man. Whether you're new or not, glad you're in here. Oh, man. 95L, Rodman is a demon. He's amazing on defense, but that jump shot he has changes everything. 
the fact that he can, that he can shoot the lights out changes everything. So he's an amazing defender, but the offense is just as polarizing. The offense is amazing. So Nintendo Land is new. Well, Nintendo Land is never too late to jump on the Doc Nation wagon, man. It's never too late to jump on. About to say, I got some OGs in here, but I also have some new subscribers in here, man. A lot of people in here actually subscribed yesterday. Yesterday, I streamed the first 20 games of this, and today, I'm streaming the next 20. So, yeah, today's stream is a continuation of yesterday's stream, and it has been awesome so far, man. It has been pretty awesome so far. You know what? I forgot to make subs. I always forget to make subs. Robin's open again. And whenever Robin is open, that three-pointer is just automatic. He is not going to miss when he's open from deep. He can also create his own shot a little bit. He can actually speed boost. He can make some nice moves with the ball. He has Hall of Fame quick first step. But like I've said before, the biggest thing is that he's amazing on defense. I pulled Galaxy Opal Embiid an hour ago. Hey, Opal Embiid is honestly one of the best big men in the game, in my opinion. I was thinking about selling him, but he is like the smoothest shooting big man there is. He can speed boost. He's great on defense. He can move so fast. That's the best thing about him, so I agree with you. Well, I don't actually... Yeah, you didn't even say anything about Embiid. But that is a very good pull. That's a very good pull. I don't know why I was saying I agree with you. I was about to say, you didn't even say anything about him, but he is very good. And Embiid is a beast. You should probably sell him, though. But with all these new little... With all of the new stuff coming out tomorrow, you might want to sell Embiid because he is losing value as the, day go on, as the days go on. CP the Doc Fan. I have not seen the teaser yet, but I promise you guys I'm going to see it. I promise you guys I'm going to check it out. You guys are talking about how awesome it looks. I'm going to check it out soon, though. But what's up, CP the Doc fan? I'm going to check it out, man. I promise you guys. I'm going to check out that trailer, like, right after this stream's over. I'm going to check it out for y'all. I'm going to check it out for y'all. And you guys are talking about how awesome it is? I'm going to check it out, guys. I promise y'all. But yeah, we're up 41, man. I wish this game could just end now. I wish I could simulate to the end. I wish as an award for building a 40-point lead that the game could just end. I wish I could simulate, man, but got to play an entire another quarter, man. It's crazy. Puff, that's not a bad pull, but yeah, nobody really cares about Galaxy Opal Steve Nash. Embiid, though, now that's a really good pull. That's a really good pull. About to say, it's cool that you, that you got Steve Nash. You can still sell him for a lot on the auction house, but, man, at this point in the year, small point guards, they aren't very popular, man. Pretty much every new Opal point guard is going for buy now, and the ones who aren't buy now are the Magic Johnsons, the... Tracy McGrady's, LeBron James, Giannis, the big point guards, man. Of course, there are still some very good smaller point guards, but notice how Jason Kidd, Galaxy Opal, by now, Jeremy Lin, Chauncey Billups, all these Opal point guards just aren't going for much on the auction house. So even though they're good, even though they have good stats, it's just tough how many of the good point guards have lost their value, man. That's the Yakim is actually pretty good for a pretty low price too, so if you want to get that Siakam, it's not gonna take you much MT. I think earlier you said you had 80k, so that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, Phil Jackson's in the game. That was him who just shot that jump shot. Kinda ugly jump shot, but hey. Phil's like the best coach ever, so I don't think he really cares about having an ugly jump shot. Oh, man. I'm just ready for this game to end. You guys know this. I'm just ready for this game to come to an end. We're about to go up by 50. And, man, y'all know 
I, I'm just not worried about the rest of this game. I wish I could simulate. I wish there was a way for that to happen, but sadly there's not. Steve Nash is actually good because he has Giant Slayer and an all right driving dunk. I actually saw a clip of Steve Nash dunking on somebody. Galaxy Opal Steve Nash. I think the reason why Steve Nash gets a bad rap is because his pink diamond card was really bad. I think that's the reason why he gets a bad rap. Codeine, I'm also exhausted, but I'm not stopping until this stream is over. Yesterday, you guys were talking about how I have Mamba mentality. It's a combination of Mamba and Rocky mentality. And yes, that 83% three-pointer just went in. You must be joking with me. Ah, <sighs> man. CP the Doc fan says, Doc, I grinded through the night and got Marcus All, Paul Pierce, Rodman, and Kevin McHale. That's a pretty good grind right there. That's a pretty good grind. Pascal or Rodman? I mean, Rodman's free. And I think Rodman is the better player because... See, Siakam can't switch on every single position like Rodman can. But Siakam probably moves faster with the basketball. Both of them can speed boost. I gotta go Rodman personally, but I mean, Siakam's not too bad either. Hey man, how much did you do already? So I already have um, Rodman, Marcus Gasol, and who's the last one? Who the heck's the last one? Paul Pierce. I already have three of the Opals right now. This is game four going for Dennis Johnson. If we win this game, we are six wins away from Dennis Johnson. So, yeah, after this game's left, or after this game's done, we will have 16 games until Larry Bird. Not too bad. Not too bad. Also, we are one like away from lucky number 125 on the stream. You guys make sure to leave a like if you haven't already because you guys have been killing the like game in these last two streams. Yesterday we got almost 200. Today, man, well over 100 likes. You guys have been killing it. I really appreciate it. And Puff, the new cards are coming out tomorrow. Yes, the new cards will be coming out tomorrow. I'm looking forward to them, man. I'm looking forward to them. The market might crash, but who cares about the market crash, man? All that matters are these new cards. Oh, man, I'm tired. But like I told you guys, I am not ending the stream until we get this Dennis Johnson. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a shorter stream. We are going to play the last 10 games for Larry Bird. It's going to be amazing. And then on Saturday, Larry Bird triple threat stream. Ice, I think that Rodman's better. It's your decision because you got to get both of them anyway, but I think Rodman's definitely the better player. Like I was saying earlier, everybody's having different opinions, and that's why I always say it's all about feel, man. A player can have really good attributes, really good stats, all that stuff, but you just might not enjoy using them, you know? So it's, it really all comes down to personal preference. All comes down to personal preference. At the end of the day, it depends on which card you prefer using, which player you prefer playing with. And for me, I think that Rodman is easily better than Mark. But there are a lot of guys saying they like Mark's jump shot, they like his dribble moves, they like his defense, all that other stuff. So, again, it comes down to personal preference, but at the end of the day, I gotta go Rodman just because he can switch on any position. He's 6'7", great defender, and really good shooting, too. Really good shooting, too. You guys, pardon me for a second. I gotta put, I gotta put my glasses on, man. Actually, I'll put my glasses on while I'm loading into the next game. My eyes are getting a little bit tired. Contacts are drying up a little bit. So I gotta get my glasses on for this next game. That was an aggressive yawn. 16 games left, guys. 16 games left. Ice, I think you're doing the right thing. I know a lot of you guys like Marcus Saul. I just, I just think Dennis Rodman's easily the better player, man. If we win this game, we get Pink Diamond Willis Reed. And while we're loading in, 
I'm going to get my glasses on because my contacts are drying up. So give me like literally like 20 seconds. I'll be right back. Oh shit. I tripped over my own mic. Let me fix that right quick. That scared me. Thank God it didn't break. How can I fix that real quick? Okay, there we go. There we go. We should be good. That was a... Ooh, that was tough right there. I tripped over my mic. I'll be right back. That feels so much better, man. Feels so much better. My eyes aren't hurting anymore. And I can see the chat so much more clearly, so we're back. We're gonna get this win. The grind continues. The grind continues, except this time I have glasses on. So here we go. Game number five of the 1970s. Going in. Braden Fox. Thank you. Superstar 1 was not easy, but we did it. I plugged away, grinded away, and I'm not really a park player. So, for a lot of you guys watching this who play park, y'all might be like, Superstar 1? That's not even a big deal, but not nah, for me. Like, I never play park. I have a really good winning percentage, but nah, I never play park, so I've been grinding towards this. I've been plugging away at it. I really do appreciate you, Brayden Fox. And yeah. Logan says, anybody have an extra account? I got scammed. That's tough. I don't have an extra account. I'm sorry about that scamming, though. Too many scammers in the 2K community, man. Maybe, let, me, let me adjust this mic real quick. Let me adjust this right quick. I think that's good. I think it was, like, right here. Okay, just making sure. How to say. I tripped over it a second ago when I was heading to put on my glasses, so I just gotta make sure it's in a good spot. I might have to adjust it one more time, but I think it's good. I think it's good the way it is right now. You guys should be able to see it just fine. Yeah, whatever. About to say, I don't know if you guys really care about the mic placement. Uh, Pablo. I think Chris Bosch is very good, but I sold him because I saw his price going back up. And I think the market's going to crash tomorrow, so I sold him earlier this week. I do think Bosch is very good, but I had to sell him, man. I had to sell him. Fun fact. Bill Russell was the coach of the Celtics team. Just a fun fact for you guys. But nah, Chris Bosch, I think defensively, is amazing. Offensively, his jump shot is super easy. A little bit awkward, but... Once you get it down, you'll make it every time. Chris Bosch is a great player. I would have kept him, but like his price was at like a hundred, like just over a hundred thousand. But all of a sudden, his value was going up, man. Like his price was going up really high, and I was like, okay, okay. All of a sudden, he was like well over two hundred thousand. So I went with Chris Bosch. A ninety-five L. I don't think Taco's better. Now, Taco's not bad, but his movement's a little bit slow. I feel like Taco's a little bit too slow. I like him, but being fast is being fast is important. Should I sell Opal Giannis and lock in for Kareem? I want to say you'd have... I don't know if you'd have enough. I know that Giannis' value is not going down, but I don't, I don't know if you'd have enough because those cars tomorrow might just be going for over a million then again, you might already have a million saved up right now, and you're going to get like two million or more for that Giannis, so you might just have enough. It does depend on the value of tomorrow's cards, so we're going to have to see. No guarantees though, but maybe you should sell that Giannis, even though he is a beast. 
Then again, later in the year, 2K might release a, a point guard Giannis, so you never know. You never know. So the, the Giannis you have might lose a little bit of value. You, you seriously never know, man. You can't really predict this stuff. You really can't. So to sell Taco and buy Bull Bull, I think at the power forward position, Bull Bull is just a beast, man. Like, I know his natural position or whatever is the center in this game, but, man, he plays that power forward so well. He runs the floor so well. I think now's a good time to sell Bull Bull if you have him, but if you have Taco, his price is definitely going to take a bigger dip than Bull Bull's, so, yeah. Man, we are kicking ass, man. We are dominating the game. We're making it look easy. I know this game is close to start, but we just got to be better on offense. Our defense has been just fine, but we got to get a few more buckets on offense. We got to get fancier. Got to green our shots a little bit more. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. 13-6 to six start to game number five of, what's it called, the 1970s Final Spotlight Sim Challenges. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And the biggest thing is that we've been clamped in on defense. We've been playing good defense the entire game, but man, we have been on one pretty much this entire stream. The entire stream, we have been locked in on defense. SWC, good work. Only one game away from McHale. Now that's big right there. Look at Kobe, man. Kobe's a beast. Sorry, guys. Just still adjusting this to get it back in the frame. I think it's in the frame pretty well, but I think it might have been a little bit closer to me earlier. I could be wrong. But yeah, Quinn, this is game number five of the 1970s. Game number five of the 70s. And we're off to a very good start. And we got 40 people back in the stream. Like I've been saying, you guys make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you're not subbed, I mean, hang around, see if you do enjoy the content. We've gained a ton of subs in the last two days. So it would be awesome if you guys hung around and joined my sub army, man. I'd appreciate it. But nah, for real, you guys just sit back and enjoy the content. Let's get one more shot, man. We got Embiid running off the screen. I wanted the three, but we'll take the two. We'll take the two, I guess. 21-10 first quarter. Not too bad, but I feel like we could have been a little bit better on defense. Uh, Caden, I'm not going to play Park later. Maybe another day, but we're trying to get this Larry Bird, man. Getting this Larry Bird is the number one priority right now. Well, actually, okay, nah, getting Larry Bird is definitely number one. We're not going to get Larry Bird today. Because I do want to get some sleep. I'm not like Denver Struck. I'm not like HTB. I don't do YouTube full time. So yeah, I'm not going to be staying up 24 hours to get this Larry Bird. But we're going to get him tomorrow. And it's going to be great. After this stream's over though, I got to do some homework, man. I got to get my homework done. I got to get something to eat because... Yeah, I haven't eaten since before the stream started. But this Larry Bird grind, it's a big one. It's a big one for sure. And I'm locked in. 100% locked in. Uh, 95L, we're going to have to see if Larry Bird is actually better than Kobe because I don't know, man. I don't know. About to say, Kobe at the 2 and Larry at the 3. It just sounds nice, man. I'm glad I don't have to pick between them because they're both going to be on the squad. They both have over 60 Hall of Fame badges. They're both going to be super athletic, both really good on offense and defense. I'm just glad I don't have to choose between them. Hey, though, we got 43 people in here, man. I know all of you guys aren't subscribed, so talk to me if you're not subscribed. Talk to me if you're new to the channel. Feel free to hang around and see if you enjoy the content. Uh, Tanner, after this game, we got five more games. Five more games left once this game's over. But with that being said, this game isn't really close to being over. Uh, Mythical, there is 
I know that there's a code that came out yesterday, but I haven't heard anything today. Haven't heard about any new codes today, but we'll have to see. Doc, should I grind for no money spent? I have all pink diamonds. Uh, keep on grinding, man. You should. About to say, if you have an all pink diamond team, your team is definitely good enough to win every game because these games are very easy to win. These games are very easy to win. About to say, I'm not lying about that. I think these games are super easy to win, no matter what team you have. Just log in, play these games. If you win five, you get a pink diamond. If you win 10, you get an opal. If you win 20, you get two opals. If you win 30, you get three opals. I think you guys are, I think you guys understand where I'm going right now. You're gonna get those opals, man. No matter what. Ooh, what a snatch. If only Hakeem was at the three-point line, though. About to say, sometimes I don't love my team spacing. I like the freelance we run. I like the plays we run, but I don't know. We're still up by 20, though, so we'll take it. About to say, we'll live with a 20-point lead. It's not too bad. But it was a two. I've been shooting way too many deep twos today, man. Way too many deep twos. Um, Sean, after I get my next opal, the stream will be ending because we're gonna we're gonna have been live for over nine hours. I gotta get some sleep. I gotta get some homework done. So, yeah. Should I sell? Why are you typing in all caps? Why the heck are you typing in all caps? I think you should sell your Opaluka. I don't think he's that good. I don't know why you're typing in all caps, though. That's crazy. Look at... Why is he typing like that? I have to say, what's up with you? Did someone piss in your sweet tea? About to say, did someone piss in your lemonade? Did someone give you piss instead of lemonade? About to say... Why the heck are you pissed? But yeah, after this we got five more games. So total, about five and a half more games. A uh, puff, I do not buy packs. I do not buy packs. I don't see what's so funny. I don't see why you're laughing. I don't know why you typed that message in all caps. Are you pissed at me or something? I don't know why you typed that message in all caps and just laughed about it. Ah, man. I could have taken that shot if Arenas hadn't thrown a bad pass. Silly Gilbert. Arenas against White. Arenas passes to Embiid. That was nice. When do you start playing 2K20? Um, when the game first launched, I started playing 2K20. Very first day the game came out, I went ahead and hopped on my team, hopped on my career. Yeah. So I've been playing 2K20 for a while. I mean, it's a pretty new game. Well, it's actually kind of old, but if we're talking about like year by year, it's a pretty new game. Attention to him and he'll burn you with a nice find. Should I sell my Jeff Teague? Uh, why do you have a Jeff Teague? Then again, isn't oh, yeah, there's a pink diamond Jeff Teague. There's a pink diamond Jeff Teague, isn't there? I haven't seen his stats, haven't used them, I haven't used Jeff Teague, but I don't know. I mean, keep in mind, a lot of people have been saying good things about Galaxy Opal Dennis Johnson, so hey. If you want to just grind for Opal Dennis Johnson, I promise you, he's going to be better than Pink Diamond Jeff Teague. What's up? What does that say? T-Talk 2K? Welcome to the stream. 95L said, dude's a weirdo. Apparently, he was typing the same message for 25 minutes. Apparently. Even though, I mean, keep in mind, I don't really ignore people in the chat. I just don't have time to read everything. 
So there's no need to spaz out if I don't read your chats. I have to say, it doesn't mean I'm not ignoring you. Or it doesn't mean I am ignoring you, excuse me. There's no need to get pissed and type in all caps like a two-year-old kid would in the chat. If I don't read your message, I don't read your message. It's not that I'm ignoring you or anything. It's not like I have a problem with you. I just don't have time to read every single thing. I don't have time to read every single message, man. Because we got a lot of people talking, got a lot of messages going by, so... Don't take it too personally if I don't read your message, please. I would appreciate that. Just got Marcus Saul. One out of five. Hey, Franklin, the grind is real. I couldn't agree more. The grind has been a good one. The grind has been a good one today, man. I had a lot of fun streaming this yesterday. I've had fun streaming today. Here's Elijah one. He gets that one. Elijah one's got his third basket of the night right there. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Now a timeout called by Boston. Kobe Bryant really making a difference. Zinx says he he legit wrote the message two times. What's up, Supreme? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing all right today. The likes are pretty big, 128. We're about to hit 130. That's big time right there, about to say. Yesterday, we had 198 likes on the stream, and today, we're about to hit 130, so, hey. You guys make sure to leave a like for me, if you haven't already, and hang around, see if you enjoy the content, and enjoy the stream. Oh, man. I'm telling y'all though, I've said this a hundred times, so I probably sound like a broken record, but playing through these games gets so boring when you take such a big lead. That is easily the biggest challenge with this. Easily the biggest challenge with this. Panda TV? I mean, you answer this question for me. With no lineup restrictions, all you have to do is play and win 50 games. You get six Opals, and one of the Opals has 60 Hall of Fame badges and you get them for absolutely free. So, it's your decision. Maybe you prefer spending MT and getting the Opal Michael Jordan on the auction house, or you could get the Opal Larry Bird with pretty much the same stats and pretty much the same badges or completely free. So, I think the Larry Bird sounds a little bit better than the Jordan, but in my opinion, I do think the grind is worth it. You can argue the Kobe grind is not worth it, but I think the Larry Bird grind is 100% worth it, so Panda, I think you should do it. A lot of people in the chat right now are doing it. I think you should follow suit and grind as hard as you can. Thank you guys for 130 likes on the stream. That's big, man. Like I said, yesterday we got almost 200, and today we got 130. You guys have been killing it today, man. I really appreciate y'all. I really do appreciate every single one of you showing love on the stream. Gotta make those, man. But yeah, if you're watching the stream and enjoying the content, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Not to say, yesterday we hit 2.5 thousand, and today I think we're at 2.53 thousand, so. My goal was to hit 2.53 by the end of the stream, but, I mean, you never know. Maybe we can hit 2.54 or 2.55. I don't know. I don't know. About to say, you guys have been killing it, but you never know. Maybe we can hit that 2.54 by the end of the stream. That would be huge, and I already know tomorrow's stream is going to be big, too, because tomorrow is the day we're getting Larry Bird. We're going to get him. We're going to shoot around with him. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be freaking awesome. Um, Chris, I do think the next GOAT player is going to cost MT. I do. Did someone in here, did somebody in here mention a GOAT Kareem earlier? I could be wrong about that. But I think somebody in here mentioned a GOAT Kareem. I could be wrong about that. I heard there's a Kareem coming out tomorrow. Is that Kareem gonna be in the GOAT collection. I could be wrong about that. I'm just wondering. Because I haven't really checked my phone. I haven't checked much news about that. All I know is that there's a Kareem coming out tomorrow, but I'm not sure if he's like involved with the GOAT collection, you know? 
So I'm kind of wondering about that. I do think the next GOAT player is going to cost MT. Puff said GOAT Kareem. So yeah, he's going to cost some MT. I mean, two of the GOAT players are free. So of course they're going to make two of them cost MT as well. Good defense. <sighs> Better offense though. Better offense. Doc, your next game's gonna be easy. And to be fair, this game has been pretty easy too. We're up 33. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Whoa. Did my game lag for like a split second right there? I think it did. King said, who should get Shaq or Aaron Gordon, the pink diamonds? It really depends. If you want a speed boost, get glitchy, make some threes. The Aaron Gordon's the better player, but the Shaq, Pink Diamond, has actually, I think he's pretty good. Underrated, just because, I mean, just because he can't shoot doesn't mean he sucks, but of course, being able to shoot is so important in this game, so. That's why the Shaq is a little bit underrated. A little bit underrated. Caden, yeah, we have a big lead, but... Yeah, we have a big lead, but we've been winning a lot of the games by even more, so you never know. Maybe we can win this game by 50 or 60. I know it's a big blowout, but we've had some bigger blowouts today, man. Opal Shaq, Opal C. Webb, Goat Kareem, and Pink Diamond LeBron. Man, tomorrow's cards are going to be crazy. I'm ready for those cards, man. Let's get our bench in the game. Our bench hasn't played the entire game. Sometimes I get so caught up talking to you guys that I forget to make subs. I forget to do little things like that, man, for real. They have all bronze players and one opal in the game. That's tough. They have four bronze auto-generated players, and then they have opal Dave Cohen's. That's tough. But yeah, like Liv Stack brought up, like you guys are talking about, I'm looking forward to playing versus those Warriors, man. I'm looking forward to playing the 1975 Warriors. going to be so much fun. It's going to be the best. Oh, so the Supersonics are the last game of the 70s. I forgot about that. The Sonics are 1970. I'm trying to remember who the champions are. I think 1979 is the Supersonics. 1978 is the, the Bullets, right? The Washington Bullets. 1977 is the is the Trailblazers. 77, Dr. Jack. 76 is the Celtics again, right? And then 75 is the Warriors. I think those are the NBA champions. I could be wrong, but I have pretty good knowledge, pretty good memory of the NBA champions. So, 75 Warriors, 76 Celtics. 77 Trailblazers, 78 will be, yeah, the Bullets, and 79 will be the Supersonics, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly. Um, Joe Rivers, tips on winning 12-0. Honestly, Joe, I think the best advice for 12-0 is that it's really not about offense, man. It's about forcing as many turnovers as you can and playing super airtight defense. The offense is important, but not as important as being 100% locked in on defense. 100% locked in. Because you're going to play against some really toxic dudes who zigzag back and forth. They're going to try to shoot from very far back. It's not going to be easy, but hey man, if you just lock in on defense, go as hard as you can, you're going to be okay. You're going to be ready. Uh, Splash, I have played or I have beaten 34 games. And after I win this game, I got 15 games left until Larry Bird and five games left until Dennis Johnson. So we're grinding, man. The grind continues. Great defense right there to force him to run out of bounds. Three minutes left in this game, man. Three minutes left. Let's get this W. About to say, they have five bronze players on the court, so... Yeah, they're not going to be playing any defense. I am not worried about defense. My bad. Four bronze players and Dave Cohen's. And he's not scoring on David Robinson. 
Look at that defense. Ah, good rebound, though. Don Nelson. I forgot he was on these Celtics. Best free throw form of all time. Let's get this W, and let's go home. We're in a hostile environment, but we're still playing pretty well. I think it's raining outside. I could be wrong. I think I hear rain. I know that's random, but I just had to go ahead and say it. We've been getting a lot of rain here lately, so... It was a sunny day all day. I was surprised if it was started raining. Yeah, I definitely hear rain. I don't think you guys can hear it, though. About to say, because you guys can hear the commentary, the guys talking, the dun 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 all the sound effects in the background, the player chatter, and me. Ah, oh, man. We're just going to run the clock out when we get the ball back. We're just going to get the ball and dribble it out a little bit. Take a shot at the end of the shot clock. Okay, never mind. Apparently the CPU is getting bump steals now. That's fair. That's fair enough right there. Uh, Xavier? I think Galaxy Opal Kobe's great, man. He's my favorite card to use. Easily one of the best cards in the game. Especially since they fixed his, th ah, fixed his jump shot. Excuse me. Like, after they fixed Kobe's jump shot, he has been even better. Like, ever since I turned off the meter, I feel like I never miss with Kobe. And that's a pretty awesome thing. Okay, that was perfect dribbling out the clock right there. Caden Miller says, are you getting Dennis Johnson today and Larry Bird tomorrow? Yes. Earlier in the stream, earlier in the stream, I got Marcus Gasol. So that's one man down. Yesterday... I got Paul Pierce and Dennis Rodman, so that's two other guys down, three total. So, yeah, tomorrow's stream is going to be the final ten games for Larry Bird. Did they fix the Pink Diamond Kobe? No. The Pink Diamond Kobe? The jump shot was great. It was just not athletic. I mean, keep in mind, the Pink Diamond Kobe is a career highlights card. Career moments? Career highlights. And it was from his last game where he was old, kind of washed up. He was, yeah, he wasn't jumping as high as he used to. So that's why that card wasn't supposed to be very good athletically. So yeah, they did not fix that card, but thankfully, they did fix the Opal. So if any of you guys go for the Opal, don't worry. He is going to be very good. Okay, guys, after this game's over, we're officially in the home stretch. Yeah, we're officially in the home stretch. The final five games of the stream are coming right up. So if you guys have any last words or emotional sentiments, okay, I'm kidding. I don't even know where that sentence was going. Either way, we're on the last leg of the stream, even though there's still a lot of 2K left to play. Still a lot of gameplay left to get through. So, the stream, even though we're on the last stretch, is not even close to being over. Let me change the title real quick. So it says 15 games left. So yeah, in a couple seconds it should say 15 games left. Here we go, guys. Five games down, which means we're about to get Pink Diamond... Willis Reed. Willis Reed. There we go. There he is. That's not too bad at all. Pink Diamond Willis Reed. That marks the halfway point. 5 out of 10 in the 1970s Spotlight Challenges. 5 out of 10 complete. 5 games down. 5 to go. Here we go. We got the Warriors up next. And this should be an easy win. According to all you guys in the chat... This is going to be an easy win. Okay, stream, let's go. C oh, let's get CP home here. Man, I read that wrong. It's kind of because I'm tired. I shouldn't have read that wrong. But hey, Supreme, I appreciate you. We're going to take it on home, man. We're going to take it on home. We're going to win this game, and it's going to be glorious. Wow, you guys weren't kidding. These Warriors are really bad. 
they have three sapphires starting. That's tough, so we have three mismatches. I could score every time with arenas. I could score every time with Kobe. And I could score every time with uh, Hakeem. There's literally a mismatch at every position. That's tough. What's up, Packer the player? Welcome to the stream. Let's get it, man! Man, we've been live for six hours. And we still have 30 viewers in here, man. We've had 30 plus viewers in here for the entire time. Shout out to every single one of you who's hung around and enjoyed the stream. And hey, like I said, if any of you guys haven't subbed yet, what are you doing, man? Sub up for me if you haven't already. Um, Grape, I think Rodman's great. A lot of people have asked me that question today. I think Rodman's a beast. Mainly because of his defense, but he's a really good shooter, too. Try and get 81 with Kobe, since you have the mismatch. That sounds good. Let's try it. Let's give that a try. We do have a big mismatch. We'll go for 81. That would be a very good challenge. That sounds like a pretty good challenge, so let's do it. They're already double teaming, though, so I'm going to have to shoot with other guys, too. Man, that's crazy. About to say. I was actually about to shoot with Kobe, but... They're already double teaming. That's crazy. They must have heard you, Team Mac. Either way, welcome to the stream, though, man. About to say, I'm glad you're in here. Team Mac's an OG. Team Mac is a real OG. Around this time last year, we had like 700 subs, and Aiden was one of the only people in here. Man, good times. Very good times. Larry Bird has every badge except Steady Shooter. And that's a good thing because that steady shooter badge sucks. So it's a good thing he doesn't have steady shooter. Steady shooter is the weirdest badge of all time. It's weird that having a badge in the Hall of Fame can make you worse at shooting wide open shots. That's crazy to me. Been here for a minute, but I haven't been chatting. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. And even though they're double teaming Kobe... I'm still going to go for 81. I'm still going to go for 81. Because why not? We're playing versus a very bad team. We have a very big mismatch. What? Are you serious? That was actually some surprisingly good defensive IQ. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> okay. I swear, if he picks off the pass again, we're going to have some problems. Steady Shooter can be a very big bailout. I'm just saying, if you can get open shots every time down the court, Steady Shooter is not helping you make those open shots. Oh yeah, I made him jump. Come on, Kobe. Give it to me. That's 11 already. I think we can score 81. Why not try? What's up, Devin? That's what I'm talking about. Now that's the signature phrase right there. I have a lot of catchphrases, a lot of signature lines, but that's the classic. That's the classic right there. Gotta say it just like that too. You kinda have to sing it. Now you know what I mean though. <sighs> we got 132 likes on the stream. I'm at the point where I don't even know if I need to ask for more, man. You guys have absolutely smashed it today. You guys have destroyed the like button. You guys have been active pretty much the entire stream. Y'all have made this entire stream fun. I've enjoyed every minute of it. This has been an amazing grind, and you guys have made it that much better for me, man. You guys have made this stream a ton of fun, for real. Calls a championship team a bad team. I mean, keep in mind, you know how some guys say you can't win an NBA championship by yourself? If you look at this Warriors roster, Rick Barry pretty much won this championship by himself. But nobody ever really talks about that. But then keep in mind, there were very few teams in the NBA back then. There were like, what, 10, 11 teams? Like, this was before the NBA expanded. This was before the big expansion that happened in, what, 76, 77? So, this team, I know they're not a bad team because they didn't win a championship, but... I mean, they have three Sapphires and Rick Barry starting. 
Rick Barry is going to get a new Opal soon, by the way. I have to say, I'm pretty sure Rick Barry is going to get a new Galaxy Opal card. I'm sure that Carl Malone's going to get one. John Stockton's going to get one. A lot of legends who don't have Opals yet, I think are going to get Opals pretty soon. I mean, it's June. We're more or less in the end game. I've taken some terrible shots with Kobe. I got to focus. I got to focus more. Because I've missed a few shots in a row. Good defense. Let's get a bucket right here, man. Like I said, I've missed a few in a row. There we go. Is Bruce Bowen good? He's good. Of course, he's not an Opal, but the defense is great, the shooting's great, the badges are great. If you're running a budget squad, I think Bruce Bowen's a very good pickup. Bruce Bowen's a very good pickup. And I haven't tried his jump shot, but the stats are great, the badges are great. I haven't seen much of him, though. I haven't seen much gameplay for Bruce Bowen. These Opals have stolen the show right now. The Opal, like Marcus Saul, the Opal Paul Pierce. Those guys have stolen the show. DP Grape, how old are you? To be fair, maybe Rick Barry went to a school a long time ago. About to say. May I think the way you're interpreting it is that he went to school with Rick Barry. Which would be pretty crazy. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, Caden Miller, what are the best shooting badges? I think best is a weird way to put it. I think you gotta say most important instead. I think the most important ones are easily quick draw because of how shooting is this year. A uh, range extender super important. Now, other than those, I think the best one you can have is honestly hot zone hunter. Like if you're a good shooter, if you're able to hit it from every spot, having hot zone hunter is huge and having green machine is huge because if you have green machine in the park and you green your first two shots of the game, it's pretty much guaranteed that you're not going to miss the rest of the game because your green window is going to be as wide as the ocean. Is that a good analogy? I think it is. I think you guys get where I'm coming from. Your green window is going to be pretty wide open. Let's go, Kobe. Quick draw, catch and shoot, range extender, and... Okay, got you, got you, okay. Hot zone hunter. So yeah, I mean, catch and shoot's really big, but if you're a guy who likes to isolate and take shots off the dribble, catch and shoot isn't as important. Not as important, but still really big. Still very big. I passed up a wide open layup for a three, so I better make a three this possession. Okay, they're double teaming. Paul Pierce is wide open, and Paul Pierce is pretty good too. Let me make a few subs. Let's get Dennis Robin in there, in there for defense. Let's get D. Rob in there. And let's get Josh Smith in there, too. Let's go, Kobe. Caden says, I also don't use the shot meter. Hey, man. I think shooting without the shot meter, it's, it's the way to go, man. A lot of you guys tried to convince me to turn off the meter, and I was like, nah, man, not happening. But then I turned it off, and then I started hitting a bunch of shots, and I realized no shot meter is the way to go. I realized it, and you guys made me realize that. So I do appreciate y'all for helping me get that revelation into my mind. And yeah, I learned that without the shot meter, you're going to be a machine. Here comes the double team again. Paul Pierce is open again. Ah, but he missed it this time. Come on, Kobe. 35 points. I'd say we're on pretty good pace for 81. Good challenge, Aiden. I've accepted it. And we're playing pretty well. And Kobe's on fire for sure, too. Ah, come on. I left him open for a reason. I was thinking that was a guaranteed miss. I left him open just because I thought he was going to miss that, but it's all good. That was a bad shot with Kobe right there. I shouldn't have shot it. Every now and then, I'll take some really bad shots just because I don't care about the game like that. I really don't care. Like, we're up so big, I really don't care what I shoot. Uh, yeah. 
Like, I was going to shoot both of those shots, but I realized maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should take some better shots. Maybe I should be a little bit smarter on offense. I think being a little bit smarter on offense would go a long way. It could get this 37-point lead all the way up to 40 if I took some smarter shots. Yeah, these Sapphire players just aren't fast enough. About to say, I feel kind of bad for doing this, but the CPU, they are supposed to be programmed to win. I thought the CPU was, you know, programmed to win. But, yeah, I can't really say I'm bullying them. I know they don't feel bad about this. I know the CPU is not demoralized about this, but it is pretty bad. I enjoy watching you, Doc, especially when I'm playing 2K. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it, man. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I hope you guys are okay with the commentary, too. I've had people come in here and call my commentary annoying before. I don't know if it actually is. I don't know. Liliana says, are the Warriors good? I don't know. I can't tell. You gotta gauge a team by the way they play for an entire game. And it's clear, these Warriors are not a first half team. But, hey, I know a lot of teams who just show up more and play better in the second half. And maybe this Warriors team is like that. Maybe this Warriors team is one of those teams. I've never seen a team come back down 44 in basketball. But maybe we're about to see it for the first time ever. That would be pretty legendary. I think you guys would be like, ooh, okay. So, about to say, even if I lose this game, I think you guys will be okay with it because you guys will witness the first 47-point comeback in basketball history. Not just NBA, but all of basketball. I don't know if a team... If a team goes down by 47 points, usually... They end up going down by even more points. Unless it's the end of the game. But yes. These Warriors might be more of a second half team. They're not doing very well in the first half. But maybe. They can pull a comeback out of their asses. Maybe. We'll see. I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm sure they haven't thought that far ahead either. Keep on grinding Liv Stack. And welcome back Sean. Let's end this half with a stop, man. We gotta step it up on defense. Great defense, Embiid. Pretty good half. Pretty good first half. It doesn't get too much better than that. But they did get some easy shots that I wish I could have prevented, but... You can't really complain about this lead. Kobe's having a really good game. If you multiply their score by... Yeah, if you multiply their score by what? If you multiply their score by six, they would still be down. That's tough. Had to do the math in my head. Sean says, how many games till Johnson? After this game is over, four more games once this game's done. Okay, we're going to have to step it up. and We're going to have to step it up right here. The first half was good, but we got to step it up. That first half was good, but I want to destroy these guys by even more. The fact that they even scored nine points is just pitiful, so... We're going to step things up. We're going to go into second gear right here. We're going to step things up and see if we can win by even more. Honestly, it depends, man. Bull Bull's glitchy, but I've used him before. I've evolved him before. I honestly prefer Embiid. I honestly think Embiid has the smoother jump shot. Just my opinion. You guys might not agree, but I prefer Joel Embiid. I prefer Joel Embiid for sure. What's up, Martin? Welcome to the stream, man. SWC. Good work, man. You got Kevin McHale? That's big time right there. Good shit, man. The grind. It continues for you, man. The grind is not over just yet. The grind's not over just yet. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Keep that shit up. Kobe's got 58. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five Is it bad that I'm okay with them shooting those? It's on superstar difficulty. And I'll leave them open every single time. Like, I'm okay with leaving them open. I could really care less. 
I really do hate to say it. I, I can. I don't care if they take open shots. Like more often than not, they're gonna miss. Thirty more games. Hey, you got this, man. I came in. Oh no, and beats injured. No. And beats injured. No. This is not good. He better not be out for like a hundred games. This sucks. Man, they were feeling so bad about this game. They took it out of my players. They really injured Embiid. I gotta. Oh my god. I gotta turn on the Mamba mentality. Kobe has 61 points. I gotta score 81, man. I'm pissed. They really injured Embiid. They know Embiid's a beast. They had to injure him. Embiid hasn't even been scoring much. About to say Embiid. I'm pretty sure he hasn't scored at all, actually. I cannot believe they scored Embiid. I mean, they injured Embiid. Crap. Why, why did I say scored? My talking hasn't been very good lately. <sighs> and the reason they scored two points right there were because they injured Embiid. They injured Joel Embiid. And they got a wide open shot. Kobe has takeover again. So let's abuse. Let's abuse them. What's up, Tanner G? Welcome to the stream. 134 likes now, man. That's insane. You guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. About to say, yesterday, we hit almost 200. You never know. Maybe we can do that today, too. Maybe we can do that today. We have been beasting this entire stream. And Kobe has 64 points. So, Aiden, if you're still in here... Your challenge has been... We're about to conquer it, man. We're about to conquer your challenge. Aiden said we should try to score 81 with Kobe. We might score 81 in three quarters. Nintendo Land says the Sonics are so trash. I don't think there's any way possible they're worse than this. I think there's no way possible because... I think this is pretty much the bottom of the barrel right here. I don't think it gets much worse than this. 73-14, that's tough. They had to injure my starting power forward just to score two points. Good shot, Cope. Almost got Pink Diamond Horace Grant. That means you're almost halfway done with the 1990s. That's big time right there. Good shit, Tanner. Eight more points, and we have 81 in three quarters. Okay, that's a bad shot. I forgot this is on superstar difficulty. Like, I seriously forgot this is on the second hardest difficulty because this team is just terrible. This team is just terrible. If we score five more points with Kobe, we have 81 in three quarters. No! I didn't mean to pull up icons. We still made it, though. Tanner, I think Rodman is very good. I think Rodman's... Oh, pretty amazing, man. I mean, he has every single defensive badge, Hall of Fame. And he's a really good shooter, too. He has some awesome contact dunk animations. I just think the Rodman's probably the best player there is. I think he's the best player available other than Larry Bird. Other than Bird, best player available. Kevin says, I'm grinding for Kevin McHale. Hey, tomorrow, we're going to get Kevin McHale and Larry Bird. So, we've been live for over seven hours now. And tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to be playing the last ten games. So, you guys, turn on notifications if you haven't already. Because tomorrow's stream is going to be the biggest one of them all. Tomorrow, we are getting Larry Bird. And it's going to be awesome. We're getting Larry Bird, who will be joining Kobe in the starting lineup. Devion says, I think Paul Pierce has Rodman beat. And I know what you mean. I, I agree with you that Paul Pierce is really good. But, see, here's the thing. Paul Pierce is definitely better on offense. He has better dribble moves. He has a nicer shot. But I don't know, because Rodman has the nice contact dunk animations. And Rodman is definitely better on defense. He's faster. 
He can switch on to anybody. I think that Paul Pierce is definitely better on offense, but man, Rodman's defense is just unbelievable. I mean, he has every single Hall of Fame defensive badge. It just doesn't get much better than that. It really doesn't. So for me, I really care about being able to switch on defense, being able to switch on to anybody, and Dennis Rodman can do that. And Rodman can also hit all of his wide open threes, man. His release is buttery smooth. I know it's not super fast, but it's still really smooth. Jonah, welcome back. Packer says, I don't know why I didn't get notified today. Hey, it's okay, man. All that matters is that you're here right now. That's all that matters. Like they said in Bill and Ted 2, the best place to be is here, and the best time to be is now. That's what they said in Bill and Ted 2. I'm on game 7 of the 90s. Hey man, keep on grinding. Keep on grinding. About to say, I beat the 90s yesterday. And I'm not going to lie, it got boring playing versus the Bulls six times, but you're going to get through it, man. You're going to get through it, you're going to be alright, and you're going to get that Rodman. I think he's worth it, but hey, like you said, Paul Pierce is pretty good too. Codeine, I'm so excited for Bill and Ted 3, man. I'm not going to lie. That preview was good. Like, I was kind of worried that they would just get a horrible script, that it would be terrible, but that movie looks like it's going to be hilarious. Just hearing them in that preview say, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes. It was just, it was bittersweet hearing them say that again as 50 year old men party on dudes yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on oh man Kobe has 87 points I just noticed oh come on look at him celebrating you're down by 85 look at him celebrating oh that's crazy that's crazy Tanner I have not seen the trailer yet I have not seen the teaser, but after this stream's over, I'm going to check it out. About to say, I haven't seen it. I've been locked in the entire stream, just playing the game. Trying to get to, through these challenges as quick as I can. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard it's pretty amazing. I have not seen it yet, but I've heard it's great. I'm going to check it out, man, because you guys got me excited. If you guys think it's good, it must be pretty good, because you guys aren't going to lie to me about that. About to say, if you guys are lying, it's the greatest lie of all time that every single one of you guys is in on. Tanner, it's probably all over Instagram, man. It's probably all over Instagram, all over YouTube. Guys are going to be making reaction videos to it and everything. Maybe I should make a reaction video. Because you guys are really hyping it up. You guys are really hyping this up. So I'm going to check it out for sure. Look at Rodman fading away from deep. Nice fadeaway three by the Rodzilla. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt. All Flightwood, as Flight would say, Zion Williamson was in it. You, you're talking about a compo. Ah, come on. Gotta hit that shot right there. Nintendo Land says, I finally got to the 80s. Hey, man, tomorrow we're ending on the 80s. We're going to do the 80s tomorrow, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Let's go, Kobe. Ah, come on. I'm trying to get to 100 with Kobe. He only has 87. Oh, come on. So you're telling me they're on fire in the fourth quarter? I was trying to win this game by a hundred, man. Okay, we're, we can, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. We gotta clamp up on defense. We gotta get some steals. We gotta get some stops. But we could still win this game by a hundred. We're up at 88 right now. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. We should win this jump ball. We should get the ball back. We're gonna hit a three, and we're gonna go up by 91. It's going to be awesome. 
Oh, come on. I felt my controller vibrate. We won the tip, but the ball went to them. It's all good. They scored a two. We'll score a three. I have that Kobe release literally mastered, man. I have Kobe's release mastered. Can we get a steal right here? Can we get a steal or bait them into a tough shot? Let's see. Come on, shoot that. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted, but he made it. We still have time. We still have a lot of time, and Kobe got his takeover at the perfect time. Okay, we're up 90. We're up by 90, man. If we can get a steal right here, that would be huge. If we can get a steal or force a quick shot, we're going to be okay. Oh, yes, perfect, perfect. Great defense. Great defense. Okay, we can go up by 93 right here. We can take a 93-point lead. Come on, Kobe. Let's get him, man. 93-point lead. Can we get a steal once again? If we can get that steal or force a quick shot, we still have a chance to win by 100. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Big miss. A three right here would be huge. Let's go. 96-point lead. 96-point lead. Oh, that would have been big. Should we foul? Oh, no. Come on, come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Big Damn it, man. Damn it. That would have been a really big steal right there. JD, I'm working on it, man. I think there's a chance we could still do this. There's eight seconds left. But we're going to have to go fast. And I'm not trying to intentionally foul. Yeah, I think it's a lost cause, but hey. Kobe still had 100 points, so it's all good. Kobe dropped 100 points. The most points in the game. 102 points, to be exact. The most points ever. So, pretty good game, but it would have been nice if we'd won by 100. Sadly, we did not win by 100, but thankfully, thankfully, Kobe did score 100. So, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Kobe dropped 102 points on 32 made threes. His plus minus was 96. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good game. Good win. Let me change the title of the stream to 14 games left because we have 14 games left. You guys should see the title change in a second. That was a good win. 102 points for Kobe. Doesn't get much better than that. We got 33 people in the chat right now. You guys make sure to leave a like for me if you haven't already. And of course, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe. Okay, guys. We're in the home stretch, man. I cannot move the page further forward. This is the final stretch. The home stretch. We got the Celtics up next, the Trailblazers, the Wizards, or the Washington Bullets, as they were back then, and the Supersonics, man. Final four games. We're in the final four. Four more wins, and we have accomplished the objective of this stream. And whenever you can say you've done that, you've done a good job. Here we go, man. We got the Celtics for the last time in the 70s. Here we go. Final four games of the stream. Let's get right to it, man. Mm. Celtics off the tip. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. They've got Kobe, Joel Embiid out there with Elijah Wan. Then it's Gilbert Arenas, and it's Pierce in at the small forward position. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. For three, Kobe drains it from beyond the arc. Sorry, guys. Just had to get a bite to eat real quick, so... Just had to get some food in my system. Then here we go. Here we go. After this game, we are three games away from getting from getting Dennis Johnson, which means we will be three games away from the end of the stream. Look at Paul Pierce, man. About to say, 
His jump shot is just unstoppable. Also, Tanner, good work, man. Good job getting your hands on that pink diamond Horace Grant. Good work, man. Keep on grinding. That means you're five games away from Rodman. Five games away from Rodzilla. So if they're going to double team Kobe every time, yeah, here comes the double team. Pierce is the open man. Pierce knocks it down. Pierce has got six. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Arenas against White. Off the run. Akeem Olajuwon with the rebound. Yeah, not really much of a flow offensively yet. Only one of four from the field. Left side, Scott shoots over Embiid, and Pierce pulls it down. Still searching out their offensive game right now. Oh, what a jam! Hey, you knew something good was coming, Kevin, oh. right? Oh. And Brian, just a superb athlete, terrific at just... I'm sorry, guys. Didn't want to talk with my mouth open, you know? Can you tell me how to make a full bar? Because this man, Dirk, can't make a full bar fadeaway from the ring. That's tough. That's tough. I'm sorry about that. Is your meter off? Well, actually, no, that can't be because you just said full bar. Maybe turning the meter off is the key. Maybe turning off the meter is the big key there. I could be wrong about that. About to say. I don't know. Are you talking about the glitch, Dirk? Is that the one you're using right now? Just wondering. Admire says, Doc, can you do the last three games for me? I would, but sadly, I can't get on your account, and that would just be against the grind. You gotta keep the grind up, Admire. Keep on grinding. They gotta stop double teaming, man. Whenever they double team, I pick them apart, I find the open man, I make it look easy. That's the difference between the success they're we've been so good on defense early, and we've been hitting every single jump shot. What kind of BS is that? Good defense. Got to grab rebounds, though. A lot of times, we're playing good defense, but we just aren't getting the rebounds. They're double teaming, which means we pick them apart, man. they got to stop double teaming because they always leave somebody open. Oh, so you're using the, the buy now Galaxy Opal Dirk. Yeah, that Dirk's not very popular, man. Like, even when, like, even before the glitch Dirk existed, that Dirk was not very popular just because the shot is so awkward. I know he's Opal, but the speed is terrible. And the shot is just, it's kind of awkward, man. He's not a bad player, but just the speed kind of kills everything, you know? Oh man. These Celtics are tough. The last Warriors team we just played though, they were a lot worse than this. Nintendo Land says I hate the Lakers game one. Hey man, that was the that was the Lakers team where Magic Johnson started at the center position in game seven of the finals in nineteen eighty, man. That Lakers team was solid. The kick out to Pierce. Come on, man. I was waiting for the screen. And now apparently we're at the free throw line. I guess we'll take it. Oh, man. What a grind it's been. It has been a grind today, man. We have been on fire shooting in the last few games. I think it's ever since I put on my glasses. Ever since I put on the glasses, I think I've been on fire. I seriously think that's the answer. I don't want to say it is. I want to say I've just gotten better as the stream has gone on. But I seriously think putting on my glasses was the key to all this. I have to say, because I started hitting all my open shots. I started finding the open man a lot better. I started playing better defense. I seriously think the glasses are the key. 
about to say, whenever they leave me open, we just never miss. For real. Ball six says I can be green, normal standing shots, but the fadeaways I can't make. That was the same problem I had with Dirk. Now the glitch Dirk is a fadeaway machine, but yeah, the regular Dirk, I wasn't very good shooting fadeaways with him. Like I said, the biggest thing is the speed. That's the reason why I didn't like him. That's the reason why he had such low value on the auction house. Of course, he can hit shots, and his defensive attributes actually aren't all that bad. It's just the speed that kills him for me. Still a good opal. Can still hit all those open shots. Can still do a lot for you, but it's not as good to me because of his speed. What's up, Ben Walker? It's been a good day for me, man. How about you? Thanks for coming by the stream for a little while. I appreciate you being here. Hope you've been doing all right. Owen says you like Marcus Saul. He's not bad, but I don't think he's the best one. I don't think he's the absolute best one, you know? I think the best player available is Dennis Rodman because of his defense and his ability to score too. But I don't know, I don't know, man. It's tough because Dennis Rodman, not only can he hit that three, not only does he have the contact dunk animations, not only can he speed boost, but he can switch onto any position. He can switch on anybody and guard them because he's six foot seven. He's fast. He has Hall of Fame. Every single defensive badge on Hall of Fame. Every single one. He can protect the rim. He can guard the post, and that's why I think he's the best player available. Uh, Tanner, my favorite three players in the NBA right now, or my favorite three players of all time. Ben says, I've had basketball for school for the past three hours, so I haven't been able to watch. Hey, that's okay, man. That's okay. We're in the final stretch of the stream. Once this game's over, we have three games left, and we're going to get Dennis Johnson, and then tomorrow, we're going to get Larry Bird. It's going to be freaking awesome. You better make sure you don't miss it. We're getting that Bird tomorrow, and it's going to be amazing. Let's go, Pierce. Ooh. Now, I know I just said Dennis Rodman's the best one available, but what's it called? Paul Pierce isn't that bad either. And Owen, I know that Rodman's a little bit short, but the defensive ability is just amazing. And keep in mind, Dennis Rodman can play the small forward position. Dennis Rodman can play small forward. That's where I put him at. It puts him in a good position to switch everything, and you can also surround him with two big men. Gashi, I'm sorry you're still sick. I hope you get better. I really hope you get better. I'm sorry you're still sick. Man, about to say, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay around the house. Chill out. Watch my streams. And make sure you just... Make sure you aren't getting other people sick, too. About to say, these are dangerous times we're living in in regards to health. So stay safe. For real. Uh, CBT, after this game, we have three games left of the stream, three games left until Dennis Johnson, and like I said earlier, like I've been saying, tomorrow we're going to be going for the man himself, Kevin McHale. Okay, for real, we're going to get Larry Bird too, but y'all know that Kevin McHale and Larry Bird, they're channel icons, man. Kevin McHale is one of the most popular players, if you asked my subscribers, the OGs who the iconic NBA 2K19 players are. Of course, there's the gay fade, Rudy Gay. There's the, there's Mikhail. There's Mello from hitting the game winner versus Houday. A lot of iconic moments in my channel's history. A lot of iconic videos, a lot of iconic guys. But yeah, those three I just named, Rudy Gay, Kevin McHale, and Mello, they definitely topped the list. Tanner G, my favorite players of all time. I was doing some thinking about this, man. My favorite players of all time. The top three, honestly? Of course, you already know Melo's number one. For number two, it's probably D. Rose. Number three, I... Man, there's so many guys I want to put up there. I want to say Paul Pierce is up there, to be honest with you. I want to say Paul Pierce is up there. Also... This is just a quick FYI. I just looked at my subscriber count. 
And I think we are literally one subscriber away from 2.54K. So if any of you 30 people watching right now are not subscribed, if you're enjoying the content, man, now's the time to subscribe. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss tomorrow's stream or I'm going to get Larry Bird. Now, I know I could get him today. I know that, but tomorrow's stream is going to be great. It's going to be the final 10 games. It's going to be awesome. You guys better tune in. You guys better tune in because it's going to be awesome when we get that Larry. We're going to test him out, and it's going to be great. Oh, come on, Davion. I thought you would have subscribed earlier, but either way, I appreciate you. Welcome to Doc Nation. Thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate you coming by the stream, man. I really do appreciate it. Keep on grinding. Keep on grinding those challenges, man. I appreciate it. So last game versus the Warriors was a very easy win. We won by 96 points in this game. If we've been playing better defense and shooting more with Kobe, we probably could have gotten off to a really good start in this game too, like even better than last game. So maybe... I'll start shooting a little bit more with Kobe, but they're double teaming, man. They're double teaming. They really don't want Kobe to score. Like, for real. They really don't want him to score. But nah, for real. We've been on our P's and Q's on defense. We've been shooting the lights out on offense. Like, ever since earlier in the stream, when we were missing, like, every open shot, we have been on fire, man. Like, we've been on fire every single game. We've been hitting pretty much every single open shot we've taken. Like, even when they double team, I'm always finding the open man. It's easy. What's up, Flaffy boy? Welcome back to the stream. Haven't seen you in a minute. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, I mean, he has been everywhere. The burst... Let's start out this half strong. We won the last game by 96. I'm trying to win this one by more. But man, no matter who catches the ball, look at this. They're immediately double teaming. Look at Paul Pierce's range, man. Even though they're double teaming, there's just nothing they can do. Like, I'm really liking this Paul Pierce. I know I've been talking about how Robin's the better player, but low key, with the way this Pierce has been shooting lately, I don't know, man. I don't know. Cloud, about to say, they are pretty easy, but also I do have a very good team. I do think they're easy, but it does help that I have, like, the best team, or one of the best teams possible. So they're not double teaming right here. They have a mismatch, and they're still not double teaming. Got to find that open man. Easy. What's up, Schmax? Welcome back to the stream, man. Hope you're doing alright today. Hope you're enjoying yourself. If you're a my team guy, I hope you've been grinding. Hope you've been grinding. Because I know I've been grinding. Ooh, nice snatch block. Very nice snatch block. Okay, really? Are you serious? How did he recover and contest that? That was supposed to be a wide open dunk. And live? I'm not going to lie, that sounds like an amazing time right there. Eating pizza and watching my stream. That sounds like a really good time, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't had regular pizza in a long time. And by that, I'm talking I haven't had pizza like Papa John's, I haven't had sliced pizza like that in a while. My mom, she made me a really good pizza that apparently people that are on the keto diet eat. It's like chicken as the crust, and it's really healthy. But oh my god, it's really good too. Like, I usually don't eat healthy stuff like that. I eat like grilled chicken, I'll eat um, eggs and stuff. I'll eat turkey, salmon. I eat some pretty healthy foods, but like, I don't eat like keto stuff, you know? But she made me that pizza, and it was amazing. Are they gonna double team Pierce again? Surprisingly no, but... They are going to leave one of my best shooters open. See, here's the thing. Even if they double team, I'm going to find that open guy. And those shots have been falling, man. Those shots have been falling today. I've really found my rhythm. 
I think Aiden's the reason why I found my rhythm for real because I was missing a lot of open shots, but ever since I started hitting every shot with Kobe last game, I've been hitting every shot with everybody. Like no matter who it is, I've just been scoring well with everybody. They're trying to hit me with double teams, but nothing works. Nothing works. Okay, I could just take it down the middle. I want them to I want to shoot a three though, man. About to say, I don't want to shoot a layup though. I'm trying to hit an open three. Hey Schmax. That Shane Battier is pretty good. About to say, I got him earlier in the stream. That Shane Battier is pretty good. Uh, Sean Stewart, after this game is done, three games till I'm done. Three games till I'm done. But that is still almost two hours of gameplay, so yeah, don't worry guys. The stream is not going to be over for a while. We are going to be live for a, for like over nine hours, man. We have been live for over seven hours now. Almost eight hours. We've been going crazy today. The grind has been real. And I really do appreciate every single one of you who's shown up and supported. We're almost at 140 likes, man. 140. You guys have been smashing the like button. And I really do appreciate the support, man. Every single one of you, y'all have been awesome, man. So thank y'all for making this stream an awesome one, for real. I want them to double team again, man. So I can get another open three, but they're not double teaming anymore. <sighs> Looks like I gotta take a dumb shot at the end of the shot clock. Oh man, nah, this has been a great stream though. If you guys haven't left a like yet, now's the time. Who's gonna be like number 140? I think it's a good question. I'm seriously curious. The key to winning the game is defense. Hey, I say this all the time. I say this all the time. The key to winning online is defense. The key to winning these games is defense. I completely agree. The key to winning every game is defense. Game one of the 80s, I won by 130. Now that's tough because Nintendo lands having a tough time with the 80s. Got a mismatch. Gonna go ahead and shoot the fadeaway. Nice rebound by Akeem. Come on! That was the slowest layup animation I've ever seen. Oh, man. We should be up by more, but I guess a 45-point lead isn't too bad. Coop just got Mikhail. Shout out to Coop. Uh, Fidisks, I've been streaming for over seven hours now. Seven hours and 40 minutes of grinding these challenges. Hey, though, right after I said leave a like so we can get to 140, we got all the way up to 144, man. I really appreciate y'all. We got 40 viewers in here right now. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys showing love on the stream. If you're enjoying the content, subscribe and hit that notification bell because tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to get that bird. We're going to get that Larry Bird tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. And then the next day, we're going to be playing some triple threat offline with Bird. Trying to learn how to use him, trying to learn his release. And trying to get those opals in the vault, man. Trying to get those vault opals. So, you guys better turn on notifications. Don't miss those streams. And y'all already know. I always try to talk to the chat as much as I can. I always try to talk to you guys. Chill. Have fellowship with y'all. I really do love connecting with the community, so, hey, you guys feel free to talk in the chat whenever you want to. I'm not going to ignore you unless you're being annoying or saying some dumb shit. Nah, I really enjoy talking to y'all, for real. You guys are pretty chill. About to say, all you guys are pretty chill. It's not just one or two of y'all, it's pretty much all you guys. We won our last game by 96. We've underperformed a little bit in this game. Sadly, in this game, we're only up by 48, but now we're still playing well. We're still on the grind. And once this game's over, we are going to be three games away from Galaxy Opal, Dennis Johnson. We've been grinding, man. We've been grinding for the last seven hours and 42 minutes. We have been killing it today, man. Killing it. 
Thanks to everybody who's tuned in, and like I said, this stream is far from over. 95L says three games until Mikhail. I'm not the only person in here grinding, man. I'm not the only one grinding. About to say, you guys have been killing it too. Grinding for 2K yourself. Grinding 2K for yourself. Even though he's played the whole game, Kobe is still greening every single shot. He's tired, but he is still the best player in the game. 22 points and 11 assists for Kobe. Paul Pierce is going off too. 16, 5, and 5. We have been on one today, man. How are you getting so many points? Hey, man, just play defense and hit your open shots. Last game, I had even more points, man. I had even more points last game. Man, you should have been here and seen the last game. I scored 102 with Kobe. The biggest key is playing defense, running the fast break, hitting your open shots. Those are the biggest keys, my man. Welcome to the stream, though. Haven't seen your name before. Also, there are a lot of bronze players in the game right now. I'm not going to act like I'm playing versus an all-opal team. Right now, I'm playing versus a, a very bad team. Even though they did win the 1976 NBA championship, this is a pretty rough team right here. Not the best team we're playing against, so that is one reason we're scoring so many points, but also because we're hitting all our open shots. Almost all our open shots, excuse me. Man, they're double teaming no matter who has the ball. No matter who has it, they're double teaming. And since the clock hasn't stopped, since there hasn't been a dead ball, all of my subs are still waiting at the scorer's table. Look at him. I'm standing right next to all my subs. Hey, Nintendo Land, 1 by 20. That's big time right there. And how did that layup miss over a bronze player? We have been really bad on offense this game, man. Compared to last game, we have been terrible. But thankfully, we've played some very good defense. Thankfully, our defense has been really good. Oh, yeah, Paul. Knock that down, truth. Look at Paul Pierce, man. So inspirational. We have time to keep on winning this game by more, man. We have time to get, take like a 60-point lead. All we got to do is get one more stop on defense and hit one more three. And we'll go up by 61 points. Ah, oh, no. That's not good. It's, it's okay, though. We still have time. Let's get the ball to Paul Pierce. They're double teaming. They're leaving Hakeem open. I guess I'll take that, too. I will wager you $500. Uh, yeah. About to say. I don't know if I want to wager $500. I don't really do wagers. I think guys who do wagers, they call themselves comp. About to say. I wouldn't call myself a comp player. I think I'm pretty good. I'm not saying I'm scared of playing the game. Because I'm not really scared of playing anybody, but... Yeah, $500 for a video game is a bit much. I shouldn't have blocked him right there. The clock would have gone ahead and run out if I hadn't blocked him right there. That's tough. That would be good content, though. I know I don't do wagers, but... That would definitely be some very good content. You're right about that. I mean, it would be a good thumbnail. It would be a good caption. I wagered with my subscriber for 500 That would be interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually going to think about that now, because you're not lying when you say that would be good content. You're definitely not lying about that. About to say, I got to kind of agree with you on that one. That would be some pretty good content. Hey, though, let me take a second to change the title of the stream to 13 games left. Because we have 13 games left. 13 games left until we get Larry Bird. Three games left until we get the man, Dennis Johnson, Galaxy Opal. Great game, great win. A lot of MT, as usual. Here we go. Three games left, guys. Like I told y'all before we played this game, we're in the home stretch, man. We're in the end game. Playing versus the Trailblazers. The only Trailblazers team to ever win a championship with Bill Walton leading the charge. This, this team isn't all that terrible, but I mean, they have two gold players in the starting lineup, so that's kind of tough. 
Their team rating is 81. They're just not a very good team. They do have Lionel Hollins at the point guard. He used to be the Brooklyn Nets coach, and he's on the Lakers staff right now. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this win. If we do, we will be only two games away. Hey, though. We have 144 likes on the stream, man. You guys have been killing it. How do you pronounce your name? Is it Server? Servzer? Sverzer? I don't want to get it wrong. I think it's Sverzer. Could be wrong, though, but I'm glad you think I'm really good. I am glad you think I'm really good. Hey, 26 games done isn't too bad. That means you only have 24 games to go. I had to say, so you're over halfway done. And this Larry Bird has only been out for one day, so keep in mind, just because I'm a little further than you doesn't mean you're on a bad pace. I mean, you're already over halfway done, and it's only been one day. So keep up your grind, man. Keep up your grind. Why didn't I take the two? Eh, I'll shoot the three instead. Damn, and I didn't make the three either. I didn't even make the three. But yeah, you know what? This game, I'm going to shoot nothing but three-pointers. Earlier, someone challenged me to score 81 with Kobe, and I scored 102. I'm all about going above and beyond, so this game, we're going to shoot literally only three-pointers. Nothing but threes. Only threes the entire game. If I have a wide-open layup, screw it. Shooting a three. We're going to shoot only three-pointers. I think it would be a fun little challenge. Three-pointers only. Nothing but threes. We got to go above and beyond, man. We got to put on a showcase for the people. You guys are going to see a three-point barrage like you've never seen. You guys are going to witness something pretty amazing. We're going to have to play some good defense, too, because if we're not shooting any wide-open layups or dunks, that's going to be tough. What's up, Gator Nation? I think you should do the Dennis Rodman challenges first because I think he's the best player available. I think you should do Dennis Rodman. I think you should do D-Rod. Now what? No! Shit. I forgot for one second that I was going to shoot all threes. Damn it. Challenge failed. We'll get him next time. If I was really intent on doing all threes... I would restart, but but yeah, I think you should do Dennis Rodman first. I'm kind of sad that I forgot to shoot all threes. Damn it, man. I was going to shoot all threes, but I can't believe I forgot. I cannot believe I forgot that, man. How did I forget? I literally just said it. I know I'm tired, but I don't know, man. I, I must be smoking something. I don't know what I would be smoking. I don't know when I would have smoked it, but... How did I forget that I'm trying to shoot all threes? There's no way. I'm, I must be on something right now. There must be something in my water. There must have been something in the food I ate a few minutes ago. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I don't know how. I forgot that I'm trying to shoot all threes, man. I don't know how I forgot, but I'm disappointed in myself for real. I'm very disappointed in myself, but... Eh, we're good. We're still gonna win this game, and it's still gonna be it's still gonna be awesome. We're we're still gonna win it, and I mean, even if I had stuck to shooting all threes, the result wouldn't have been much different. We would just have one extra point right now, because we would have shot a three on that fast break instead. Look at that block! Oh my God, they cannot score, man. These Trailblazers, they kind of suck. They kind of suck. Let's get the ball back to Kobe. Even if they double team, not going to happen. The last game, you have to win with a 75 overall team. Now that would be interesting right there. And I think I can do it too. I'm going to try that. 75 overall team. I've been winning all these games with a really good team. Last game with a 75 overall team. I might just try that. I might just try that. About to say, somebody in here said the Trailblazers are very, not the Trailblazers, the Supersonics are very bad, so if they're really that bad, 
I should be able to win with a 75 overall team. So I'm going to try that. I think that would be a good challenge, Ko Yummy. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. But for now, we're going to stick to shooting all threes. What do you think is the best playbook? Um, I mean, a lot of people love the Nets playbook because it has one money play. I guarantee you somebody's about to say the Nets. But if we're talking about the entire offense, if we're talking about having a nice rhythm and flow, honestly, my favorite playbook is the either the Warriors or the Rockets. I think the Rockets playbook has the best combination of post plays, perimeter plays, running off screens, iso plays, pick and rolls. I think it has the best combination of all the plays, but if we're talking about the best play in the game, then definitely the Nets playbook. But if you want a nice barrage of everything, three-pointers, pick and rolls, post-ups, the Rockets and the Warriors have it all. The Rockets and the Warriors definitely have everything. My favorite play from the Rockets playbook is definitely the guard post-up because if you have a guard who's fast, if you have a guard who has quick first step and everything, if you get them posted up versus other guards, a lot of times you'll be able to score. Like for example, when I get a mismatch with my Galaxy Opal Dr. J or Galaxy Opal Dominique Wilkins, they are so athletic that if I put them in the post, like it's a guaranteed score versus pretty much any smaller guard. The Heat playbook is very good. The Heat playbook's underrated. But like the biggest one you'll hear about is definitely the Nets because it has that one money play. Literally a guaranteed bucket versus the CPU. Good first quarter. Good first quarter. The Trailblazers haven't been doing a very good job. The Trailblazers are actually doing worse than the Warriors were. We beat the Warriors by 96 points. And right now we're beating the Trailblazers by 27. So that's tough. That is super tough. Let's keep it going. They have nobody who can guard Kobe. About to say, the best perimeter player they have is a Ruby. So that's automatically tough. That is automatically tough. I don't even use plays. You can just go in a corner, call a screen, and they sag off. That's true. About to say, versus me, that wouldn't work. Versus Ko Yummy, that probably wouldn't work. Versus the CPU, yes, you can do that. Like, versus the CPU, you can do whatever you want to. But, versus somebody online, they're a little bit smarter than that. A little bit smarter than that. Some guys are kind of dumb, but, about to say, there are a lot of smart players who are gonna, they're gonna defend that pretty easily. So you gotta have more than one strategy. Uh, Ko Yummy? You're cool. I like you, but... I think I have enough moderators right now. I don't need a ton of moderators. And just because you're not a moderator, I mean, doesn't mean I have a problem with you or anything. Honestly, I've been wondering this. I've been wondering why so many people want moderator, because really, it's not like you make money or anything. I think being a member is cooler than being a moderator, because if you're a member, you get all the CP the Doc emojis, you get the badges by your name, your name shows up in green, which is pretty dope. And yeah. I mean, being a moderator is dope because you can control the chat, but... I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, most people come in here, have pretty good conduct. So, usually there's not much timing out unless somebody come in, comes in and says toxic stuff, but... Yeah. About to say. I would get... I mean, if I gave mod to everybody, I think that would be... I wouldn't say weird, but... I don't want there to be too many mods, you know? Joel Embiid has been dominating in Triple Threat Online. Hey, man. I gotta say, Joel Embiid is one of the best big men you can have because he's just so fast, so easy to shoot with, so good on defense. What a beast. How do you become a member? Um, if you're on computer, hit the join button. If you're on phone or anything, like if you're on iPhone or on the YouTube app, the member is at the top of the description. The membership link is at the very top of the description. And it only costs $3 a month. $3 a month. For a pro membership, $5. But, about to say, 
I don't really care which one you get. I'm one member away from adding a new emoji, so that's pretty awesome. Maria, of course I really want that bird. The grind doesn't stop. The grind doesn't stop for that Larry Bird. About to say, we're playing through every game, winning every game, pretty easily. About to say, there's nothing the CPU can do about us, man. Look at Paul Pierce. Too bad that was only a two, though. Who is the first pink diamond token reward I should get? That's a tough one, because there are a lot of good ones. The best big man is definitely Joel Embiid. The best guard is definitely RJ Barrett. And the best wing player is definitely Michael Beasley. So, hey, whichever one you need, if you need a good big man, Joel Embiid, because his jump shot is just great. He can lock down on defense. He has great post-dunk animations. If you need a wing player, Michael Beasley is probably the best one. And if you need a guard, like the guy to put at the shooting guard, RJ Barrett's your guy. Out of all those guys, I got to say, I think Joel Embiid is the best, but they're all pretty good. They are all pretty good. Man, that Paul Pierce jump shot is just, whoo! That's tough. That was nice. That was nice. I'm not going to lie. I have mastered that Paul Pierce jump shot, finally. I was having a little bit of trouble earlier, but I've mastered that release. Good block by Hakeem. We're running the fast break again. Paul Pierce has it again. Paul Pierce! The truth! The truth is in the building. But yeah, if any of you guys want to become members, I don't care what membership you get, man. I just love when we get new members. I can't remember how many we have, but on the YouTube like menu screen, it says I'm one away from getting a new emoji. We don't have very many, though. Like, I don't think we even have ten. Because I know it costs money, and I know I have a lot of younger viewers who can't really afford it and don't get paid and stuff. But yeah, memberships are pretty awesome. I mean, Pink Diamond Paul George, he's going for a lot, but like, if you just save up a little MT, you're going to be okay because the Opal has led to the Pink Diamond losing a lot of value. I mean, keep in mind, guys, just because an Opal version of a player comes out, it doesn't mean the Pink Diamond sucks. It's just, you know, the Opal's better. Oh, man. Good rebound. Let's run it. Doc, I might become a member soon because I got the money. Now, that would be big time. That would be big time. So not only would you have the moderator wrench, you would have the membership badge and the green name, and you'd have the emojis. So you would actually be stacked. You would have all the hardware. All the hardware possible. Man, that would be pretty dope. I can't believe they've scored eight points. About to say, we have a really good lead, but the fact that they've scored eight points, it kind of makes me sad. I feel like we should be a little bit more locked in on defense, but I mean, still a good start to the game. Can't really be upset with the, oh, that was a terrible shot. That was a terrible shot attempt. Uh, Hayden, once this game is over, once this game is over, we got two more games. Two more games in this stream. Tomorrow, 10 games left. We're going to start out the stream with 10 games left, and I'll update the title after every single game. We're going to get that Larry Bird tomorrow, and it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be legendary. Got a little bit of a mismatch right here. Arenas gets his shot off so easily, man. Cameron Kerr says, Best player to get, max 300,000 MT. Hmm, that's tough. That's tough. I think the best big man is Embiid. The best big man you can get. Because if I'm not mistaken, I was checking his price earlier, and I think he's slipped below 300,000. If not him, definitely Chris Bosh. Bull Bull's not too bad either. But I think the best big man's Embiid for sure. About to say, he might be going for a little bit above 300,000, but I swear he's going for a little bit below. Going for a little bit below 300k. Let's go, Dream. 
Lil J, welcome back. Why do they double team? Doesn't make much sense. Maria, I'm glad you're going to watch tomorrow. It's going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be pretty great. Tomorrow, we're going to play the final 10 games for Bird. It's going to be great, man. Like I said, you guys better be in here. Ko Yummy already has all three GOAT players. Got to make sure I come within one of that yesterday. Of tomorrow, I mean. Why'd I say yesterday? <sighs> I've been talking so much the last couple days to y'all in the stream that every now and then I'll mess up a word or two, okay? About to say, I hope y'all don't really care about me messing up words. I mess up words every single stream. Every, like, five to ten minutes, I'll mess up a word. I'll mess up a pronunciation. I'll stutter or something. Yeah. Lil J says, we is doing the same game. Nice. Playing versus the Trailblazers. 1977 NBA champions. Uh, Jaden? I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, Eddie Curry's so cheap on the auction house. And, I mean, Mark Gasol, he's practically free. You just gotta play 10 games for him. So it depends on what you want to do. Save up some MT? Or play 10 games? It's your decision. Um, Bryson Davis. I will be streaming tomorrow, probably at noon. Probably noon. Not 100% confirmed, but what is confirmed is that I will be streaming tomorrow, so... In case I don't stream at noon, in case I go live at another time, make sure those notifications are turned on so you guys will be ready for that stream to happen. About to say, you guys better be ready no matter what. Man, these Trailblazers are terrible, man. I'm not going to lie. About to say, they've gotten a few buckets, but we've gotten a few buckets times 50. About to say, I'm not even greening shots with Kobe now. I've been hitting shots the whole game, but I'm not even greening and he's still playing like a beast. There we go. Now we're getting some greens. Anthony Morgan says, everybody like and subscribe. Hey, we're only five likes away from 150. About to say, 150 plus on back-to-back -back streams would be huge, man. Um, Ko Yummy? I've already released my gamer tag before. About to say, I've played Park a lot on the ch on the stream. I've played versus subs before on stream, so... My gamer tag is out there. You'll be able to see it on the menu when I get back to the... When I go back to the My Team menu, you'll be able to see it in the top right corner. Also, if you go back to any of my park streams, you'll be able to see it, too. About to say, it's CP the Doc with spaces. So CP space the space doc. Very simple gamer tag. Exact same as my YouTube. If you would just search CP the Doc on Xbox, you would have found me. You would have found me. But yeah. I'm feeling like we're going to hit 150 likes by the end of the stream. I mean, we have like an hour left of the stream. Sean says, oh, I'm at 2.54. Now that's what I'm talking about. About to say, that's really good. We hit 2.5 yesterday, so that means we're having another big stream today. Christian says, my players don't hit shots. In this game mode, it's low-key annoying. You got to learn those releases, man. And you got to make sure you have players who can shoot. Now, I'd recommend turning off the shot meter because literally ever since I turned off the meter, it's like I've been hitting every shot I take. So that's one tip I have for you. But I understand that shooting without the meter on, it kind of sucks. So it takes a lot of adjustment. When are you playing park again? Not sure. But turn on notifications and you'll see. You'll get notified if it's a park stream, but... The My Team content, that's what's hot right now. The My Team content's hot. That's what's hot right now. So I gotta keep it up. But eventually, we will be back in the park. I know you guys love playing in the park with me. So we're gonna get back to it soon. We're gonna get back to it soon. You guys don't worry one bit. Gilbert Arenas, guns on deck. Let's get it, man. 
Gilbert Arenas, guns on deck. I'm going to say that every time it hit a three with him from this day forward. Guns on deck. Especially when I green. Guns on deck. That's a line from a song. I wonder who's going to be the first to name that song. Trivia. Hint. Two chains. Anzo Bryant will bring it up for the Bobcats. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. Every time we miss, it's all good because we get the rebound. It's all good. Now they're about to double team. About to get another wide open shot. And Paul Pierce. Oh, come on. We've missed like two shots in a row. We've missed like two or three open shots in a row. That's tough. How far have you gotten? Armin, after this game is over, I'm two games away from Dennis Johnson and two, 12 games away from Larry Bird. So we've gotten pretty far today. We've been doing some pretty good work today. I've been getting a little bit bored in these games, but it's a good challenge trying to win by as much as possible. We have been breezing through these games, playing really good defense. If we really lock in, we could win this game by 100, but... Y'all know I don't really care about how much I win by. All I care about is winning the game. About to say, I don't care if we win by 100 or win by 1, but eh, winning by 100 is pretty nice. So we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to do that. Live stack. Good job. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. But yeah, I've said this in every game, or almost every game, for sure. It's these games where I just wish we can simulate the fourth quarter. We're up by almost 100 points. If you do good enough work to go up by so much throughout the game, okay, seriously. A bronze player just hit that in my face but not nah, for real like if I've put in the work to go up by so much come on man let me simulate to the end of the game let me simulate to the end of the game for real like that's what I'm saying just let us simulate to the end they gotta let us sim to the end of the games if we put in the work to go up by so much and now I'm getting dropped off by a bronze player we're getting dropped off by a bronze player now. At least we're still scoring. I mean, 104 points is pretty good. I mean, eh, I guess it's all right. Let's go, Truth. Good shot, Truth. Paul Pierce, the Truth. Let's get it, men. Playing through these games gets tough, but at the end of the day, as long as we win, it's okay. As long as we win, everything's okay. Supreme, a mercy rule would be just great. And a mercy rule would apply perfectly here. The fans wouldn't have to stay any longer than they need to. They don't have to watch the other team just get absolutely obliterated. They can just go on home, enjoy themselves, and be happy about the win. But nah, keep in mind, we are doing this in front of the Trailblazers home fans. It is tough. It is tough, but we, we had to do what we had to do. CP, what is your opinion on Trey Young? I know he's on one of your favorite teams, but do you think he takes too many shots? I have no problem with the shot selection. I have no problems with the shots he takes. I just think he's one of the worst defenders in the league. So, if he can work on his defense, I know he doesn't have much height. He's about six feet. I know he's lifted six one, but I've stood next to him before, and I think I'm taller than him, and I'm six feet. So I don't know. I don't know. I think that his height makes it hard for him to play defense, but like that doesn't mean you have to be a bad defender just because you're six one. Now, when you look at his stats, I know he's on a bad team. But, like, in the way the NBA, like, ranks defensive players, he is, like, 
Yeah. He's at, like, the bottom of the list of every single player in the league on defense. So, he's pretty bad on defense. He needs to improve on that. I'm okay with the assists. I'm okay with the points. I'm okay with the shot attempts. But he has to limit his turnovers. And I know the reason why he averages so many turnovers is because he always has the ball in his hands. He always has the ball in his hands. So, I understand the turnovers, but he has to limit those turnovers a little bit more. And he has to get better on defense, too. Two more games, guys. Two more games. We're in the home stretch. The stream should say 12 games left. We're in the end game, man. Two games away from the stream ending. So, if you guys have any last words, now's your time to speak up. Now's your time to speak up. Speak up or forever hold your peace, I think is what they say. It makes absolutely no sense. The phrase makes no sense, but what does make sense is that we have two games left. It's time to lock in. It is time to lock in and end this stream on a high note. What's up, Tanner? Welcome to the stream, man. Two games left, guys. Two games left. In the course of these next two games, can we hit 150 likes on the stream? I wonder. If we could end the stream with 150 likes, that would be so inspirational. We'll see if we can do it. <sighs> but the likes, they are not as important as getting the win, because keep in mind, if I lose either of these next two games, I'm going to have to replay the entire game. That would be horrible. That would be absolutely terrible if I have to replay an entire game. So, here we go. And also, keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind. This is an all-call for everybody. Feel free to spam the chat as much as you want when we get Dennis Johnson. When we get Dennis Johnson, the stream's going to be pretty much over. So, you guys feel free to spam the chat. Celebrate with me. Because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be freaking awesome. Ryan the Spicy, I've played 18 games, and I've won 18 games. So after this game's over, we have one game left. It's been a good stream, man. It's been a good stream. I'm going to miss you guys, but I'm going to see y'all again tomorrow, so I'm not going to miss y'all that much. No offense. I'll miss y'all, but I'm going to see y'all again tomorrow. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. I'm feeling like Apollo Creed right now, man. I'm feeling like Apollo. And no, that does not mean I'm feeling dead. It means I'm feeling like the greatest ever. 7-2. Man, if I didn't... If I tried to... What am I trying to say right now? If I had no life, if I was not a college student, if I did not care about exercising and all that stuff, if I did not care about sleeping one bit... I would definitely have this Larry Bird by now. DBG has him. HTB has him. So many guys already have this bird. We have some guys in the chat who already have Larry Bird. We would be done by now, man. If I didn't care about school and sleep and eating and working out, we would be done by now. We would be done. But instead, we're going to get some sleep after this. I'm going to get my homework done. And we're going to do this tomorrow. Anthony, I'm glad you're going to be here all day tomorrow. And hey, Nintendo Land, I see that you're worried about playing the Lakers so much. Well, not worried, but I see you're not very happy about playing the Lakers so many times. I see you're not very happy about it. So that's why I'm going for McHale tomorrow. Not only is Kevin McHale a channel icon, but also... We're going to have to play the Showtime Lakers. We're going to have to play versus the Celtics. We're going to have to play versus the Sixers with Dr. J. We're going to have to play versus the Bad Boy Pistons. We're going to have to play versus some very good teams tomorrow. And hey, you never know. We haven't lost a game yet, but maybe tomorrow's the day we lose a game. You never know. Let's go, Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is a killer, man. Also, Mock Bills, what's up? We are now one like away from 150, man. Who is going to be number 150? I'm curious. Who's going to be like number 150? But yeah, 
Tomorrow, we're going to play versus some of the toughest teams. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Anthony, I would play one game with DJ, but... Yeah, I would, but... I mean, tomorrow, we're going to be back on it again. Plus, I mean, keep in mind, this is not the last game of the stream. I see Admire saying one more game. I see Anthony said one more game. But hey, man, I about to say, we'll get those games in tomorrow. Tomorrow... I'll play those games with DJ and Liv Stack. About to say, you're about to get Larry Bird 2, which, once again, is freaking awesome. So, Liv Stack, you're probably going to get Larry Bird before I do, but hey, it's no race. It's freaking awesome that you're about to get Larry Bird. You've been grinding, I've been grinding. If I really wanted to, I could probably grind out the last 10 games, but. Hey, I'm waiting till tomorrow. I'm waiting till tomorrow. We're going to have more people in here. It's going to be earlier in the day. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be great. So you guys better buckle up and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. Tomorrow's going to be great. And the day after is going to be pretty good too because we're going to be streaming some gameplay with Larry Bird. I'm going to be figuring out how to use him, figuring out his release. When we're going to be opening the vault in Triple Threat Offline because I want those new Opals. I really want those new Opals. The Tom Heinsohn and the Lenny Wilkins. It would be really cool having them on the team, so we're going to go for them. Tanner, I have not decided on a time yet, but if I had to guess, if I had to give you a definitive time, uh, probably noon my time. Noon my time, so 1 p.m. Eastern. If I had to give you a time, that's my prediction, but I'm not sure. I have not thought that far ahead, man. I have not thought that far. Ooh, I was going to shoot it, but now they're double teaming. Yeah, they're leaving and bead wide up. Well, that was a very slow pass, though. That was a very slow pass. Wet like water. Hey, I had a friend lag out after he won, too. That almost happened to me yesterday. That almost happened yesterday. I don't know if you guys remember, but for some reason, after a game, it took forever to load, and then it disconnected me from the servers, but thank God the game counted, but now nah, that is horrible. That is horrible. Honestly, honestly, wet like water, I would not want to play anymore. I would literally hop off if that happened to me. If it happened to me during the stream, I wouldn't hop off just because we're so close to the end, but that would be terrible. I would, I don't know what I'd do. Come on, man. I was about to hit a three, but I guess we'll take the extra point. I guess we'll take the extra point, and we'll just get a three right here. We'll just hit a three right here with Kobe. No, that was a two. I guess we're still up 15, though. I guess that's not too bad. Not a bad first quarter. We have seven quarters left until the stream is over. I got Lenny. He is useless. I wanted Tom Brady. He's good, I heard. I'm just kidding. I know you said I wanted Tom badly. I thought that'd be funny. If that made y'all cringe, I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I've heard Tom Heinsohn's actually not that bad. He's a little undersized for the forward position, but still pretty good. Oh, yeah, Pierce. Man, these double teams they're throwing at us are kind of weird. Oh, yeah, Arenas. <sighs> we had a very good first quarter. We're trying to keep the same energy in the second. We're trying to keep the same energy in this quarter. They have the West Unseld at the point guard. I forgot about the glitched Wes Unseld, man. God rest his soul, though. Rest in peace, Wes Unseld. One of the most underrated big men ever. I gotta say, you don't hear much about him. Hayden, I've heard Tom is good. I've heard Tom is good. I don't know if he's as good as Dick Van Arsdale, but hey. He's still a player I want. His stats are really good. His signature styles look pretty good, too. Those signature styles are very important. Don't sleep on those. 
Don't sleep on those. The way he dribbles, the way he shoots. Don't sleep on those signature styles, man. And there's the pass to Elijah one. Hakeem the Dream. Uh, we've been beasting and feasting. Pretty much every time we come down the court, we're getting something good. We're getting an easy shot every time down the court. JD said Heinsohn is a budget Kawhi. Now those are some big words right there. Those are some big words that make me want John he or, yeah Tom Heinsohn even more. Those are some big words right there. I know you realize those are some big words. Let's get it, man. Easy slam. Jack Nelson, um, after this game's over, it's the last game of the stream, so we're very far along. We're making it look easy. We're getting win after win after win after win after win. And we have been, yeah, we've been winning every game easily. So once this game's over, last game, we have one game left after this one. We have been playing like beasts every single game of this stream. Now, some of the games have been a little tougher than others. By that, I mean some games we've only won by 50. And we've won two games by like 90. But not for real. The games have been fun. I've enjoyed playing through them. And I've really enjoyed talking to you guys. And you guys have killed it, man. We have 152 likes on the stream. God. We had 198 yesterday. You guys have killed it today. Thank you guys for making this stream awesome. We've gained so many new subs today. Gotten a bunch of likes. Gotten a bunch of wins today, of course. And the wins are the most important thing, but also the time with you guys is pretty important, too. Welcome back, Gashi. Welcome back to the stream. Oh, <sighs> God. These long streams take a toll, man. These long streams definitely take a toll. But, nah, I really enjoy making content for you guys, man. If I didn't love this YouTube thing, I wouldn't be doing it so long. I would not be doing it for so long. If I didn't enjoy it. Oh, man. This has been a grind and a half. A grind and a half. About to say, don't take offense to this, but if I was just sitting in my house playing these games I wouldn't be talking much I wouldn't be straining my voice but I've been talking to you guys for the last eight hours so it's been a grind for me talking to you guys trying to keep y'all entertained but it's also been a grind like playing the game all that stuff man the accumulation of the grind it's been tough but now nah, it's been fun for real I've really enjoyed it I haven't played the best from game to game but now, it's still been a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to ending this series tomorrow. I'm about to say, I might make this into its own playlist, The Grind for Galaxy Opalary Bird. It'll be just the three streams, today, yesterday, and tomorrow, but if any of you guys ever want to watch it back, I guess there's your chance right there. I'm going to make it into an entire playlist, and it's going to be pretty cool. Anthony, I'm glad you think the stream's been awesome. I'm glad you think the stream's been awesome. Uh, we're almost through the first half. And, yeah, once this game's over, we will be just one win away from ending the stream. It really has been awesome, man. It really has been awesome. And you guys have really made it a great one today. Let's end this half strong. They're going to hold the ball for the last shot, so I can just sit here and drink some water right quick. They're going to hold the ball. Wes Unsell is going to run across the top off both Elvin Hayes and Dandridge's screens. Phil Chenier is not going to pass the ball. I'm going to contest his shot. And there we go. End of the first half. Got to say, it doesn't get more predictable than that. Good first half. Very good first half. No need to watch the highlights. They're not even showing my team's highlights. Are you serious? I'm hyped for when you get Larry, Tanner. I appreciate it. I'm going to be super hyped too, man. I'm going to be really hyped. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it already. I'm looking forward to it already. That was a bad idea right there. I shouldn't have jumped in the first place. 
I should not have jumped in the first place. I just thought I was going to get more space, but I didn't. I could have shot that too, to be honest. Should have passed it earlier. Yeah, they're doing a lot of double teaming, so... Honestly, if I just take a few dribbles with somebody, they double team. Oh, nice play, nice play. Shot clock cheese. That went in at the very end of the shot clock. That was nice. That was nice right there. But man, having this West unsettled at the PG is a complete mismatch for arenas. It's just I don't care enough to do defensive settings. I do not care enough to do defensive settings. Got to say, it's already the second half. We're still up by 22. I really don't care enough to do defensive settings, man. Let's go, Pierce. Knock that down. Yeah, if this was earlier in the game, I might do matchups. I might do defensive settings, but... I mean, wait. Yeah, I might do matchups. I don't know why I've been calling them defensive settings, because I never do defensive settings. In 2K19, I did defensive settings every single game. But nah, for real, this year, I will change matchups, but not defensive settings. I've been slacking on Larry Bird, but I might pull an all-nighter tonight. Hey, man, you should. You should. It's your decision, but, hey, last night was the first time I didn't pull an all-nighter in so long. Just because I was awake for so long during the day. I was awake for so long during the day that I just couldn't pull the all-nighter, man. I got some really good sleep last night. And because I got some really good sleep last night, I was ready for an awesome stream today, man. The reason why this stream has been going on for so long is because I've had the energy the entire time. Uh, Lincoln, I do not have every card. I have a lot of cards, but I do not have every card, sadly. I do have a very good team, but I do not have every card, sadly. About to say, there are a lot of the Opals I don't have. I don't have LeBron Opal. I don't have Michael Jordan's Opal. I don't have... What are other Opals I don't have? T-Mac. I don't have Glitched Giannis. There are a lot of cards I want, but don't have, but... I still have a pretty good team anyway. I still have a pretty good team anyway. Welcome to the stream, though, Lincoln. Hope you're doing alright today. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Thank you for joining my stream for real. We've gained a lot of subs today, man. Gained a lot of subs. Gotten a lot of new viewers in here. The channel's been growing like crazy. The channel's been growing like crazy. Okay, Dennis. Now that's a nice slam. Oh, man. And for all the drama surrounding Lonzo Ball's entrance into the I have not put in my bench this early in a very long time. Like, I've just been playing my bench in the fourth quarter sometimes. Really, they're greening a lot of shots. They are greening a lot of shots. Pink Diamond T Max a beast. Every T Max a beast just because that jumper's so nice. That jumper is so nice. Uh, Lincoln says, do you have any tips for me because I'm new? I do have tips for you. Give me one second. What's up? Amid Santana. Welcome to the stream. Lincoln, are you new to my team? My, my biggest tips to you are play as many challenges as you can, especially the Spotlight Sims because they're an easy way to get diamond and pink diamond players and a lot of MT as well and tokens. These new Spotlight Sims give you a lot of MT and tokens as well. And it gives you some pretty good players. So, build your team by playing Spotlight Sim and Domination. Evolve players, have fun with it, and yeah. There are a lot of ways to build your team, a lot of ways to get good at the game, get a good team. I'd say play a lot of single player. Play a triple threat offline. Get the tokens and MT, maybe open the vault play spotlight sim and use your MT in the auction house wisely about to say it's not hard to get MT a lot of opals are going for cheap on the auctions so yeah there are a lot of ways to build your team a lot of ways to grow what's up Codeine welcome back to the stream hope you're doing alright the dogs are finally asleep 
That's what I'm talking about. You can finally hop on the game. This is your time, Codeine. This is your time. They've been doing a lot of scoring this quarter, man. They've been scoring way too much. Just did a test and my hotspot's better than my actual internet. Interesting. About to say, usually it's the other way around. That is interesting, though. Codeine, I've let you down this game, man. In fact, I've let everybody down. I've won the last two games by, like, a combined 200, but this game, I'm only up by 28. If only I was playing a little bit better, but as long as we get the win, it's okay. Danzo says, hey, I bought Glitch T-Mac for 840k. Do you think the price is fair? I do think that's a pretty good price, Danzo. I'm going to give you that, about to say. That's a pretty decent price. He is a very good player. I've used him before on my friend's account. He's a beast. That's a very good price for sure. I have not seen the 2K21 trailer yet because I've been on the grind, but I'm going to watch it. I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But you guys are really, really hyping it up. So I'm assuming it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to seeing it. But for now, I'm just trying to get through this stream, man. I'm just trying to get through this stream. We are one quarter away from our final game. One quarter away from the last game of the stream. Are you still using a 75 overall team? I want to. I want to. I might do that tomorrow instead. I want to, but like, I don't want to take the time to put together a team because I am getting very tired. Man, I want to use a... You know what? I might try to put it together really fast. I don't know. I might still do it, but hopefully y'all don't get too mad if I don't do it. No problem, Danzo. I got you. Pretty sure you're a new viewer, so welcome to the stream. If anybody watching the stream is a new viewer, man, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And... Yeah, we're on the road to getting this Larry Bird, so I appreciate all you guys supporting me, all you guys tuning in. This has been an awesome stream for real. This has been an awesome stream for real. Oh, man. Like, playing through these blowouts has got me tired. It's got me tired. I gotta get some rest after this. About to say, I had never streamed more than eight hours before. But then yesterday, nine hour stream. Today, nine hour stream. So, I had never streamed more than eight hours before. But then all of a sudden, back to back nine hour streams. It's crazy. It's crazy. I've never done anything like it. I almost got the chase down right there. I almost got that chase down. Oh, man. Three minutes left, man. Three minutes left. Tanner says, you're just on the grind. Hey, you're right, man. I'm on the grind. Thank you for subscribing, Danzo. Welcome to Doc Nation. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the grind, should I say. Tanner says, I will check. I appreciate it, Tanner. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, I just saw that. And I was about to respond to it, but Tanner said he's going to check. That would be awesome. I appreciate it. Oh, man, I'm ready for this stream to end, but at the same time, I'm enjoying it, too. Like, when I say I'm waiting for this, ready for the stream to end, I'm just saying that because I'm tired. I need some rest. But nah, for real, you guys have been awesome today. I appreciate you guys tuning in for real. Appreciate you guys tuning in, showing love to the channel. Gained a lot of new subs today. Had a lot of fun playing the game. Um, is that Amid? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't want to get it wrong. I probably did, though. What Opal are you getting? I'm getting Dennis Johnson, though. We're about to get Dennis Johnson. Once this game's over, we are one game away from Galaxy Opal Dennis Johnson, so that's what we're working on right now. 
And like I've told you guys throughout the stream, tomorrow, tomorrow, we're streaming one more time to get Galaxy Opal Larry Bird. We are streaming the final 10 games to get Opal Larry Bird. So you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, and get ready for tomorrow's stream because we are going to do not the impossible, not the insane, nothing like that. We're just going to get the Larry Bird. The grind is going to come to an end. Codeine says, can't wait to have internet tomorrow. Having internet's a great thing. About to say, I'm sorry that your hotspot's faster than your internet. That's tough. You, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be have to, shouldn't have to rely on a hotspot to be faster than your internet. Oh, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm worn down. But I promise you guys, not tired of y'all. About to say, you guys are pretty cool, but... Man, I'm ready to get some rest, ready to get some sleep. I gotta get some homework done after this too. So, I'm gonna get the homework done, gonna eat some dinner. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to sleep. I'm ready to eat, ready to sleep, ready to get that crap done. And then tomorrow's stream is gonna be big time. Tomorrow's stream is gonna be huge. Gonna let the clock run out a little bit. Gonna let the clock run a little bit. I say that, but then I made a three. Either way, the game's almost over. The game's almost over. So, let's end it strong. And once this game is over, one more game. One game left to go. We'll hold the ball this time. Last possession, I did not hold the ball. This possession, we will. It's been a good game. Not our best win, I'm about to say. We won our last two games by like a combined 200 points, but pretty good game, pretty good win. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot this BS. There we go, and now we can dribble out the clock. Good game, good win. I just changed the title, so we are now 11 games away from Bird and one game away from the stream ending. Great win, great win. One game left in the stream. One game left. One game remaining. If you guys have any last words, any emotional things to say, you can say them now. I'm right here. Amid, I do not have LBJ. I don't. Ryan the Spicy, I'm probably going to go live tomorrow at noon and 1 p.m. Eastern time, but I have not thought that far ahead. Whatever time I feel like streaming, oh god stream oh my god I need to stretch oh I'm so tight I've been sitting here for hours oh my god the grind is about to come to an end for the day I'm so ready for this to be over oh my gosh here we go final game I would make an all 75 overall team but I'm sorry I gotta just go ahead and uh, you know what never mind you know never mind Never mind. We're going to try a 75 overall team. Just because it might not take that long to make. We're going to see if we can put... Let, let me just put all rubies in a lineup and see what that ends up being. What's that going to end up being? If I put all rubies on a team. Like what... Is that going to end up being? I'm curious. Okay, 89. That's actually really good. So we're going to need gold players. We're going to need some gold, guys. Maybe even some bronzes, too. Okay, so we're on the right track for sure. We're on the right track. Okay, we're definitely like on the right track. But we're definitely going to have to get some bronze players in there too. Yeah, we're going to need some bronzes. But we're looking pretty good for now. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need a bronze player with contracts. As y'all can see, by the amount of contracts these bronze players have, I love using bronze players. Sometimes changing the coach brings down the overall rating. Trying to see how, how far we can bring down this overall rating. Okay. I think I have a... I have, a, I have a game plan. I have a game plan here. We're going to need a big man. Yeah, we'll put him in there. We're now 77, so we're getting better. Or getting worse, should I say. Hmm. I don't know if I need Aaron Gordon. Oh, got to get Bonga in there for sure. Definitely need Isaac Bonga. We're now a 75 overall. And I don't know if we really need... You know, I want Colin Sexton. I don't know if we need Jay Rich. I don't know if we need Josh Richardson. Get one more bronze player in there. Thanasis. There we go. 75 overall team. So we're going to be playing this last game with a 75 overall team. I don't know if you guys can see that. Man, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm standing in the way. So I'll move over here. I'll move over here right quick. So you guys can see we're playing with a 75 overall team. We're playing with a 75 overall team. So here we go. Yeah, we're going to see if we can win this final game with a very bad team. Y'all know I'm not worried about it, though. Here we go. Wait, I thought someone said this team sucked. Oh, God. This could be a tough game right here. I'm not worried about it, though. They have three point guards starting. That's BS. About to say, we're a gold team playing versus a bunch of Opals. This is going to be a tough game, but I wish I could tell you I was worried about it. Sadly, I'm not. This could be a tough game. I might have to quit and get my other lineup. But we'll see if we can win. We'll see if we can get the win. Y'all know I'm not super worried about it. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, the tough thing about gold players is that they have absolutely no badges. That's the tough thing about them. So yeah, we're not going to be hitting many deep threes or anything crazy like that. So yeah. We'll see if we can win this one, man. I'm not super worried about it. But it's still going to be a tough game because our players have no badges. Our players have no badges. And, oh, I don't know their releases. I'm going to have to turn on the shot meter for this game because they're all going to have slow releases. I'm going to have to turn on the shot meter real quick because I don't know any of these guys' jump shots. Why are you using gold players? Somebody dared me to. And I'm not a chicken, so I had to take the dare. Well, it wasn't really a dare. It was someone said I should do it, and I said, okay. Yeah, it wasn't really a dare. If it's a really bad first quarter, we'll probably quit, because I don't want to waste too much time. But yeah, someone told me to use gold players, so we're giving it a try. We're giving it a try. Not off to the best start, but if we can get one bucket, I think we're going to be okay. If we can get a bucket, get in the rhythm, I think we're going to be alright. Oh yeah, Mello? Ah, shit. 
That was a bad idea right there. I was trying to icon A, but the icon didn't come up. See right there, that's a terrible shot, but Reddick can't play defense, so not a good start for the boys. Not a good start for the boys. Good pass, though. Let's go, Mello. About to say, and even if we do get open shots, it's going to be tough for us to score. They're off to a good start. What's up, Anthony Douglas? Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, this is a great play right here. Why does Mello have a C plus mid range? That should be an A plus at least. Good shot, Mason. It's good that we finally got on the board. It's about time we finally got a bucket. I think I have a strat. We might have to play a 2-3 zone. Maybe. That might be the strat. About to say, these guys aren't the best shooters, and we're using all gold players, so... This might be the strat. We're going to try a zone for one possession. They have good shooters, but I'm not really worried about them. Let's go. Oh, how do you lose the ball? Come on, game. Okay. Good defense by JJ Redick, though. We got to push the fast break, but we're not doing a very good job of that so far. And also, we're going to have to use our bench players, too. Yeah, I didn't think that far ahead. We're going to have to actually use our bench. Oh, yeah, Mello's open. Let's get it, men. Ooh, okay. Good shot, Mello. Jay says, look at his ugly team. It's really bad. We're using only gold players. We've been using literally all Opals the entire team. And now we're using... They aren't even gems. They're just colors at this point. About to say, I think everyone can see my ugly team. I don't think I don't think we have blind people in here. Fast breaks are going to be huge in this game. Fast breaks are going to be big because we're not getting anything on offense. So fast breaks are going to be really big. And on defense, we can't really get in front of and stop that. So we're going to have to be really strategic. If it gets really bad, we're going to quit, but not worried about it yet. Oh, the releases are so bad. The releases are so terrible. But I'm not worried about it yet. I'll let you guys know when I'm worried about it. If I'm worried about it, I'll quit, but I'm not worried about it just yet. I about to say, it's on Superstar difficulty, but, I mean, all we need is a couple stops, and we haven't gotten a single one yet, so, if we can get a stop or two on defense, I think this game can turn around nicely. But yeah, we're playing versus a team of all pink diamonds and opals, and we have, um, all gold players, so, it's tough, but I don't think it's impossible, we just need to... Get something going on offense. Make a few subs. I'm going to put Giannis' brother in there. Ooh. You shouldn't do this to yourself. Just use your team. I mean, it's not like this is hurting my confidence. We have all gold players, so... Yeah. I mean, if we do end up winning, it'll be a good final win. I mean, a win's a win, but this is a very tough challenge. We're playing with players who have literally no badges. It's looking like a waste of time, though. So I'm probably going to quit and use my actual team. Yeah, I'm about to say, this is kind of a waste, to be honest with you. My players literally have no talent. They can't create their own shot. It's pretty bad, but I'm going to try it again. We'll go at it again. I mean, we haven't gotten anything going yet. We haven't gotten anything going on offense. So if we can get something going on offense, maybe we can pull away. You never know. You never know. I have some bronze players in the game now, though. So we're shaking things up a little bit. 
They're not getting back on defense. They're a little bit fatigued. Maybe I need to get OG Ananobi in there. Can't beat anybody off the dribble. Can't get any open shots either. Oh, there we go. That's a good look right there. But we haven't been getting very many of those. We have not been getting very many open looks, so... We're going to need those shots to fall, for sure. We're going to need those to fall. I mean, I think a zone's the best case scenario, because if we're trying to win this thing, then we know we're not going to be beating anybody off the dribble. Oh, nice. That was nice, though. That was a pretty good hop step. If it's looking really bad, I'll quit, though. If it's looking just completely unsalvageable, I'll quit, but we're actually getting a couple stops on defense every now and then. Emphasis on every now and then. I don't think it's over yet. I don't know if you listen to Lenny Kravitz, but it ain't over till it's over. These CPUs actually have decent IQ, but maybe it's because they're playing versus the JV team. The 8th grade team, I mean. Like, I don't even know if this is JV. If, it, if it's unsalvageable, I'll know. I'll know when it's unsalvageable. For now, I'm actually feeling decent, though. If it's unsalvageable, though, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and throw in the towel, like uh, like Drago did in, in Creed 2. Now we're not getting any open looks for three. There we go. Had to say, we're gonna have to take advantage of every open shot we get. If it's unsalvageable, I'll quit. But I think it's still doable. I'm very tired. I've been live for nine hours. So I'm very tired, but... I mean, I'm not done yet, so... I think we can still win. If only they had bronze interceptors so I had a chance of picking off that pass. If only. To get a hand on that pass and tip it out. Just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable. Next time, that one might get picked. Here's Brown. Williams for three. I contested that shot, too. No intimidator, though. Stupid bronze players. And in today's game, if you don't have four spacing, your offense is going to struggle. They call it gravity. The ability of outside shooters to our That was a nice move by Sexton. But then they played some pretty good help defense. So it didn't really matter. My players are so slow. I'm telling you, though. If we got to stop on defense right here, I'll keep going. If we got to stop on defense right here, I'll keep playing. If we got to stop right here, I'll keep playing. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the okay, no stop. Pretty unsalvageable. We're going to go ahead and quit this game. Very silly challenge. It's my fault for accepting it, though. Maybe if I had picked a better starting lineup, but done better off the bench, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and just end the stream the right way, though. I might pull out the 75 overall lineup versus another team, but versus a... I didn't know the Sonics would be that good. I didn't know they were going to have so many, like, opals and pink diamonds, so... Maybe versus another team, like the, the Celtics from 73, or 74, or the 75 Warriors, maybe I could have done that, but, eh, yeah, whatever. We'll just go back to our crappy Spotlight Sim squad. K.O. Yummy says, couldn't complete it. Seriously? I thought I was still in the game. I thought I was still in the game. I couldn't tell. I could have beaten a lot of teams in that lineup, but I didn't realize this team was actually that good. A lot of you guys were saying this team sucked. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in Here we go. To 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball.
joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. This is I would be worried about I should I shouldn't be worried about this game, but they're coming off a very hot performance versus the gold players with two badges. So yeah, they're coming in with confidence. I will be worried about this game. I should be worried about the game. They're coming off a very hot performance. About to say, these guys are going to be playing with confidence because of that little game versus the gold players. Oh, I got to turn the meter off. Ugh. How did I forget? Hey, it still went in, though. But yeah, this is going to be a, this game's going to be a thriller, man. Mark my words. This is going to be a good game right here. I think this game's going to go down to the wire, for real. Can Embiid get in the spot? This is going to be a close game right here. You guys take it to the bank. This is going to be a, this is going to be a good game right here. A much better opportunity to score. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so these guys are coming off a hot performance and, and they are feeling confident. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. No, he's automatic from the mid range, and the defense knows that it's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now, here's Brian. Oh, yeah, swing that ball around. Wide open, he fires. Now we're missing open shots, though. Are you doing Kevin McHale tomorrow? It's kind of a silly question, Tanner. No offense to you. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, Kevin McHale is the only option for me to do, so... Yes. We are doing Kevin McHale tomorrow. <sighs> Cold start. They get Gilbert Arenas, the supersonic shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. That's good from Williams. Gotta say, either I do Kevin McHale tomorrow or I just don't stream tomorrow. Oh, you weren't here for most of the stream? That's fair. That's fair. We're not hitting our jump shots, man. Gotta say. I really don't have an excuse. They're just not going in. I have hit two threes, but the jump shots aren't. Oh, wait, no, wait. I guess one of them was a deep two. Because I only have five points. Ah. Uh, that's nice. It feels good being able to beat somebody off the dribble, though. That gold lineup was horrible. Good work, snipers. We should rematch in my team. About to say, the last time I played you, it was a good game. But now you're going to have all these opals, so it can be an even better game. Oh, nice spin. About to say, Jack Sikma can defend, but that was a nice little spin. I'm doing Kevin McHale tomorrow. Hey, man, I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm so ready for tomorrow. We're off to a bad start in this game, but we've been easily winning every game today. That's why I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We're playing versus the Showtime Lakers multiple times. We're playing versus the Celtics with Bird, McHale, Parrish multiple times. And Dennis Johnson. They have Dennis Johnson, too, starting at the PG. Danny Ainge. They got Bill Walton off the bench. Now, that's a team right there. Tomorrow, the game should be a little bit more intense, but no promises. No promises. Oh, wow. That was a nice little spin move, but a terrible animation. Oh, yeah, Arenas. The jump shots just have not been falling so far. Those jumpers have not been going down. Why can I not get a green? I have gotten one green. I got a green with Embiid. 
But I haven't gotten one since. Johnson kicks to Brown. 40 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Tough shot. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be Oh, great pass. So his shot, it's easy. Like I'll green that shot pretty much every time. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now. Mythical Zard, what's up? I did mark us all first today. Yeah, we decided yesterday I was gonna do him third. So yeah, he was the first one we did today. And right now we're finishing up what's it called? We're finishing up the man himself, Dennis Johnson. And that time also a missed shot. And there hasn't been anything easy. Didn't get enough separation. Oh, that was a great pass. Two really good screens, too. Welcome back, Arsheen. One quarter down, three to go. One quarter down, three to go. We're three likes away from 160, man. Not to say. I'm pretty sure everybody in here is already like the stream, but if we can get 160, that would be legendary. We hit 190 yesterday. Man, it would be awesome if we could hit 160. Oh, I did not mean to shoot that. I tapped X. It's all good, though. About to say, the Sonics team is pretty bad. Finally a green with arenas. It's about time. It is about time. About to say, if we can get those shots to fall, we're going to be okay. If those shots can start falling, that would be awesome. About to say, we've been good on defense. We've been getting a lot of open looks, but they just haven't been going down for some reason. They just have not been going down. But now nah, we're off to a good start in this game. We're playing good defense. And after this game's over, the stream's over. So I can get some rest, lie down, stretch out. Because sitting in a seat for so long takes a toll on a man, you know? Sitting in the same place for so long. And I'm usually a really active dude, so... Okay, Hakeem right there should have stayed on the perimeter. But yeah, as I was saying, it takes a toll. It takes a toll. The shot, Kobe. We got to pull away in this game because that first quarter was just so bad. That first quarter was terrible. So if we can pull away. Okay, come on. Uh, tough. And here in the second, with about a minute and a half gone by. And here's Bryant for Got three. way too much space not to shoot that. Kobe has 15. Guys, he's been a one -man he has the same amount of points as the other team. Time and time again. Felt like he's in his living room right now. He's found the comfort zone. Once he gets good that, defense though. The defense knows they're in trouble. Paul Pierce is actually guarding Dennis Johnson. It's kind of interesting. There's there he is right there. He's the player we're trying to get. So it's kind of cool that we're playing versus him in our final game. About to say, we're playing our final game for Dennis Johnson and the guy we got to beat, Dennis Johnson. I think this is our biggest lead of the game, so hopefully we're on the right track. Nico, I'm ready for myself to get Dennis Johnson too. I'm ready for me to get Dennis Johnson too. Nah, for real. I'm glad we have so many people in here who've stuck around for so long waiting to see this. I'm not going to let y'all down. We're going to win this game. We're going to get Dennis Johnson. It's going to be awesome. And then we're going to go live tomorrow. The last 10 games for Larry Bird. It's going to be great. So you guys better be ready. You guys better be ready for tomorrow. If you're in here and you haven't subscribed and turned on notifications yet for tomorrow, what are you doing, man? Hit the like button, subscribe. 
And tomorrow's stream is going to be even better than today's. Because today's stream has been great. You guys have been awesome today. You guys have been killing it the entire stream. I've had a lot of fun talking to y'all, playing the game. Met a lot of new people in the chat. But also had some OGs in here too. Sadly, no appearance from No Chill Knowles, but Hude showed up. Anthony Morgan's been in here for a while. We've had Liv stack in here the whole time. Got to say, we have a good group of people in here. Come on. Y'all can't just double team like that. A smart person would have taken the open shot. Paul Pierce is such a beast, man. About to say, I didn't love his jump shot at first, but I've gotten it down. I've mastered that jump shot for Paul Pierce. Arshin, I like you, but you're not an OG just yet. You're not an OG just yet. You're getting close, but not an OG yet. You're a relatively new fan. What's up, Maria? Good defense. You'll be an OG one day. If you stay being a fan of my channel. And you might be like Doc. You really think I'm not going to do that? And see, here's the thing. A lot of people tell me. They swear up and down, left and right. They're like, Doc, we're going to be fans of you forever, man. But then they'll just stop showing up. So, I'm not saying you're going to not do that. I'm not saying you're going to stop showing up. But a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Eh, Tanner, I'd say you're getting relatively close. If you're not one already, you're getting close. I mean, I'm not the one who decides if you're an OG. If you remember my old content, if you remember the stuff that got me to where I am today, you're definitely an OG. I wouldn't say you are yet, but maybe you're getting close. If you remember Kevin McHale and the Wii Sports streams, the Minecraft Hunger Games stuff, you're an OG. Or you're approaching OG status. If you remember the 2K19 stuff, you're definitely an OG. If you remember the Fortnite stuff, you're without a doubt an OG, not even close. Like, not even a question. Tanner said, 6 to 12 months. Yeah, the Spotlight Sims are relatively new. That is some relatively new content. So I don't know if I'd call you an OG just yet. But you're getting there. You're definitely getting there. Not yet, but definitely getting there. Okay, guys. One half left. One final half of basketball. Until the stream is over. Oh my god. I'm so tired. I'm worn out. We've been live for over nine hours. And we're going to end things the right way here we go here we go second half getting started it's about to be underway in five four three two and bound the ball how many games down got 39 games down total 11 games to go for larry bird but after the stream's over i gotta eat i gotta do some homework and i gotta sleep so Hey, we have, a, we have 39 games down. Once this game's over, we're going to have 40 games down. So, hey, turn on notifications, guys, if you haven't already, because tomorrow's stream is going to be big time. Tomorrow's stream is going to be huge. The last 10 games for Larry Bird, I know a bunch of people already have them, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we're going to get them tomorrow. It's going to be awesome, and you guys, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be great. Three in a row to start the second half. I'm just waiting for this game to be over, man. I've, to I've talked to you guys the entire stream about... Oh, I almost went backcourt. I've talked to you guys the entire game about how... Like, how frustrating it is when you're up by 40 to 80 points. And you want the game to end but you have to play through an entire other quarter. It gets really annoying really fast. 
you get tired of it, but hey, as long as you get the win, that's all that matters. And we're about to get the win. We're about to get the win. It's going to be great. Nice inbound steal. Going to stall the ball a little bit because I don't want the clock to stop. I don't want the ball to go out of bounds or anything like that. We're just going to keep on trying to score because Arenas has been on fire this game. Arenas has been just great. Tough shot. As long as there's no dead balls, we're going to be okay. Like, as long as the clock doesn't have to stop for any reason, we're going to be okay. I'm just trying to get to the end of this game as quickly as possible. Tanner, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the chip video. I really want to do a video like that again. I don't know if it's going to be chips again, but I don't know. I mean, keep in mind, social distancing is still a thing, so if I do a chip on shoulder video, I would have to be very secretive, but keep in mind, that's the purpose. The purpose of the chip on shoulder is to play a prank on somebody. It'll be like, oh, you didn't even realize I did that. So that's the purpose of the prank. So maybe another chip on shoulder video is what we need right now. Maybe that is what we need. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe that's what we need right now. Maybe that's what the world needs. A social distancing episode of Chip on Shoulder CP the Doc Vlogs. We'll see. Haven't thought that far ahead. Why shoot the two when you can shoot the three? Oh, come on. Why shoot the two? Okay, that was also a two. <sighs> We're still beasting and feasting, though. About to say, we have a pretty good lead. We're playing some pretty good D. The clock is still running, and like I said, as long as the clock is still running, we're okay in here. I'm happy. As long as the clock is still running, I'm all good. I'm all good. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this Just Arsheen says, I've been watching since the Fortnite Redemption video. Yeah, you're a liar. About to say, only people who I knew personally watched my channel back then. And I sure as hell don't know anybody named Arsheen. Kicks to Johnson. Here's Sigma. Uh, so glad this quarter is almost over. So glad this quarter is almost over. Uh, about to say, it's nice having such a big lead. I literally can just piss around the entire fourth quarter and don't have to worry about losing. These Sonics are pretty bad, but versus a team of gold players they did look like some stars I'm not gonna lie these guys were looking pretty good versus that team of gold players but we've been playing pretty well in this game we've been playing pretty well in this game Gabe yes once this game's over one more series but we're gonna be doing that tomorrow we're gonna be doing that tomorrow Gashi says Arsheen just got called out. About to say, and you made your account four months ago. And I posted that video two years ago, so time flies. About to say. I did get a lot of subscribers from the original Spotlight Sim. When the first Spotlight Sims came out, I immediately hopped on them and I said, I gotta do this. I gotta grind these. I don't know how many subs I'm gonna get. I don't know how many views I'm gonna get. But I ended up getting a lot of new viewers watching. A lot of people enjoyed watching those games. 
and they ended up doing very well for my channel so those spotlight sims are gonna go down to history those spotlight sims are gonna go down in history a little bit offensively defensively they are in total control yeah the other team a bit concerned here they're trailing and the lead seems to be growing i'm aware that you can watch without an account but i'm also aware that i think you're a liar sean says you're at 2.55k subs that's awesome are you serious gotta say i haven't checked but 2.55k would be pretty amazing i don't know if i should believe you or not i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and believe you I'm gonna believe you. 2.55k is pretty awesome, so. We've gone about a minute yeah. And a half into the Thank you guys for. Like I've been saying many times, thank you guys for being so awesome today, man. Thank you guys for making this stream a great one. About to say. Couldn't have done it without you. He's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's gonna be a wake up call to the defense. Oh, man. I don't even care if I win by just one point. I'm just ready for these games to be over. We'll get the last couple games in tomorrow. Or the last ten games, should I say. But, another nine hour stream in the books. Downtown Freddie Brown. I kind of want a Freddie Brown jersey. One of the best shooters ever, but nobody really talks about him. We're just going to stall the ball, man. As long as the clock doesn't stop, I'm okay with making or missing whatever, man. As long as the clock doesn't stop. Oh, man. I'm ready for this game to be over. No offense to you guys or anything, but I'm ready for this stream to be over. Good defense. New subscriber, I watched both the streams, wishing I could get these challenges done as easily as you do. I appreciate it, man. And the big reason I get these done easily, I'm not going to lie, is because I have a good team. I'm not going to act like I'm the best 2K player in the world. I have gotten a lot better at shooting without the meter, though. I have gotten a lot better at shooting without the meter, but not for real. If you have a team of diamonds, pink diamonds, you can definitely do this. I tried to play a game with a gold team. Sadly, it didn't work out. It did not work out, but I have to say, other than that, the games have been smooth, and my big tips to you are just to lock in, play that defense, and if you're on Xbox, do not be afraid to do the glitch. Do not be afraid to do the glitch, because these games take a lot of time, but I know you guys want to see some good gameplay, so... I'm trying not to do the glitch. I'm trying just to have fun playing the game with my very OP team. Paul Pierce has been very good today, man. Paul Pierce has been a beast. Look at that deep three from Pierce. Tyler says, I can't believe you've streamed for nine hours. I did the exact same thing yesterday. This this little Larry Bird grind is real. About to say, I'm trying to get this Larry Bird as quick as I can. But I also have homework and shit to do, so once the stream's over, I gotta eat. Gotta, you know, probably wash my face too, just to wake myself up a little bit. But then I gotta do my homework. I got stuff to do. Foul? Come on, man. Uh, this has been a good stream, though. 158 likes, 50 new subscribers. This stream has gone crazy. This stream's gone crazy today, man. So thank you guys for hanging around. It's been awesome. It's been awesome for real. You guys have made this stream pretty great. So we're going to get one more bucket. But after that, we're probably going to dribble out the clock. Let's get one more bucket with Paul Pierce. Mmm. I didn't even get a perfect release. That was nice, though. Davion. Good job getting Dennis Rodman. So once we get the ball back, we're just going to dribble out the clock. No need to try and score again. Unless I have a wide open layup, I might take it just to win by 50. Yeah, you know what? We'll go ahead and win by 50. Why not? Had to. So I guess they can dribble out the clock now. Here we go. 
Stream's over, man. GG. 52-point win in our final game. And tomorrow, we're going to pick up where we left off right now. We're going to get that Dennis Johnson. We're going to end the stream in a matter of minutes. It's going to be just great. Good game. Good win. We did it. Let me go ahead and switch the inputs up on my monitor. We did it. We did it. I was going to say we did the impossible, but it's really not impossible. We've won every game pretty easily. So... Not the impossible, but still a very good performance. Still a very good showing for the boys. So here we go. Let's get our Dennis Johnson, and let's go home. It's been a fun stream, though, man. Back-to-back -back fun streams. Back-to-back nine-hour streams. Tomorrow's stream, though, is going to be less than five hours long. Tomorrow's stream is going to be a much shorter one. There's the man himself right there. Galaxy Opal DJ. Oh, man. We did it. We have one series of challenges left. This is going to be the ending screen right here of the stream. This is going to be the ending screen. Let me give Mark Gasol a contract, just so this screen looks a little bit more presentable. There's a pose, if any of you guys want a screenshot. I'll even do it one more time. If any of you guys want to screenshot that or whatever, there you go. So there we go. Stream's over. We're missing two players. Like here, right here it says 8 out of 10 players. We're missing literally two dudes. So tomorrow... We're going to win our first five games to get this pink diamond Michael Cooper. We're going to win the next five games to get this Galaxy Opal Kevin McHale. So there we go. Tanner, Chris, STR, Sean. Everybody who has stayed for the length of the stream. We definitely average over 30 viewers. Still got 20 people in here. You guys have a good night. Make sure those notifications are on because tomorrow... That Larry Bird stream is going to be awesome. That Larry Bird stream is going to be awesome. We have 10 games to go. It is going to be just great. Now, for real, though, you guys stay safe because we got a lot of shit going on in the world right now. You guys take it easy. And, yeah, you guys have a good night. Get some rest. I know I'm going to be getting some rest. And I'll be seeing y'all again real soon. Take it easy, Doc.